Hello, my name is Andrew Reams, and I have an ordinary padlock here, see? We're gonna do something strange with this ordinary padlock. Watch this. If you look, the ordinary padlock is spinning. And there it goes. Hi everybody, today is August 22nd, 2021. Also, I'm sorry this video is a few days late. It literally has taken two days to upload and process. 15 years ago today, I clicked that magical button that said, create account on YouTube. A good friend of mine told me about YouTube and I wondered, what's YouTube? He said, it's Flickr, it's like Flickr for videos. So, Bill, thank you for telling me about YouTube. That's right, I signed up 15 years ago today and took a video of this humble little padlock, this best lock, doing this on my front porch. Who knew that my video of this little padlock would start what would lead to some of the best friends I've ever had, starting an elevator museum, traveling the world, and trying to make a positive difference on this planet. I want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you guys. If it wasn't for you guys watching my videos for all these years, there would be no Elevate Tours. What I've done for this 15 year anniversary, I have put together what I would like to call the Elevate Tours movie. Basically, it's a documentation of the past 15 years with hand selected videos from each year, I tell a little bit about what happened each year, and toward the end of this video, you will see quite a bit of unreleased content. So sit back, relax, grab a Diet Pepsi. This is gonna be a long one. I really hope you enjoy this. Of course, we're gonna start this video with some of the few highlights from 2006. Here we go. Here we have the destruction of a gingerbread house. That's it. not a whole lot happened. I was still new on YouTube and um, the only real elevators I got in 2007 was that when I was in Atlanta as a conductor trainee. Yes, I hired on the railroad in 2007. However, in the fall, the Diesel DC show premiered. This is one of the elevators in the Hilton Hotel of downtown Atlanta. Going up? Here we go. Floor. Going down. Twenty ninth floor. 
Now we're going back down. Here we are, and that's it. Going up? It's Independence Day, and what a better way to celebrate than with a view of Diesel Ducey number one and a ride in the elevator. There's the American flag flying in the wind. Let's go. There's the elevator. Let's ride it. Going up. We're going to number two. Here we go. Here we are. Let's go see that surprise guest. There's the elevator. There it goes. He's in here. Not in there. And the surprise guest, there's Diesel Ducey 1, is none other than Diesel Ducey. Happy 4th of July. That's it. Hi everybody, guess what time it is? It's Diesel Doozy time! It's Diesel Doozy time! It's Diesel Doozy time! It's Diesel Doozy time! Yeah! That's right, it's Diesel Doozy time! Of course, I am your host, but none other than the star of the show is Diesel Doozy! That's right, it's me, Diesel Doozy! It's my show! Yes, Diesel Ducey, it's your show. It's your first show, too. And today's show is an exciting one. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Today's show is called Diesel Ducey Rides an Elevator. Elevator? What's an elevator? Huh? It's, it's like this um, little room that goes up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, you mean, mean like, a, like a seesaw? No, Diesel Ducey. It's, it's, it's like... It takes people up and down in like a building or something. A building? Well, let's go see Diesel Ducey. Oh yeah, Diesel Ducey, you know what to do with your car when you leave it alone. That's right, press the lock button. Yes, that's right, Diesel Ducey. We need to make sure we lock the car. And we need to make sure we have the keys too. We don't want to lock the keys in the car. Now where's this elevator? <laughs> It's right through that door, Diesel Ducey. That red door? Yeah. Yep, that's right, Diesel Ducey. Here we go. Well, where is it? Where is it? I don't, I don't see it. I don't... That? Huh? It looks like a room. First, to get the elevator to come, you have to call it. Here, elevator! Elevator! No, Diesel Ducey. It can't hear you. You have to push the button. Do you want to go up or down? Tell it which way you want to go. I want to go up! Diesel Ducey, you have to press the button. You mean... Th yeah, that's one. This one? Yeah, press it. It didn't want... Press it harder. There, Diesel Ducey. 
Here it comes. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Wow! Yeah, we down low. What's that? That's a garbage can, do you so do you see? Wow, this is cool. Yes, this is an elevator. Well, how do I make it go? Press a button. I want to go to the top floor. Well, then press the 5B. Yeah, we're going up. Look through the doors. Yeah, you can see the floors going by. Whoa, where are we? We're at the top floor. You want to look out the window, Diesel Ducey? Yeah, I want to look out the window. I want to see something. Wow! We're up high. Yes, Diesel Ducey, we're ten floors up almost. What's that? That's called Downtown Roanoke, Diesel Ducey. What's that thing? That's a, that's a bird, I know that. Hmm? Wow, that's a mountain. Cool. I want to go back downstairs now. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Well, you said you wanted to go downstairs. Oh, that's scary! I want to go down the elevator. Okay, Diesel Ducey, we'll go down the elevator. You have to call the elevator. Oh, 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 I know. I have to push the button. It can't hear me. There it is. Oh, there's that garbage can. It's so scary. Okay, Diesel Ducey, you want to go downstairs? Yeah. We'll push the button. Okay. I'll push that one. No, Diesel Deuce, you know it's stop at every floor. They went out. Yes, Diesel Deuce, that's so little children like you don't push all the buttons. What? The elevator's not moving. What's wrong with it? Well, Diesel Deuce, you have to press a button to make it move. I want to go to the bottom. Well, press the L button. Okay, Diesel Ducey. I'm pressing the button this time. I want to go back up to the top. Okay, press the 5B. I want to look through the door again. Wow. I can see the floors going by. Here we are, Diesel DC. I'll let you look out the window one more time. That's a big building. It sure is, Diesel DC. Wow. Okay. I want to go home. All right, Diesel DC. Let's see if you can remember where the car is parked. I had to push the button. I think it was parked on... Try that. Here we go. Four, four, three. Let me look at the door. Wow. All right, Diesel Ducey, let's see if the car's out here. Well, Diesel Ducey, do you see the car? No, I don't see the car. Where is the car? Well, you pressed the wrong floor. Let's try a different one. The only other floor is down. That's the lobby, so press up. Oh! Let's see here. Where are we? We're on 1A. 
Well, Diesel Ducey, let's try 2B. What way do we need to go if we go to 2B? Down? No, Diesel Ducey, that will be 1B. We need to go up one floor, so press 2B. Here we go! Whee! Now we're on 2B. Well, Diesel Ducey, let's see if the car's out here. Well, Diesel DC, looks like you picked the wrong floor. No, well, I you picked that floor. Diesel DC, no, I didn't. Let's go up one more floor, okay? Whee, we get to go in the elevator again. Diesel DC, why'd you press that floor? I want to ride again. Whee! Wow. That's cool. Diesel Ducey, you gotta press the right floor this time. Try 2A, okay, Diesel Ducey? Press 2A. Okay, here we go. Four! Four! Three! Three! Two! Well, Diesel Ducey, I hope you picked the right floor. Let's see if the car is out here. Yes, you did, Diesel Ducey. Now guess what time it is. What time is it? What time is it? It's time for the show to be over and for us to go home. Oh! Now wasn't this a fun first show? Just remember, when you want to have fun, what time is it? It's Diesel Ducey time! It's Diesel Ducey time! It's Diesel Ducey time! It's Diesel Ducey time! And I'm a real life train! Yeah! <laughs> I've got a train engine, his name is Diesel Ducey. He came from the Kroger store in St. Louis. He's a real life train engine, really, really, truly. I've got a real life train engine, his name is Diesel Ducey. Diesel Ducey! Diesel Ducey! Diesel Ducey! Diesel Ducey. Yeah! Diesel Ducey. That was so fun, I want to do that again sometime. Well, just tell our Viewers at home, they'll have to watch again for another show. Watch me again for another show. Until then, bye-bye. Two thousand eight is when I really got busy filming elevators because it was funny in early two thousand eight I had pretty much totally forgotten that I even had the YouTube. Um my first videos I filmed back in 2007 were blowing up with comments of people saying they wanted me to film more elevators, so I did just that. And I believe the first one I went out and filmed was the Elmwood Park Garage in Roanoke. So here, enjoy a few clips from 2008 in their 480p glory. Downtown Roanoke. There it goes.
this is an elevator in the Allied Arts Building in downtown Lynchburg. United States elevator. This is the top floor. Going back down. This, by the way, right here is Diesel Ducey. Right, someone's getting on, we're gonna stop. This is the elevator, the powerhouse, George Pacific, Big Island, Virginia. We're gonna close the door. We're gonna go to the roof. Also, look at these fixtures. It's a southern elevator. Close the door. Now we're going to go back down to one. in downtown Lynchburg. Look at this old styling. See, this is locked, so obviously someone's renting this. But look at these old fixtures. We're going to go down now.
Here we are. Let's look at these old fixtures. That's it. This is the elevator at the Sentinel Office Center in Roanoke, Virginia. It's an Imperial. This elevator is low light, so the mag light will be used a couple times in the video. Two speed door. I like that. Code number two. Here we are. One. Door closes when you press the button. It's a very small elevator. Look at that light. I like that light. It's a very nice elevator. That's it. 2009 is when Elevate Tours really took off, and a big part of that is thanks to Schneider National. I got laid off from the railroad for pretty much the whole year of 2009, so I went back to my previous life of driving a truck. I drove for Schneider. The truck got me all over the country, and it allowed me to do my first meetups. They were with James Brock, Connor Carey, Patrick Neds, and Alex Stack, and again, it was all thanks to the fact that I was driving a truck. Elevate Tours also goes HD in 2009 because I got the Sony T900. Up until then I've been filming on a Sony T1 in 480p which for its time was actually pretty good. So here enjoy some of my life from 2009. The 707 building, Roanoke, Virginia. It's Dominion and it's on peak up. Let's try again to go to five. Here we are. down the lobby. See this panel has been lowered for ADA compliance. It's a nice elevator. Here we are. And that's it. Otis Elevator at the Guggenheim in Lynchburg. If you look through here, you can see it coming. Here it is. It's got the old gate. Otis Elevator. It's a very nice elevator. Door closes. Close the gate. Let's go to three. Let's open the door. 
You just open that door normally. There's the lock. Close the gate. Look at these fixtures. Otis elevator. Let's go back down to the ground. Here we are. Open the door. See? And the door closes. Go back up one more time. Here we are at the third floor. Let's take a look at the cab one more time. Look at that vent. It's really pretty. Nice brass handrail. Go back down to the ground. And that's it. Let's get one more look at the cab. Very nice elevator. And we'll close the door. And that's it. Hi everybody. We are at the Iowa 80 truck stop. It's the world's largest. We're going to go inside and take a look around. Support independent truck stops. This we're walking into here is called the Super Truck Showroom. See, there's actual trucks in here. Huge. If you look over here, you'll see an actual truck. Look at all these aisles of accessories for your truck. Everything you could possibly imagine. Look at this. This is the Cowpatch Cadillac. It is a Peterbilt. And if you look out there, you can see my truck parked out there. Look at all those accessories for your truck. went to Kenworth. More accessories. So just going down one of the aisles. And here is our game room. There's my favorite game stacker. We're going to go up the elevator. It's a cone. We're going to go up the two, which is just up a that flight of steps. See, short ride. 
this will open up into the gift shop. They have all sorts of stuff up here. Toy trucks. You can even buy a suitcase here. Swords. You can send a gift card, a greeting card home if you want. Are you hungry? If you're hungry, you can come up into the food court. They have an Orange Julius, a Wendy's, a Pizza Hut Express, and a Taco Bell. Yes, they even have another game room. See? They have two game rooms here. Up here is the convenience store part of the truck stop. This is what car drivers will walk into. Now if you walk back here, Back here, this is the Iowa 80 kitchen. This back here is a sit-down restaurant. This is the sit-down restaurant part of the truck stop. If your fast food's not your thing, you can sit down. Now we're going to go up to the third floor. And here it comes. The third floor is where the trucker's lounge, the movie theater, and the showers are. Here we are at three. It opens up over here. See up here, you have a little bit of a lounge up here. Over here is your classic old-fashioned payphone. Down here is like a barber shop and a dentist. See in there, that's a laundry room where people can do their laundry. Over here, see they got a full barber shop. If you look down here, you can see down into the gift shop. See, we were already down there. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And in here, look, Interstate Dental. There is even a dentist here. Over here, you have your showers. There's even a chiropractor here. If you walk up in here, I think this is the movie theater. Yeah, look, there's even a movie theater here. This is a movie theater in a truck stop. These are all the showers. They have nice showering facilities. Here's a TV room for the drivers to watch TV. My cell phone's going off. These are two of the fine ladies to clean the showers. Hi. I said these are, I'm, I'm doing a little video of the truck stop. Oh. I just said that y'all are two, y'all are two of the fine ladies that clean the showers. Thank you. Wow, they have a lot of showers here. 24. 24 showers? Yep. Don't think you ever have to wait for a shower here. We have pretty much gone around the whole third floor. Look at all these showers. Now 
now if you walk out over here you can get a nice view of the super truck showroom see this is where we were walking around earlier this place is huge did you know this place is actually bigger than Disneyland all right now we're gonna get in the elevator and walk out of here stairs and we have to wait for it here's the directory and it's here we're gonna go back down to one The number already changed. Say like Kone. Here we are. Now this is the super truck showroom we're walking out into, and then we're gonna walk out the door. There's videos and DVDs you can buy, sunglasses. Never have a dead battery here. Here's the cash register. See you next time. Thank you. Hurry back. We appreciate you and we're always open. And now we're out in the parking lot. This parking lot has 800 truck parking stalls. So that was a walking tour of the Iowa 80 truck stop the world's largest truck stop. It is a truck stops of America. One of the elevators at Murray State University, her center. Oh. Close this door. It's hand off. Close this door. These are the fixtures. Going down to one. Here we are at one. I'm not going to struggle with that door anymore. See, there's no phone. We're going to go back to three now. But look at these fixtures. fixtures. Look at that light. It's your basic freight elevator. And as I said, it's manual door. You gotta lift it up. Watch this. You gotta pull this to open it. Ugh. It's a heavy door. See? And after you get done, close the gate. And then you close the outside door. And that's it. Elevator at the Blackburn Science Building in Murray State University, Murray, Kentucky. It's a Dover from 1967. Unfortunately, the elevator at the other end of the building has been modernized. It's gonna go to four.
three is burnt out. Here we are at four. Now we're going to go back down to B. It's a nice elevator from 1967. It's very big. Let's look at these fixtures. Beautiful fixtures. Dover. Here we are back in the basement. Now we'll go up to one. Here we are at one. It levels. And there it goes. Can you get up to Sure. These are some people over here that clean the building. Yeah, here we are, right over here. It's a bunch of them. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a Murray State graduate, and I I photograph elevators, and I'm trying really? photographing the elevators, and all the buildings throughout campus. Yeah, just put down something in there on this man. We're sitting there waiting for it to come. <laughs> I am awesome yeah. a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna do another shot here in a second. There you go. See, but you're all right, man. Say bye for me. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is. Wow, the strap is already on it too. That's weird. Let's take it out of the box, out of the sleeve. And here it is. The Sony Cybershot DSC T900. If my camera will focus on it. Wow, look how shiny it is. All right, here we have my scooter. This is the first HD video on the new T900, and we're shooting in standard quality this time, so I also got the study shot on. It's been sitting over a month. As you know, it's a really cute little bike, and we're gonna see how it starts after sitting for a month. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn the key. Let's try the electric. Well, it sounds like we're going to have to kick it. So here we go. Oh, almost. Let's give it a little bit of fuel. Now let's try it. Oh, almost. Oh, it's being difficult. Almost. There's my scooter, and it's going to die out. Let's kick it again. All right. All right, there it is, and that's it. All right, here's my Vino, and we all know what a cute little bike it is. So it's getting ready to hit another milestone. Look at the odometer. That's right, $59.99. So. We are here on US 11, just north of uh, Roanoke, and um, we're going to film it turning over 6,000 miles. Good, that light down there. All right, here we go. Watch the odometer. Actually, watch the red light, it's still red. 
Right, this thing also has steady shots, so we're going to see how well it performs. All right, we got a green light. Here we go. And there it goes. Wow, the steady shot's doing a good job. Awesome, it's not vibrating at all. All right, my Yamaha Vino just clicked over 6,000 miles, and we are rolling down Route 11 North Roanoke. So. This next clip, I'm sure y'all are all going to remember. <laughs> Not my proudest moment. I was a YouTube nobody, and I was just trying to drum up some views. But the question still remains. Was I stuck or not? Leave something below in the comments. There's my scooter. And we all know what a cute little bike it is. We're up here on the top floor of the market parking garage in Roanoke, Virginia. We're going to take the bike for a little ride down to the other end. I already got the key and the ignition turned on, so all I got to do is crank it. And when it's warm, it starts right up. Now from down here at this end, you can get a good view down toward where the center of the square is. See that place right there? It was actually shut down by the health department one time. You can also get a nice view of the Hotel Roanoke and that new art museum, which I think is kind of ugly. Here's the rest of the downtown skyline. Now we're going to swing over to here and watch this. Actually, let me move first. Turn it on. Oh, engine kill. And we'll get a nice view of Mill Mountain. See, there's the Mill Mountain Star. Now we're going to zoom in on it. See how quick it focuses? Okay. Now we're going to park the bike and take a ride on the elevator. Woo! I'm going to let you watch the center stand. Alright, turn it off. Now watch this. This thing has a steering wheel lock. You turn the wheel to the left. Now watch this. You turn it to lock. You gotta get it in the right position. Turn it to lock. Now look at this. The steering wheel won't turn. But what we will do, I'm gonna put the camera on the ground right there. Let me make sure we can see the center stand. Okay, now watch this. See, that's how a center stand works. All right. There's my cute little bike. Now we're going to call the elevator, and while we're waiting for the elevator, we'll take a look over this side. And remember, it's a Dover. This elevator was acting up yesterday. Maybe it'll work right today. Well, it's coming again. Here you can see more of downtown Roanoke. And watch this. We'll do the zoom lens again. You can read the street sign on Jefferson. All right, the elevator should be getting close by now. And here it is. All right, I want to show you something. You can see down the elevator shaft here. It's got the old bumper. Yeah, look, you can see down. You can't really see the hydraulic ram because of the angle of the elevator. And also, this elevator has electric eyes as well as the bumper. So, oh, six is also burned down on the floor indicator. 
these are the fixtures. And we're going to go down to the ground here in a minute. Alright, here we go. Let's look out the window. Actually, it's not that great of a view, so... Look at the number. These are the fixtures. Impulse. Now watch this. Here we go. Now we're at the ground floor. I don't know why it keeps losing focus on these impulse buttons when one's lit up. I want to see something here. Move up to six. Let's see if it maintains a focus. Yeah, it does. Wait, wait. Here we go. We'll look out the window going up. I mean, the sorry excuse for the window. on the third floor. Okay, now it's going again. That was really strange. What the heck? It stopped again. Woo! It's going now. Whoa, it's bumping. Okay. This is weird. It's in between floors. It's in between. I'm almost there. This sucks. Okay, oh, it still says five. It's no, it's not going to open. Oh. Let me press the rest of the buttons. I want to go to six. I just said a bad word, I'm sorry. Hmm. That stop switch. Let me see something here. That stop switch is weird. Feels like it's not even attached to anything, but it's like jammed. That's weird. It's hot in here too. I just took my sunglasses off. Yes, this elevator's not working right. I'm stuck in here. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Oh, this is great. Look, there's nobody down there. Focus camera. Can anybody hear me? Let me ring it for a little bit. Hello? The elevator has stopped. Can anybody hear me? I'm stuck in here. Are they coming to get me? I hear a siren.
Let me see if they're coming to get me. Can anybody hear me? I don't want to spend the night in this thing. Where's my cell phone? Oh, it's about six feet above me. Can anyone hear me? Well, I guess I'm going to sit down for a minute. Oh, this floor is dirty. Oh, this sucks. We're stuck in the elevator. I'm too pissed off to sit down. Ugh. Push the button if anyone can hear me. I can see the sixth floor. It's right here. This is where the sixth floor is, right there. Got about five more feet in the camera. This is getting... Well, there's someone down there. Hello? Let me see if he looks. He, all, he looked up here, but he's not doing nothing. We ring the bell again. He looked up here for a second, but... This absolutely sucks. Look up here. Hello, I'm stuck in here. in here and push the button. Let me shake it. Ugh. Try shaking it. Ugh. Whoa! It moved. All the buttons went out. I'm getting off this thing. All the buttons went off. Whew, God, it was hot in there. This thing needs some work. I would take it for another ride, but this thing needs to be repaired. That sucked. I bet it's going to go down like normal. No, it sits up here. God, it was hot in that elevator. That guy looked at me, but didn't, didn't do nothing. I don't know what bouncing the elevator did. This Union Station, and guess what? It's a West. We are going to go up to three. Oh, it's locked. Two. We'll look out the window. Here we are at two. Yeah, three is locked. Going back down to one. These are the fixtures. Look out the window one more time. Here we are at one. Well, it's leveling. Look at this elevator. It's neat. And there's the elevator. And there it goes. And if you look over here, you can see it going up. See, it's hydraulic. And it's recording. Hi, James. Hello. 
James is filming with my T900. Who let me put my hat on? I look like a dork without a hat. <laughs> Where are we? We are in Jackson, Mississippi at the uh, Pilot Truck Stop. And we're, we're in a McDonald's restaurant. Right. I would I would pull Diesel Ducey out, but I left him out in the truck. Oh. So, yeah. This is James's camera. He has a Casio Exilium ex, ex, Exilium Exilium camera. <laughs> and that's that's uh, James's mom. <laughs> oh, it has autofocus. Yeah, it does. You can try the zoom lens. Zoom in on the menu board. Look at the menu. Look at that. Oh man. Focus camera. It's got steady shot too. See, your hand is shaking, but the camera's not. Wow. That, in, that camera in my hand shake a lot here. I'm holding a camera. That's interesting. It's so, that's one of Sony's features, a steady shot. Nice. You can zoom out like that. All right, the camera's running. I am visiting James, the Grudge 58, and we are in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, my hometown, born and raised here. And so far, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I always have a great time when I see you, and look where we are. We're McDonald's. That's right. And as you can see, I just got done eating. I had a 10-piece chicken McNugget combo. So, and James's mother is not with us right now, so <laughs> I'll let James say bye. Bye. Now it's recording. Okay, here we are at the uh, Pilot in Portersville. Here is Diesel Ducey. Let's check the zoom in here. He's shooting with my T900. T900. Here is my 8 sec camera that's in a lot better shape than the Casio. Because it broke. Now get, get close to it. Look how well the T900 focuses. Focus in on that. Back up a little bit. Just a little bit. No. There it goes. Look how close it can focus. Wow. It's by your eye. This one doesn't really focus good at all. Wow, I didn't, that's amazing. This? No, the way mine, it's focusing. Look how close you are to it. That's what I mean. Let's see if we can read this. That would be better, still. Patrick, so you don't have to worry about a lens. Back up a little bit. Back up just a little bit. Just a little bit until it focuses back up. There it goes. See? Look how close you can get to it. Let's see, if I go back here, could I be able to zoom in on it? Wow. Turn it sideways. <laughs> zoom in on your mother. See how well. <laughs> wow. There's Chuck. Call or don't call me. Chuck. <laughs> your daddy. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm glad you're seeing my beautiful sisters. <laughs> Two of them anyway, the other one's at home. Say there's my beautiful sister, beautiful baby sister. Okay, Here there's Patrick. Hi. Look at Patrick's nose, everybody. That's Patrick's nose. Oh, that's a big nose. <laughs> wow. Here it goes. At the Crown Plaza Hotel, North Dallas, Here Texas. comes to the elevators at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Look who I'm filming with. Hi. He wants to push the button. Yeah, exactly. Go what over. kind is it? These look like Dover fixtures. Yep. I think this is a Dover elevator. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Oh, perfect. Hold on. Wait. Oh, okay, push. enter. Yeah, big enter. Ten. We're going to go at ten. Let's look out the window. Oh. Um, whoa, that was cool. It's pretty sweet. sweet. This is a pretty nice hotel. Yep. It you is. can see the reflection of the elevator cab over there. Yep. All right, here we are at 10. One. All right, press the door close. We're going to go back up again. Okay. You want to go back up again? Yeah, because I'm going to do a floor indicator in the cab view. Okay. Glass over here. I always do a round trip looking out the window. Round trip. Wow. And then I do indicator going up, cab view going down. You can see our cab over there in the reflection. Yep. This looks like a pretty nice hotel. Yep. I already said that. 
All right. So Here we are. Back up. You said you want to go back up? Yep. Nice leveling. We'll go up to 10 again? Yeah. Oh, what floor would you like? Yep. You can come in. Eight? Yes. Eight. Got someone else coming. Okay, what floor do you want, sir? Fine. Now let's get the indicator view. We're taking videos. <laughs> Elevator photography. How indicator. Exciting. Dover indicators are always peeled up. I don't like Whoa, it. Whoa, this thing, this thing must be relay controlled. Relay controlled? Yeah, this is not solid state. What's our next stop? Eight. It's getting late, Mom. Six. This will be our last stop. Yeah, great. yeah I gotta go back <laughs> to the truck. Yeah, we'll take you back to your truck as soon as we're done with this elevator. Okay. Thank you very Thanks. much. Good night. Good night. Have a sleep tight. Shut the door. Whoa, whoa. Made a little rumbling. Here else. we are at 10. Let's go back down to 1. Alright, these are the fixtures, your Dover Impulse fixtures. Yep. Door close button does not work. There's a telephone. It's got a high ceiling. I don't recall. I mean, I do see high service out there. There's so loose. Hi. And <laughs> again, it's a nice seat. view. And here we come to the first floor. Woo! This thing stops fast. Look at that leveling. Watch it level. That's some good leveling now that right was there. Fun. That was there goes good. another elevator. Both of them closed. <laughs> there it goes. And let's see if it goes up. Oh, sorry, I turned off my camera. <laughs> there it goes up. You can see the elevator going up right there. I it looks like it's going camera. all the way up. <laughs> yep, it is going all the way up. And again, this There's is a, a very, right this is a very nice hotel. Say bye, Glues. Linux Square Mall. Call it. Which one do I press? Press the up button. Oh. Here it comes. Here's the floor indicator up there, look. Here it is. This is a Peely door, by the way. Now watch how it opens. Press the door open, hurry. Hold it down. Wow, there's actually a little bit of room in here. Right now, close the door. Which one is store closed? That one right there. Now send it up to level four. Go to four. Capacity 7,000. That looks like a Westinghouse capacity label. Yeah. This is full of clothes. Yeah, the doors are made by Peely. You can see how big it is. It's also full of merchandise, too. Two. Which is actually three. That's what I meant. And when we go down, you can take it to M1. Don't go to one, because that's the basement. Here we are at four. Try M1. Um, this is security door. Lord and Taylor in New Jersey. Not sure the name of the city. I'll put it in the video. Whoop. It's a Burlington. Dover. Close the door. Burlington Elevator. Oh yeah, Ridge. Ridgewood, New Jersey. Go to one. Oh, this thing's old. It's really nice. Here we are at one. Hopefully nobody will be here. This is one. The bell's ringing. Close the door. 
There it goes. Look at these buttons. All right, now we'll go up to three. Look at this. Do our cab view down here. It actually says Dover on the buttons. This thing is completely original. You can see up the shaft. Let's go to three. This is obviously from the 50s or 60s. Here are three. Hi. Going down? Not yet. Come on in. Can I trust this thing? Yeah, this elevator works just fine and dandy. Yes. Which floor are you going to? I'm on the second floor. Second floor. Do you know how to use this? You're getting off? Yeah, I just want I mean, have you ever used it before? No, yeah. come on, come on, I'll take you. You okay. hold the door closed button down. Okay. That closes the gate. But once it's all the way closed, you wait about, you wait till it closes, wait about two seconds, see? Uh-huh. There it goes. Let go of the button. Two. Then you press your floor, hold it down, so the elevator starts moving, and away you go. Okay. I hate these things. It's just like the passenger elevator. I hate that, too. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> And it automatically opens up here. When you, whenever you get done with it, I'll show you something once you get off. All right, let the door open all the way before you move. All right, now once you get off, this is so other people can use it. Always make sure you close the door. You hold it down and it closes like that. And you gotta wait till it's all the way closed or else it'll open back up. All right, and there you go. Thank you so much. And that's F6 at the Mall of America, Bloomington, Minnesota. It's humongous. It's an Otis with GAL. Alright, we're gonna go to number four. At the Sears and Roebuck store, Mall of America, Bloomington, Minnesota. Guess what? This elevator is humongous. I think this one's actually bigger than the freight elevator. And as you can tell, this is the elevator. At the Bloomingdale store, Mall of America, Bloomington, Minnesota. Hi. At the um, Macy's store, Mall of America, Bloomington, Minnesota. This one is a Montgomery elevator. Door closed button works. See? I just shut it on somebody. It's a nice elevator. It's got buttons on both sides. We'll go up to two now. Nope, it left. I hear it moving. Here it comes. Now you have to get in this elevator fast. Watch. See, it doesn't stay open barely long enough for anyone to get in. If we go back to it's a basic Schindler elevator. But look up at the ceiling. Who do you see? Hi. This is the elevator at the Sharky's Cove. The Mall of America. It's a very big elevator. It's marked and it's very busy. The Mall of America Avenue. Mall of America. And this is one of the slowest elevators I've ever seen. Here it is. It's an Otis elevator. Going to go up to this is why we might not ride these main elevators. Look at all these people waiting to use these two slow Otis hydraulic elevators. All the chairs are up on the tables in the food court.
Not a shopper in sight. The shoppers have all gone home for the night. See? The escalators are even off. At the West Tower, All Park Hilton, oop, just left, there it is. This is the Ball Park Hilton, St. Louis, Missouri. Oops, slows up on me. Can go up to 22. Here we go. This one's not as bad as the other one. Whoa, that stopped fast. That level's quicker. Oh, hi. Ooh, that was quick. Just closed up. Look in the mirror. Who do you see? These elevators have mirrors on all three sides. It's a very nice elevator with original Westinghouse fixtures. Here we are at the lobby. This one levels a lot quicker than the other one, and it doesn't quite take your stomach away. Be sure you close up fast. And that's it. At the University of Rochester Medical Center, this one right here is the original one. And as you can tell, it's an Otis. We're going to go down first. Watch this. Here it is. Once it's closed up awful fast, let's go down to the basement. Door closed and push the button. I like that. Here we are at the basement. Classic Otis level. Now this call button down here, this is nothing fancy. See, this, this is the basement. Now look at this call button, nothing fancy here. Again, look at this elevator. All right, now we're going to go up to the roof. I like that, it lights up. Watch this. Classic Otis leveling. And here we are at the roof. See, it's got the Otis. I'll do my cab view up here. It's a beautiful antique Otis elevator. Absolutely beautiful. That's the only signs of modernization, as well as the electric eye on the door. Gotta go back down to the basement now. If you look out there, you can see us moving. Here at the basement. We'll take up the roof one more time. Watch this. See it lights up when I press the button. You can't really see out there because it's kind of dark.
Now watch this go off. Here we are at the roof. Alright, we'll take it for one more round trip. Let's go back to the basement. I want to see if you can see any movement out there. Barely. We're stopping on five. Go to one. Ground, thank you. Ground. Which is where I'm going. I pressed the wrong button. What's wrong with this elevator? It's an uh, antique Otis elevator. <laughs> we can get a new one, right? Oh no, this one's beautiful. This one's beautiful, okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't see elevators. Like antique? Yeah, this is an antique elevator. You don't see elevators <laughs> like this anymore. 1970 or 1950? No, this is actually from 1926. 1926? Yeah, I think this is a 1926. Oh, okay. Is that right, Jim? <laughs> Go back down to the basement one more time. Watch it level. I know this is a long video, but I can't get enough of this elevator. We'll go one more time up to the roof. Getting a very good look at these fixtures. And with a mag light, you can see some movement. Look at that leveling. That was nice. Again, the only signs of modernization is the electric eye on this door. See, look at this interlock. That door operator looks modern. Ooh, there's an original interlock. Look at that. Now we'll go back down to ground. Now watch this. Oh, we're at five. Now we're at the roof. Now we're going back to the ground. Hopefully nonstop. We were at five. This work? Yep. Here are the ground. All right. And there it goes. And let's get one more look at these fixtures. This is just a very nice antique Otis elevator. This is going to be a supplement to the antique 1926 Otis Elevator at the University of Rochester Medical Center. I'm going to take one more ride, of course. Ooh, the door really wants to close fast. Turn off the fan. Start at the basement. I want to get a better cab view. Here we are, B. Now watch what happens when I press the roof button. Awesomeness. Also lights up back here. Which watch this. There goes the white. Okay, look at the shape of this ceiling. Watch the light go out. Here are the roof. Ken, this elevator is just amazing. Again, I'm going to press the basement and watch it light up. Vintage floor indicator. 
There goes the white again. Modern lights here at the bottom. All right, I'll do it one more time. And then we'll go back down to the ground. It overspeeds a little bit. There with the white. All right, now we'll go back down to the ground level. I want to see what's out here. Oh yeah, it's got the original button. All right, now we'll go back down to ground. Listen to the relays. Watch the arrow go out. And you can see it leveling. Turn the fan back on. Oop, door shut on me. There it goes, and. At the Days Inn in Nashville, Tennessee. Look at this. My party door. It's a little bitty. Watch this. If I go down to one. There we go. Got the low battery. Eight. Look at this thing. This is a freight elevator. This is the hotel. You can see up the shaft. Six. These are Gilbert doors. I don't think I'm going to open the door, but look at these fixtures. It says Dover on them. See Dover. Here are two. And this is the first floor. And we are going to go back up to nine. I'll go up to nine. Listen to that interlock. Again, look, this is probably the smallest freight elevator I've ever seen. Wow. Again, I like the fact that you can see up the shaft. Here we are at nine. Listen to that interlock again. I like these buttons. Single light bulb. All right. Again, this is a Gilbert door. Now we're going to close her up. Look at the. Wait, let me open this up. I'll let you look in there one more time. It's only a 2,000 pound capacity elevator. A freight elevator in a hotel. I've never seen this. There it goes. I'll show you the passenger elevators. Look at this. This is like a ballroom up here. It is a ballroom. Now these are the passenger elevators. The freight elevator is locked behind all the other floors. That's the only, this is the only floor 
where it appears to be unlocked. And that freight elevator is the only unmodernized elevator in the building. So we're going to go down to one. Basic Dover elevator. These used to have a Turnbull style fixture. I stayed here before. Someone's getting on. One, two, two. There you go. Going down? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to shut it on you. It's okay. Going down? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thanks. Make sure I won't shut it on you. <laughs> and there it goes. Alright, this is going to be a video of me backing my truck into this spot. I know the sun is in the video, but yeah, I'll be blocking it soon. So here we go. That's it, one pull up in a tight spot. All right, this is how you weigh the truck. You pull onto the scale, you put the camera on the tripod. You see, there's the scale. This is a tight turn.
once you're on the scale, you set your brake, and then you release it. And make sure you don't roll. Which I'm rolling a little bit. So. This one, you'll have to put the parking brake on. You're not supposed to have your brakes on, but this one I'm going to have to because of the angle. Then you press this button right here. First way. Yes, this is my first way. Four, left. four three, seven, one, four. Thank you. And what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to pull off the scale, but since there's a vehicle in front of me, uh, I'm probably just going to have to wait till that vehicle moves. So that's basically what you do. You pull on the scale. You're supposed to release your brakes, but on some of them, you can't release your brakes. Then you call in and. I'll start the camera back up and show you the ticket once I come back out. Alright, that vehicle is moving, so now I am going to pull off the scale. Automatic transmission, so all I got to do is put it in drive. And off the scale we go. Now I go in there and pay. I'll show you the ticket when I come back out. All right, you see this? This is a scale ticket. It's a little bit windy out here. If you look here, it has the truck and trailer number, the scaler's name, and of course the fee. But this, uh, and the, there's where it was weighed, the date, and this right here are your weights. The steer axle, 10,660 is that axle right there. The drive axle, 32,480, is that axle right there. And of course, the trailer axle, 33,040, which you can probably figure out. That's that axle right there. And this number right here, 76,180, that's the whole vehicle put together. That's the gross weight. And these are the weights. Up there on the front, you're allowed 12,000 up there. Some tires you're allowed to carry a little bit more. 34,000 right there. 34,000 right there. Now the whole truck cannot weigh any more than 80,000 pounds on your standard five axle vehicle like that. So now you know a little bit more. Now you know a little bit about uh, scaling a truck. So I guess all I'm safe now is bye everybody in the stacks. Look at this. It's the old Otis elevator. You can see the button barely lights up. Ooh, look who came off the other elevator. Hi. Sweaty and all. Won't focus. There, say hi now. Hi. Sweaty and all. This is the other elevator. We'll ride that one in a little bit. But this one's on its way down. It'll be here any second. If you can hear it. Yep. That light barely lights up while it's coming. Look at those fixtures. Yeah, the elevator works. <laughs> Original 1930 Otis. And it's just about here. Here it is. Ooh, it re-leveled. Now watch this hand-operated outside door two-speed. And it should close by itself. Yep, there it goes. Now we are the highest, see you can try to go to the top, but doesn't work. 700 doesn't work. 500M is the highest we can go.
seat opens. Now watch this. Uh, it just came to stop. See, uh, it electrically opens part of the way. This is manual. See? Yeah, but I kind of hold the door open. I don't know if it has a door stop or not. But look. You can see the interlocks and everything. See, look. That's the original interlock. Now watch. See, watch. See? Listen. See, you can hear the relays upstairs. When you open it, see? Again, there's the interlocks. Original door operator. Oh, you can see someone up the shaft. Alright, look at this cab. It does have an ADA compliant phone. The door doesn't slam. Basic fluorescent light fixture. Now we're going to go back down to G100 and watch this. Watch it re-level. See it open and re-level. We'll take it up one more time. Again, look at this. You can see the interlock here. We're going to watch it close. See, watch this. See? Now we'll take it up one more time. Alright. Here we go. Here is Jimster. This is an amazing elevator. I'll let you watch it level. Here it comes. Now watch it level. See? Alright, I'll open the door. I'll let you watch the door close. See? And operate two speed. Do that one more time. And there it goes. Now we're going to go back down to G100. This elevator was put in in 1930, I believe. Now watch it level. See, it's classic Otis leveling. All right. And there it goes. And if you look behind you here, before you shut that off, here's here's a map of the building. We're right here. You can see how they're half floors going up. This is the newer stacks, which we're not going to visit. We don't have time. And this is the, the main building of the library itself. Okay. You can see how it stops, and only the stacks here continue to go up. And then the tower is up here. All right. Just a little. Interesting tidbit for you. Hi. All right. And I guess for this elevator, that's it. 2010 is when some of the people who I'm very close to to this day came into my life. Two of my best friends, Evan and Aaron. They were just young kids, but yet they found me on YouTube, came all the way to Roanoke, and saw me. TJ Burns is another person who I'm still close to to this day. Also, we went to Rochester to see Jim Sweet. So, 
2010, just a continuation of 2009, but some more wonderful people have come into my life. I hope you'll enjoy some of these clips, and it's a trip back in time. You'll see how much these people have grown up since I first met them. Enjoy these next clips. There's my scooter, and we all know what a cute little bike it is, or actually, what a dirty little bike it is. So, that's why we are here at the Nichols Car Wash. And we are going to wash my cute little bike. So, first thing we're going to do is, I think we're going to get it wet, then we're going to scrub with a bubble brush. So, the bubble brush. So this is what we do. we got to put, looks like $1.50 in the start. Let me put it on, yeah, it's on, let me stop it first. Oop, I just lost a dime. Okay, let's start feeding this thing money. Here we go. It tells you how much you have to put in. Oh, it actually accepts bills. 75 more cents. I wonder how much time this is going to buy. One more quarter, more in business. Here we go. Ooh, three minutes. That should be enough. Actually, where's the high pressure uh, soap? That's what I want right there. Here we go. All right, here we go. That's from where a can of soda, or a, a soda exploded on the luggage rack. High pressure soap, they're sure, oh there, the soap's now just starting to come out of it. Whew. All right, now we're gonna use the bubble brush. Let's see, where is the bubble brush? There it is. The bubble brush. Scrub this floorboard. My scooter will be a cute little bike again. Get all the soda off. Wash down here. Exhaust. Scrub the seat. Now we'll put the bubble brush up over here. And there's my cute little bike all covered in soap. Let's do, I'll put some more money in just for a little bit more time. There we go, got two minutes. I'll put it back on high pressure soap. And we'll get the bubble brush soap off. Now watch this. Oop. There we go. Get all the mud and soda off of it. Sorry about that uh, tube in the way. All right, now it's telling me I got one minute left, so. Time to put it on the high pressure rinse. There we go. 
Now this will get all the soap and everything off of it. We got about five more seconds. All right, we are now out of time, and there's my scooter. And once again, we all know what a cute little bike it is, so that's it. All right, there it is my homemade preheat fluorescent light fixture which was made for me by friend and fellow YouTube user David from AE. Go check out his channel. Also check that out. Sorry for the different colors of bulbs but this is all I had to work with right now. So here we go. We're going to power it on. Awesome. Let's do it one more time. Notice the neon starters. All right, that's it. This fixture's new home is going to be up there where that one is. So, that's it. Elevator in Dumas. Oh, look at this, it works. Yeah, watch this. Yeah, it's kind of cool though. Come on in. Yeah, shut the door. This is like the one of the Guggenheimer. Let's shut the door all the way. Now watch this. Here we got the four. We're probably gonna get thrown out of here for this. We're gonna go back down to two. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Here we are at four. I'm not going to open it up here. Now we'll go down to one. That is smooth. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the wallpaper. Again, this is a, obviously some type of, they're using it as a service elevator. This is a lot like the one at the Guggenheimer. Actually, we can get off at, uh, we'll get off at the mezzanine because we're probably going to get thrown out of here. Here's one. They might not even notice us using this. Let's go for one more ride. I don't think they know us using it. <laughs> Here we go for one more ride. They don't even know we're using this too. We could ride it all day if we wanted. That's what we got off on. Huh? This thing's amazing. I'm gonna have to take some I'm gonna pause this video to take some still pictures of the fixtures. Actually no, I'll do it after I stop it. I can do video. I can do pictures right when I'm video. Here are four. And Look at these fixtures. These are amazing. All right, we're gonna go down to one oh, now. Where's the logo? We're gonna go down to M. All right. Look at those buttons. I'm gonna ask them about this elevator. Want to do a compliment to write on it too? There's a kitchen style. Here we are. Look, it actually levels. Look at that light. So can I open it? In a second. Alright, go ahead and open it if you want. I'll let you open it. Be careful. Yeah, always close it up when you get done. We'll yeah. tell them we are admiring their elevator. Hand operated two speed door. Yeah, two speed door and I'll let you close it up. It doesn't level quite right. Now close it up. Close the gate first. Inside gate first. Like then close the outside gate. Shuts automatically. Yeah, no, you have to push the shut all the way. Look at that call button. I just got in the mail today from 47s.com, an excellent flashlight store. I got their Quark AA flashlight. It comes in this really nice box. 
On the back of the box, it tells you a little bit about four sevens and the cork. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause. It tells a little bit about the flashlight and what it includes. And yes, it was made in China with USA components. So now we're going to unbox the flashlight. It's a nice box. It's got this glossy stuff on it. So here we go. Let's get it to focus. Now I will pull it out. Wow. There it is. Look how small it is. We are going to open up the box. Let's see here. Hopefully we won't have to cut it now. Alright, it comes with the flashlight that has a clip, which of course I'm going to take that clip off. See it has the 47's logo on it. There it focuses. It says Cork AA. Yeah, this is Sony focusing at its finest. There we go, Cork AA, 47's logo. It's got a 47 on the clicky. And it's got a Cree LED. Alright, it comes with a little finger grip to wear it on your finger. Extra O-rings. Hollister and lanyard strap. And it comes with a Duracell battery, which we are not going to use for obvious reasons. I'm going to be using this Kodak battery, rechargeable battery. So, we will now open the flashlight once it focuses. There, i got to put my hand there to get to focus. Now I'll open the flashlight. Again, I've got to maintain my hand in the background to keep it to focus. This is ridiculous. Now I'll put the battery in the flashlight. And we will turn it on. Here we go. Wow, that's bright. There's a strobe. And if you loosen the head, it's like a Phoenix LD10. You get moonlight, medium, high. There's high. Then you get SOS and back to moonlight. So, all right. Uh, I will do an official review. Let me take the uh, camera off the tripod. Oop, stuck on the tripod. I will do an official review of this flashlight within the next week or two once I take it out to work and use it. The reason I got this flashlight, um, for those of you, I do not recommend Nightcore's uh, D10 flashlight. I got the Nightcore D10 and it was terrible, had switch issues, um, it was just not a good flashlight. So I sent it back to 4.7s and exchanged it for this. 4.7s, by the way, is a great place to buy a flashlight. Alright, that's it for the unboxing. I'm filming with Fax Plane and TJ Elevator Fan. TJ, press the door open button. Wait till the door is completely open before you enter the elevator. Now you may enter. Now we are going to close the door. And DJ, if you want, you can press the number two button. Big bump. Let me get back here so I can see. And go back here so I can see. And TJ, I'll tell you what you can do. Once the door opens all the way, if there's no one waiting for the elevator, you can close the door. Would you like that? There's two windows. Yep. Yeah. Now wait till the elevator opens all the way. If there's nobody waiting, TJ. Go up there and close the door. Press and hold door close. Press and hold it. We're going to do a cab view. We're not going down yet. We're going to do our cab view. So don't send it anywhere yet. Okay, now we're going to get our cab view. It's a very nice older Dover elevator. Look at these fixtures. Beautiful older Dover fixtures. There's no phone in here, just an alarm bell. 7,500 pound capacity. I'm going to go to the back of the elevator and whenever TJ's ready, TJ can make the elevator go to one. And here we go. And we wait till the doors open all the way before we exit. This is not a passenger elevator. You have to keep all hands, arms, legs, etc. inside the elevator at all times. And wait till the elevator opens up all the way. And if no one's waiting on it, we're going to close the door. 
You did your camera die? Oh, the truck just left. No space? Oh, well. All right, now everyone exit the elevator. Wait till everyone's out. Ask if everyone's out. Is everyone out? Yeah. Okay, it's safe to close the elevator. Now do I press the hold? Hold it down. And there it goes. And I'll tell you when to let go. Keep holding. That's it. We are in the Habitat for Humanity store in Roanoke, Virginia. And that is a ThyssenKrupp ISIS elevator. But what we're going to take our eye on now is an old Monarch freight elevator. Hand operated door. Two part. All right. I'm gonna close the door. Hand operated. Now we're gonna get a good cab view before we go anywhere. It's a very nice elevator. The cab is made out of wood. See, the whole thing's wood. Even the floor. Now that I got the mag light, we're going to take a look up the shaft. If I can find it. Sorry for shaky, I'm doing one handed. Let's look up the elevator shaft. You can see the counterweight. Now let's go for a ride. We'll try the cork when we come down. Light switch, see? Instant start lights. And here's the fixtures. It's a Monarch elevator. Let's start our tour by going down. Here we go. Dead man's control. See? It automatically will level with the first floor. It's got the final limit switch. And again, this door down here is two part. See? Close the door. Now we'll go up to four. Watch this. By the way, that's not my hand shaking. That's the elevator. This one has three ropes. There's also no interior car door and it's bouncing. All right, here we are up at four. This thing bounced a lot. Let's go back down to one now. Let me get them. I'm going to try the quark light. Let's try the quark. I'm going to put it in my mouth and look up the shaft in a minute. It's a little bit smoother going down. Here we are at two. Now we're back down at one. Again, watch auto level. See, now we'll look up the shaft with a quark. Oh, the quark affords a much better view. So, we're going to look up with the quark, or attempt to. Actually, this is going to be hard. I'm doing this one handed. I got an idea. I'm going to put the camera on the floor looking up the shaft with a flashlight shining up the shaft. And we'll see what we can see. I don't know if you're seeing this or not, but the camera is looking up the shaft. It's got three cables. And yes, it's bouncing a lot. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. All right, now we will go back down and end our tour on to, again, look at these fixtures. 75 feet per minute, 
Now we're going back down. This elevator bounces a lot, but it's still a nice elevator. And watch, I'm going to level it with level 2. Watch this. And here we are at 2. Again, it's got some type of cover. I yes. guess it's to protect the fixtures from freight coming in. Let's look up with the quark one more time. You can see the motor room up there. Wow. All right. It is hot today. And close the door up. And there it goes. And that's it. Oh, um, this is the electric freight elevator no, at the Tanglewood Mall. And hold on. Oil. Let me look at it first. Hold on. All right. Uh, press the one button. Okay, it's coming. Now stand back. What? Stand back from the elevator. Don't press it over and over. It just automatically open? Yes, yeah, stand back and film an opening. And then and enter and go toward right the back there. of the elevator. Once it's here. And you can see through the window. This Have you ever seen an elevator like this? Is this a Peely door? Yep, it is. Here it is. Yep, here it is. Whoa. It starts with a big bump going up. It's a big bump going up. Well, so what's the 7,000 pounds. 7,000 pounds. That's a keeper. Now wait till it's completely open. Do not go until it's all the way open. Now you can enter the elevator. Now I go first. Nope, I'm doing this. Huh. Alright, come on in. Nick, come on in. Wait, wait. Uh, so why did he get like TJ elevator You ready? Here we go. No, I saw TJ Now once the door is closed, one of y'all can send it to two. Yeah. Oh, but you know, why did he eat like TJ elevator tank? Uh, Quit complaining. Right. Once we get up to two, if nobody's here, okay. one of y'all can okay. close the door. I will. I will. Oh, and can I close the door? Wait till the elevator is completely Please, open. Can we take two trips? Sure, thanks. That way both y'all can close and the door. And I'll do it. Close it first, okay? <laughs> and I'll do it. That's the picture. Yep, that's the picture. That's the picture. I ain't showing nothing. I know. All right, now wait, wait till it completely opens. Is that the picture? Right there. All right, now. Close the door and send it down to one. Let's go down to one. Press one. Press one. It's. Now you want to see something else here? Watch this. Not ring it. See that stop? Can I try? Now press one to make it move again. You can we try it? Press the one button to make it move again. Can we, See? can we stop it? You can stop the elevator. Pull the stop switch. Now push it to run. And push the one button to make it move again. And then now let's press it again. They're showing, okay, do it one more time. Now press oh, the one button. Okay. <laughs> All right, no more. Nick's scared. See, we're, we're, we're just here for the ride. <laughs> Why is not Nick filming? Uh, who's the one that did, now whose turn is to send it up yeah, now? My turn. I right, wait till the door completely opens, and if nobody else wants to use the elevator, if someone else wants to use the elevator, you invite them in. This, this, elevator, this elevator takes forever to level. All right, now the you can close it up. Door closed. Oh, so you have to hold it down. And that, and this is a disclaimer: if any of you want to operate one of this, do not, do not let go. <laughs> They're having fun, aren't they? Yeah. Now send her up to. Yep. Ooh, big bump. It's a very nice elevator, and they are talking about the lovely artwork on the wall in this elevator. I'm not showing. It's I a know. boy park. And look at this. There's the label for the capacity. 7,500 pounds. And they did, I, I gotta admit, they did a really good job boarding this off, because this used to go to a restaurant, or was it? I don't know what was back there. All right, now let this person in the elevator. Let the person in the elevator. Someone wants to come down. And then once they're in, yeah, ask them if, you, wait, right? don't touch the buttons. I, ask the person if they're in the elevator. Y'all in the elevator? Now you can close the I, elevator. What? Hey, it's my turn. Y'all don't argue. Now press one. No, now press one. That ain't fair. Well, don't worry. And if any of y'all are wondering, Chuck <laughs> Blay, man, uh, he has permission to film. <laughs> 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 you
This is our first time ever seeing oh, a freight elevator. Oh, hold on, elevator. don't we need to close the door uh, on the uh, second floor of the smaller elevator? Yeah, we gotta. We can go look at it in a minute. We're gonna let this gentleman off, then we'll go up and, and, and get off. And Aaron will close the door, and I'll, actually, I will close the door, and Angela will, Aaron will press it too. Okay? I'll tell you, the people, the, the management here is really nice. My wife works here at the music store. Uh, now let this gentleman actually, off. you close the door. I press the button and then I... Ask yeah. him if he's in the clear before you close the door. Y'all in the clear? There you go. You can close Andrew. now. Right, can, I can, I close, can I close the door at the top floor? Uh, it's up to you guys. No, I get you. You can press it too and close the door. <laughs> This is Evan and Aaron arguing about who closes the door on the second floor. And when oh, we Andrew. and when we get off of the second floor, we use indoor voices. Yes. All right, but you know, this I can see the marking. Are you having fun today? Yes. Well, what is all this green stuff? What about you? No I comment. To to office <laughs> all right, now be quiet when we get off this elevator. We don't want to make a lot of noise because this is people's workspace up here. There is an office up here. Wait till it's fully open. Okay, now. Right. Now I close the door. Shh. Be quiet. Don't make a lot of noise. Hey, Glutus and Sussex, you're going to love this. Not sure the exact name of this place. Entrance is at 110 Candle Avenue, but look at this. That's right. Let me get the light here. There. This is an old elevator that was modernized by Dover. It's got several different keyholes. And here it is. Going down the basement. Ooh, don't close on push the button. I like that. Okay. Let me try the other one. Oh. Look at those doors. Here at the basement. Now we'll go up to four. Big bump. Oh, look at this. Art metal. Alright, now we'll go back down to the basement. Again, you have to press from this side. It's a beautiful old elevator. Look at the fixtures. B. Again, look at those doors. They were hand operated at one time. Now we will take the XL100 and attempt to look up the shaft. Uh, okay. You can see up there a little bit. Art metal makes a door. We'll go on one more trip. That lights up. I love those fixtures. Industrial Development Agency. I was right, 110 candle.
basement up again. Kind of press on this side. I do like this elevator a lot. Capacity 3,000 pounds. Oh, there's a the phone. What's that? Oh, an electrical plug. Ooh, big bump that time. Now we're going to go back up to one. And this time, watch this. Looks like it's going on up, so that light's not going out. Williamport Parking Garage, Otis. Beautiful motor. Let's go to four. The door closed but more. I like that. Amazing. Two indicators. Wow, we gotta ride this thing again. Look, it's got the original bumper. Beautiful old Otis elevator. See? Got two indicators now. We're gonna ride this thing again. There's no phone in here, just an alarm. Look at these fixtures. I love that indicator. Here are leveling. Let's watch the button go out. And has some classic leveling. All right, let's get out and take a look. That elevator is amazing. Wow, that was worth checking out. Out here, just you can see a view of downtown a little bit. Again, this is, here's another elevator over there we're gonna go check out in a minute. Let's go ahead and call this one. Go back down to one. Here's your alarm. Door open, door close. Here we are back at one. Now if you look up here, look at this old Otis interlock. Look at that. And there it goes in at the Monroeville Mall in Monroeville, PA. And here it is. Film me opening the door. It takes forever to level. Let me close it. Get the door going to the center. Let me show the camera. Alright, this is a lot like the other one. It's a nice older Montgomery elevator. Look at these fixtures. Here we go to three. Weird. Let me try again. Well, something tells me it doesn't want to go to three. Let me hold the button in. There. That almost got stuck. Whoa! 
this opens right up into the outside. So this truly is a space elevator. I'm just going to take a quick peek. Hold the camera. This is a space elevator. What kind of elevator is this new? Space elevator? Now let me see the camera. This is why it's a space elevator. See, it opens up into outer space. That's the parking lot over there. It almost got stuck coming up here. Did you feel that? The elevator got stuck. Did you see that? It stopped at two. All right, these are your fixtures. Let's go back down to one now. Now look, it's stopping at two again. This elevator's glitched. To go down to one, look, it's stopping at two. Oh, whoa. We are going down at leveling speed. This elevator, I hate to say, it's messed up. We're going down at leveling speed. There's no phone in here. If we get stuck, we're going to have to press that button right there and ring the alarm. Okay, look, we're going down at leveling speed. We're going to take this glitched elevator for another ride. Once we eventually get back down, here comes the first floor, but it's weird. Going up, it jolts to stop at 2. I'll have to say, CBL, you need to fix your elevator. I'm not sure, but I think this elevator might be a death trap. Alright, watch it level. Alright, now we'll take it back up. Listen to the motor. It's probably going to bump to stop on two again. Here's two. Oh, it worked that time. So here, are, here we are in outer space again. Let's try to go down without an issue. Here we go down to one. Guess what? CBL, th th this is pathetic. We got plenty of time for an extended cab view since we're going down at leveling speed. Look up the shaft. See, I'm using my mag light. You can see up the shaft. There's one of the doors. That's an interlock right there. Again, this is pathetic. Beautiful fixtures. What do you think about this elevator, Nick? Uh, it's a piece of shit. This elevator's terrible. I've ridden some bad elevators in my time, but this one just sucks. CBL, I'm sorry, there's just no excuse for this. You need, you need to fix your elevator. And here we are, coming back to one. Let's watch it level. Here comes the first floor. All right, fill me up in the door. Exit the elevator. Now we close it. You going up? And there it goes, and that's it. CBL, fix your elevator. We are at the 36th floor of Cathedral Learning, and this is the O-Car Elevator. Patrick Neds is there. I'll be right back, Patrick. It's a very small elevator. Oh, let's close up off quick. Look at that safety edge. Look at that. The 40. Look at this. You 
can see out the window, watch it level, big pump. Back down 36, new door, close the button, I like that. It's a very small elevator. Epco fixtures. ADA compliant phone. Watch it level. Plop, what, classic Westinghouse plop leveling. There's fax plane looking out the window. And look, let's Nick, uh, uh the council so you can see up the shaft. Look up the shaft. Let's get out of the shaft. It's trying to close. There it goes, man. That's it. This is the elevator. And there we go. Lawyer's building. Look how small those numbers are, Patrick. I know. They're LED. Yeah, my bad. I'm getting my famous low battery lights, so I got two more batteries where this came from. Look at them. This is how you make an elevator ADA compliant. There's the original ones. Quite pictures are these. Those are Adams. Here are 25. Are they not Miller? Nope, they're... Look at that hot and... You don't like this one? Yeah. Ooh, door closed button works. See, there's no oh. basement on that one. Look at that. They add a basement? Uh... On this panel they did, because there's the ADA compliant mm -hmm. phone. They don't like these fixtures. Well, they're yeah. okay, but I mean, they're Adams. Those are original. Look at this, though. Look, look at the cab view here. The little buttons are on the back. That's rare. Someone's getting on at five. Hit the lobby. Let him in. Where's the door open? They must have taken the steps. All right, the elevator's just playing tricks. Oh, the whole thing lit up for I just know. a second. That was weird. That was very weird. And look at that. What floor are we on? This is ground and the lobby button did not... There, it went out now. The button went out. See, look at the bat, the button on the back wall. And I guess... Oh, it does close up. Is. There it goes. And that's oh, it. Adams. Is the space elevator. That's right, see, it's the official space elevator. And I'm about to show you why, because yes, it does go in outer space. It's here at RIT. You're not going to embark on a mission to outer space. Close the door. Bye, Jim. All right, now we are going to go to outer space. Here we go. Two-speed indoor. I like that. Now this is how you go to outer space. Of course, there's the space heater, and this is outer space. We are opening the door to outer space. See, this is the door to outer space. And there it is. That is outer space. Now to go back down, you have to close this door. You have to hold the button down to close the door. We are now closing the door on outer space. Now we will go back to Earth. And let's do the cab view of this amazing space elevator. It's very small. Look at that light. I like that light. And 
and on the space elevator, you must close the door when you exit. In case you experience any problems, here's a phone back to Houston. Let's close the door and go back down. Here we go. I do like that two-speed door. All right, now let's go back down. After we look at the fixtures, this elevator can take 2,500 pounds up to outer space. Here we go. And here we are. Who's that? Now we will close the space elevator. Alright, and that's it. But before we go, you saw the space elevator. How do you get to outer space if there's a fire? Ooh, that fire looks like it's getting close to that guy. Here's another way to outer space. As you can see, it's a long way up. So let's call this the man-powered space elevator. We are going to go up the man-powered space elevator. Here we go. And outside of this door is outer space and there's public safety. In Rochester, New York, these things are extremely busy, so I'm going to try to get it by myself, but I don't think it's going to happen. These are very busy elevators. Ah, uh, here we go. I hope no one's on it, but if they are, oh well. Yes, by myself. Let's go up to 26. Door closed does not work. We. Fast elevator. Go back down to the street level. You're a cab view now because this is going to stop a million times. Very nice elevator. Yep, we're stopping on 24. Pick up. Going down? Yeah. Which one are you going to? I'm going to the plaza. Plaza level. This is how an elevator should run. <laughs> Here at the plaza level. Look at that. We're going to go back up to number three. It says zero, like in Europe. Now we're going to go to level three and meet Jim. I love these elevators. Elevator 2. Alright. Sorry for the rushed video of that, but there it goes and that's it. Now, I wonder who that is in there. Look at that. It's the Jimster. 2010 is also when I met Nick down in Austin, Texas. I'm still good friends with him to this day and he has donated many items to the Elevator Museum. Stand back here, and we're going to go up to 17. This thing 
Send it down to what's this? Send it down to two? Yes. Uh, there's offices up here. Wait, here we go. Here we go. Just give it time. There it goes. Now we'll get a cab view. This thing is a little bitty. It can only fit two people. Barely. This is the smallest elevator I've ever been in America. Yes. Look at that emergency phone. Let me get the fixtures. These are the fixtures. This is an amazing elevator. This thing is a little bitty. Yes. As you can see, I'm filming with Diesel Odyssey. Captain Elevator 42189 in the smallest uh, elevator. Prevent Otis Grove. Here are six. Oh, big bomb. Now where? Oh, hold on, let me look at that. Look at that interlock. Cool. All right, now where are we going now? Five. Bush kills children. <laughs> Obviously not a Republican. All right, let's exit the elevator. And I want to get a good view of this thing. Wow. You can see up the shaft. Let's see here. I'm shining the mag light up the shaft. This thing is amazing. There, that is a lot like the Guggenheimer. See, elect, watch the interlock. See, it's electromechanical interlock. See? Electromechanical. Again, there's the emergency phone. There's your buttons. And let's let the door close gently. And does it close up? No. Up. Oh, I hear it clicking. That's it. And that's it. 2011 was both a good and bad year for Elevate Tours. To start it off with, Jacob Bakta, who is one of my best friends, came into my life. I went out to St. Louis to visit him. In the summer, I took a trip to Chincoteague Island, and in the fall, we went down to Texas, where we drove all the way to Lubbock to film the Westinghouse Selectomatics. Also, sadly, September 2011 is when Diesel Ducey DC number 2 disappeared. Enjoy some more hand-picked clips. Hi. Hi everybody, check this out. Boy do I have something cool to show you. That's right, ABC Elevator. Let's call it. While the elevator's coming, ABC Elevator was started in um, 1883 in Brooklyn, New York. In 1938, um, Westinghouse got hold of ABC Elevator. Alright, the elevator's here. So let's take a look at this vintage elevator button. Look at that jewel light. There's the button. Let's see how this thing works. When you press the button, um, it completes the circuit here between these two contacts. See right now it's open, closed. Open, closed. I love the way this button feels. Very solid. As you can see, it's, it's made out of cast brass. Very beautiful old elevator button. So there it is. ABC Elevator. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it. In Eaton, in Hampton, Virginia. 
These are glass elevators. Wow. This is nice. Go to 14. I don't know if it worked. 14's locked. 12, 11, 10 works. Wow, it's all dark now. Wow, this place is nice. One. Door closed, but it works. Okay. Whoa, we're not going anywhere. Let's try going on one. There. Look out the window again. Here it comes. Nice office building. Look at this. Wow. Take one more ride up to 10. Give a look out the window one more time. This building's nice. Here are 10. Back to the one. Get a cab view. Going down. It's a very nice elevator. Look at that bubble window. See? Look at the shape of this. Look at the wall high. Here are one. And go to series one fixtures. And let's take a look on this one. Let's see if this one is the service elevator. And it lit up, but stuck on pH. This is 14. These are Otis Series 1. wonder if anybody's going to be in it. Oh, here it is. Ten is as high as you can go in any of these elevators. Wow, Elevonic 401. Button already went out. Here we are at 10. I'll go back down to 1. Yeah, those floors are locked off. This elevator is very basic. It's got pads. This is who it's managed by. Watch the button go out. Here we are at one. Now we'll watch the glass elevator. And this elevator closes up here, it goes, and we might take one more ride on the glass. This one's right here. This is a different one. Again, 10 is as high as you can go here. Here's one of the other elevators. See? And that's all you see. Above eight, it's nothing. See, is there a phone? Yep, phone. There. Click it on the one. Six, four. Now we'll watch it go up. 
look at this. We'll send it up to 10, and we'll watch the elevator go up. Look at this atrium. There's the elevators. All right, there it goes. There goes the elevator up. You can see it going up. There's my scooter. We all know what a cute little bike it is. It's 70 degrees outside, and it's the day before I go to St. Louis, so I'm gonna get a video starting this thing up right here on camera. Set the camera here. All right, and here we go. Hadn't been started in about a month. No electric. Been sitting a month and it started on the first kick. That's pretty good. And that's it. Hi everybody, guess what? I got a little secret to let you in on. You see this lovely little camera here. That's right, it's the T900 baby. It's a good little camera. Shoots in 720p HD. But it's been getting old, it's been getting beat up, it's got a few hot pixels. And I'm thinking about upgrading here. Um, I think it's about time I start shooting in. Full 1080p on a beautiful Sony Handycam HDR CX110. Isn't it a beauty? That's right, my new camera just walked in the door. And it's the only camera to ever be used by two different people in the elevator community. That's right, this camera right here is changing hands. This camera right here is gonna be my new primary filming elevator camera. So, full 1080p HD, coming soon to a Diesel DC channel near you. 223 East Capitol, it's a Mount Otis with Montgomery button. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, do it, do it. Oh my gosh, this thing is from the 40s. Oh wow. Oh wow. Low ceiling. Look at that. It's got a Ooh, listen to that bumper. It'll let it sit, I guess. We got a there's our floor indicator right there. Plot leveling. I'll go down to the basement. We're going to take this thing for a couple rides. It's an Otis is what it is, and that Montgomery call button was fitting. Let's watch this again. Beautiful motor. Hopefully it'll open up by pulling down there. Oh well, we'll get over it. Yeah, that's the way to think about it. It's going to plop it. It's a single speed motor. We're going on another ride. Yeah. Listen. Listen to those relays. Look at that Otis label. Eight passengers. How Gonna get a nice people? cab view here. This is a treasure. Hold the light. Let's get a look inside. Oh, big bump. Look who's that. Look who I'm filming. Hi. Not much spare room in here, is there? <laughs> nope. Let's not hit the bumper again. <laughs> Look at these fixtures. Original 1940s Otis. There's no phone in here, but do you think you'd really need a phone in this elevator? Seems reliable enough to me. Let's get out and take a look here. Oh, it doesn't level very well. Oh, jeez, so it's tripped. Look at this. The only thing that's been upgraded. Let's let it close up. There's the machine room. Bottom drive traction. Send it up to two again. This thing does leave some leveling to be desired. What do you think about this one, Jacob? This is an awesome elevator. Can't believe I never noticed this. Leave it to you to find it. Well, that's my specialty, isn't it? Let me, get a, let me get a shaft view real quick. Actually, we'll do the shaft view at the basement. Send it back down to the basement. 
It's hot in here. It is. It's starting to break a sweat. Nice cab view. Now I'm going to get a shaft view. Let me get the flashlight out. I'll try to join you on this one. Oh wow, look at that. It's only got three ropes. Uh oh, let me hold the door. Look at that. There's the counterweight. Look at that old door operator. That is amazing. Tell you what, how about this? You want to take the elevator up to one, I'll try to race you here on the stairs. So. Alright, hold on. We're going to do an elevator drag race. Hold on. You have to wait till the door is closed, okay? okay? On your mark, get set. You beat me. And I love that yeah, press it. Wow. And there it goes. And that's it. Teak elevator at Memorial Student Union. Memorial Student Union. Ooh, this door looks like it's seen better days. Whole elevator looks like it's seen better days. Enter the elevator. It's Westinghouse. Hurry up and get in here. I'm gonna slam the door. Oh, this is rough. All right, I'm gonna set it down to the ground. We're gonna take a few rides on this. Here on the ground, go back up to two. If you do it, don't put up the scissor game. Let it time out for a second. All right, go over there and try to press two. Try one. We got on in the locks for. Well, you can lock. Oh, yeah, I see that. Watch it level. All right, now send it back down. Wait, I want to see something here. All right, let's get a look at these fixtures. We got on on a locked floor, Jacob. We were not in. Now send it down to the ground, please. I'm going to have you operate the gate. We're just going to open it up and then close it. Do I just pull it? You open the gate and then open the outside door. Open the gate. You've never done one of these, have you? That's all. Open up all the way. And open that door. And we're going to stick our heads out and take a look. Look at the door track. Wow. Let me take a look out here. Neat. All right, let me let the door shut. I'm gonna, we're going to go back in there. Mizzou. All right, guess who gets to open the door now? Open the door, you get to do it. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Where's it stuck? All now right. This, this elevator being great, but full of epic door closes again. Close whatever you want. All right, you get to close the gate. The gate's a little bit flimsy, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's not in the best shape. Now send it, let me see you push the, push the button. Send it up to one. This is the definition of epic. Oh, great cabinet down here. I open the, actually, I'll open it for you. Are we getting into here? Yep, we're getting out here. Now let you close the door. You want to close itself? Uh, you got to close the gate. Oh, yeah, true. Because then else will ask. Close the gate. And watch this. There it goes, oh, and. Look at the old Westinghouse thing. And what do you think about that elevator? That was awesome. Jefferson City. It's an old Otis from. It's white and right here. Oh yeah, look at this. Go up to five. It's a fan switch. Oh wow. Look at that indicator. Listen to the motor.
thing's amazing. Classic level. Look at that. Yeah, look at A that. Classic 50s. This is 50s. Door does not close when you push the button. There's our friend, Mr. Security. Look at that. There's Jacob. Look at that. Stopping it. Um, what floor is this? Three, I think. Let the people in. Guess no one's coming. Well, this is four. This thing's slow. Yeah, it is. There it goes. Look at the number on the door. Otis. Beautiful fixtures. Here's your emergency phone. Only 1,200 pound capacity. Huh. Wow. Here at one, classic leveling, and there you awesome. go. You got your elevator. And there it goes, and that's it. University Avenue. This apartment building was built in 1928. Check this out. Beautiful. Wait till you see the inside. Look at this lobby. Once the white balance adjusts, this is a beautiful building. There's the steps, but what's really beautiful, look at this. Old Houghton elevator. 1928. Look at that call button. Wow. Here it is. Hand operated spring loaded door. It's kind of heavy. This one's really heavy. No handle on the outside. Try not to let this slam. Focus camera. Actually, you have to pull it shut. Oh, it's spring-loaded, but the springs... Oh, it doesn't slam. That closed this door. Before we go anywhere, let's get a cab view. This thing is beautiful. Seven people. 12 50-pound capacity. Jim, you're going to like that. Hot and elevator. Beautiful fixture. Let's go to four. Now watch this thing level. Single speed, but pretty smooth. Open the door. Let's see what's up here. It says, once it focuses, please close the door. Beautiful. That doesn't slam. That's nice. Now we'll go down to the basement. Again, I love these fixtures. Look at these fixtures. Stop. Light. There's the emergency bell. Now we're down to B. Very smooth. This is the basement. Again, the door is kind of heavy because that spring was put on. See? Let me use my foot. That spring was put on at a later time. See? And this is the outside door. And this is the basement. Sounds like a washer and a dryer. Let's look at the outside door. You gotta pull it, and it doesn't slam. We'll go for one more ride. The floor. Sorry about my hand, I'm shaking a little bit. Now watch the uh, got the shakes. Here we go.
can't get over how smooth this thing is. And since we already opened the door up here, I'm not going to bother with opening it. Let me get the mag light out. Here's the mag light. Let's see what we can see out. Ooh, yeah. You can see out into the shaft. Oh, there, we'll see the counterweight going by. All right, we're going to go back down to basement, and then we'll watch the counterweight go by. All right, looking out. Sorry about the shakes. There goes the counterweight. It went by at an odd time, if that's what it was. Now go up to one and end the tour. Again, this is an amazing elevator. Stops nicely. Open the gate. And open the outside door. Again, get one more look at this beautiful elevator. It's really small. And we all know how Jimster 586, one of those Houghton elevators. And try not to let that gate slam. There goes the outside door. There it goes, and that's it. Oxford building in Clayton, Missouri, and look at these fixtures. These are old Dovers, according to Missouri Elevator Records. Aren't they pretty elevator doors? Mm -hmm. One's here. Completely original. Listen to that motor. Look at these fixtures. Going to three. I gotta get one of those things a press. Listen to the motor. It says General. See, look, it, it says General, but see, these are Dover. These well, are, wasn't General uh, one of the companies yeah. merged into Dover? Yep. That one's locked. Go to lower <laughs> level. Get a cab view. It's a nice elevator. It's pretty dark in here. My therapist, Dr. Marwit, used to What's be this? in this building. There's the indicator. Here are LL, ADA phone. We'll send this one up and get the other one. Look at those doors. Oh, I know what that thing is for. It's to open up the parking garage. Oh. Now we're going to ride this one. See, it's for that right there. Mm -hmm. Go to three. The whole thing's burned out. That is the best motor I have ever heard on a hydraulic elevator. You know, we're taking this thing for another ride. Why is this motor so much better than the other one? Cab view again. Very nice elevator. We must be closer to the machine room on this one. It's twice as loud as the other one. This is elevator two. This indicator's completely burned out. I love these fixtures. And LL already went out. You want to give how, me a crack at that button this time? How about taking it up to three for me? Door closed when I push the button. Listen to the motor. We're going down the parking garage. Someone must have called it. Yep, this one is a little bit different. Look at this. Oh.
That motor was epic. What do you think about these fixtures? They are pretty awesome. These are all general fixtures. Yep. That's who owns the building, right? Mm -hmm. That's to unlock the bottom floor that we do, just went down to, but the door didn't open. Here we are at one. Maybe some parks down there. And exit the elevator and get a look at this lobby. Look at those doors. There it goes. And again, beautiful lobby. There's the Oxford logo. And that's, oh, look at the drinking fountain. I forgot to show that. Classic 60s drinking fountain. And that's it. Here we are in the Le Chateau Village. We just rode that really neat glass elevator. Over here is yet another elevator. Look at this. This is nice. Now we're going to call the elevator. Look at that arched doorway. And here it is. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's a nice elevator. You're not one of those elevator filmers, are you? No. All right, now we're gonna go down to LL. No door closed when you push the button. This is a long elevator. I think we're completely burned out. No, it's lit up a little bit. Oh, it is? All right, now send it up. Interesting how the button doesn't go out until it stops moving. Hear those relays? Mm-hmm. Loud and clear. I wonder if we're gonna have any numbers here. We'll find out in a second. There's one right there. You can barely see it. There. Know. Now you can see. I had to block the light. And we do have classic leveling. All right, send it down to lower level again, and we'll get Tell a cab view. I'm gonna ride the eleva other elevator since I got some solo time in here already. I'll meet you down there. All right. This is interesting. What floor? Lower level. Okay. Very nice elevator. Look at these doors. Again, that indicator works, but you have to cover up that light because it's so bright. What's that speaker for? Long fixtures, GAL. Now watch this. It's not going to go off until it gets done leveling. We're still leveling. Now it's off. And it will close up. There it goes. And now watch this. What is this right here? What is that thing he's holding right there? This is the glass elevator. Close, close, close. What are you trying to do? <laughs> oh. What did you just do to me? Nothing. Someone tried to shut the doors on me, so I guess I'll finish up the tour by riding up this one floor. Then I'm going to get a solo take. You know, I had to try to close the door on you at least once over this whole trip. And you succeeded, too. You pushed my diesel doocy into my thigh. And here we are, and there's the exit. And it will close up. There it goes, and 
That's it. Dover Freight Elevator at the Crestwood Mall. Let's see if it works. Up, oh, it's coming. Amazing. Here it comes. You want to operate the door? It's a hand-operated door. You can get the first time. Okay. It's slow too. Gosh, this thing is slow. I see the piston coming. Yeah. Ah, here it is, finally. Oh, wooden gate. Yep. All right, come up here. We're going to get in it now. Wow, it's clean. All right, enter the elevator and close the door. This is a heavy door. Got it. All right, now close the gate. Let's get a cab view before we go anywhere. We're not going to open this up on the third floor. We're probably going to ride it a few times. Oh, yeah, you can see the whole shaft up there. I like the gate and seal it. Yep, this is the Dover elevator. Now, look at this. Look at these fixtures. It's a general elevator. All right, I'm using the T900 now. Mine All right. Do this while now we'll go up to two. Look how many spaces in between floors. I'm willing to bet this thing goes faster up than it does down. We're not going to open it up up here. Isn't this thing nice? Yeah. Let's be quiet. I want to see what's out there at least. And that's weird. It's just in like a service area. All right, now I'll let you press one. Yeah, it's not much out there. Go ahead and press one. Now going up, I'm going to get a shaft view. Look how long it is in between floors. Here we are at one. You send it up to two, actually. Yeah, send it up to two. That's not open the gate. I'm have to go ahead. Ready? Yep, go for it. Well, I mean, the shaft view starts moving. Now we're going to watch up the shaft. There's the second floor. It's too much longer. You can see the guide rails. There's the final limit switch right there. Watch the window go by. And here comes the second floor. By the way, this is Jacob's second ever freight elevator. Yeah. Alright, now I want to send it down to one, okay? Go ahead. All yours. There's an ADA compliant phone. Why is this your second freight elevator? Why is this my first freight elevator with you? Because you didn't press record last time. Now we'll go down to one. Again, I like this elevator. Isn't this a nice one? None and waffles with peanut butter would be the national food. You see that was written on the door up there? What, nonsense? No, it said none. Something about peanut butter being the national food. Look at all this stuff here on it. Oh, that's a colorful language. Where? Up there. Oh, that needs to be... <laughs> Again, let me get a flashlight. Evidently, a mag light. Look at these beautiful fixtures. Sorry for the shakes. Let's do this one-handed. That's one wish I don't think we'll be able to comply with. You want one more ride? Um, it's up to you. How about it? You press two. Okay, now, watch the... Is that the interlock up there? 
I think I so. Watch, watch it when I hit the button. Hold on. You ready? Yep. Wow, that's excellent blocking action. I think this place is so dead. Our chances of getting C on this thing are slim enough to probably ride it all day. Yeah, these are older GAL fixtures. According to Missouri Elevator Records, I thought this was a Dover. But it says General on the panel. Maybe I was looking at the wrong elevator. Well, anyway, I'm going to watch that thing unlock. Yeah, I did that last time too. It was pretty nice. We're leveling off with two right about now. Watch it. Cool now. Back to one? Yeah, back to one it is. And we'll end the tour. What? Yeah, that's what I was reading. None and waffles with peanut butter would be the national food. That's weird. You can see the second floor disappearing. Look at the ceiling of the elevator shaft. Getting further away. Yep. Sadly, we're not going to be able to return this thing to the second floor, I don't think. No. Unless you want to get off up there. Nah, I don't even know what we're going to walk out on. <laughs> Doors you, you get to close it. You get to close it when we get off. All right. Yeah, you can get it. You can do the whole thing. I think really it's wise. You know how to open the outside door? All right. Let's grab this thing. And the latch. You have to unlatch it. Uh, here? Yep. Unlatch it. Yep. Push it. Let me look down first. All right. The coast is clear. Exit the elevator. I'll let you close it. Inner gate first. Inner gate first, yep. This thing's a pleasure to use. All right. Uh, I'll try to get the strap. Close it down. Now pull that one. Careful, I'll pinch myself. Yep. Any of this thing, jeez, it's heavy. We were bad. You leave this on the no, pull it all in outside. Uh, pull it down. And I'll get it for you. Yeah. There, it's closed. It's a security door, and how? Yeah. What did you think about that? That was pretty awesome. That is there, heavy, heavy. Door. There it goes, and that's it. I have been in the store in years. And here, here is the old glass elevator, and yes, it is original. What floor do you want to go to? Top one. Top one. All right. No door close button. Listen to nice job. This elevator is still original. Is it more bit of an odd bunch? <laughs> Don't get out much, huh? <laughs> yep, this is a glass elevator. Here are ML or UL. Watch the button go out. And at classic levels. Now we'll go back down to LL. Don't hit the alarm. I'm not. Get a cab viewer up here. Beautiful older Otis elevator. Original fixtures and down we go. Uh, can you... This elevator is, out there is the mall. Here's the lower level. There's the escalators. There's the luggage. Look at that, a cash register. Now there's the indicator and we'll take it back up. And we'll end on three, and I guess, I don't know if you can go on the mall from there. Look at that. And again, no door closed. They put ADA compliant phone in. Now listen to this motor. Let's be quiet going up. Listen. Actually, I think we need to go to ML to get to the mall. Oh, you do? And I'll see if they have the intermediate station still. I hate when I get the handshakes. Otis. We've all had them. And watch the indicator. It goes out in between floors. Typical Otis. I don't know what department that is out there. You can see out of the mall from here. And now ML's burned out, isn't it? Yeah. All right, now let's see if the intermediate's original. Oh, look at that. Tell me if that is weird looking or what. 
and it will close up. There it goes, and this is going to be the unboxing of the Sony Cybershot DSC TX10 still camera. First, we're going to take a look at the box here. If you want to read any of this, you can pause it. All right, now let's get to unboxing. It's got the factory seal on it, which we're going to break right now. Actually, we're just going to peel it back. All right, here we go. Factory seal broken. Let's see about opening it. Uh, so here we go. Time to open the box. There we go. All right. Oh wow. Okay. Set the box down. And see what we have inside. Limited warranty. Notes on waterproofing. Notes on the panoramic image. CD. Advertisements. Catalog. And here is the instruction manual. All right, here's just a few words of caution. We have a battery charger right here. USB cable goes in there. We have strap. Mini USB cable. Actually, I don't know if this is the kind that goes on the phone or not, but it is a USB cable. A Sony Type N lithium ion battery. Paint pen, I guess. And last but not least, here's the moment you've been waiting for. That's right, here it is. The Sony DSC T no DSC TX10. Now we're going to put the battery in the TX-10. To open the battery top, you just slide this lever, and it pops open. Here's the battery contacts. They're in there. Stick the battery in, like that. Slides in. You can see your waterproof gasket right there. Close the battery top. Let's turn the camera on. Here we go. Cyber shot. Now we're going to set you. It's asking you to set the clock. English. Next. New York. That'll work. Daylight savings on. Next. Let's see. Uh, he can wait. Let's see here. Um, month day. Yep. Month day year, April 1st, 2011. The time is 15.22, which will be 3.22 p.m. Next, okay. And I'll select the display color like that. And there's the um, waterproof warning. These are all warnings. And there the camera's ready to use. So that's the 
Sony Cybershot DSC TX10 unboxing and setup. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it. 2011 is also when I met Ian for the first time. Now. And I'm not And he's yet. still waiting. Look, he's got to wait another six seconds now. Don't you just love the TX10? I love it. It's my favorite camera. Yeah, 212 minutes. All right, and this is the Days in Orange Avenue. And as you can tell, it's orange now. And we're going to go take a ride on the elevator. And the manager's very nice. Yes, he's very nice here. There's the Coke machine. Want some Pepsi? Pepsi? All right, go ahead and push the button. You gotta put a kick plate on the door. It's coming. Let me push it. Wow. Do you that key switch up. Yep. You don't play with your keys. No, I'm not. I'm Some of these older buttons you have to mash down a little bit. Oh, it's here. Oh, wow. They redid the car. It's green now. Wow, it's nice. Look at these buttons. Listen to the motor. We'll get out and get a view. Yeah. So yes, the days, the elevator of the days in survived. And up here is a corridor. With a panel. And this is what it looks like in one of the rooms. TJ? It's probably a two coin. Two yep, double. That's a two double. And this is a view from the third floor. There's Orange Avenue. That's Orange Avenue. They redid their fire alarm. New fire alarm. And there's a corner up there. Get inside before yep. I, may I press the button? Of course you can. Let me put my sunglasses away. Here's the door. Alright, now we'll get in here and get a cab view before we go down. We'll let the door close up and get our cab view. Now watch this. Just get the old bumper. Yeah, it's green. They painted it green, see? Now we'll get a cab view. There's diesel diesel. There's candy cart. This elevator is very nice, isn't it? I do like it. It does have a... I like this elevator a lot. Let's check the phone box here in a second. Open it slowly to make sure the receiver does There's a non-ADA compliant phone and down to one. Ooh, and it lights up. Get a picture of these buttons. I just did. Watch the button go out. Wow, that was a big stop. The button goes out. Can and I take one more ride? We can take one more ride. There you go. Listen to the motor. I'm just glad this elevator was spared from the fire, aren't you? Yes. As you can tell, that used to, that's the new wall right there. I want to push the button this time. Go ahead. Well, and the door closes when I push the button, and I like that. And I love this elevator. I do too. Oh, let me take one more picture. Big bump, and here we are, one. All right. lost focus. There it goes and look at this. We got Coke and Pepsi. There's the Pepsi machine and you got snacks here too and that's it. We're here in downtown Lexington, Virginia. This is the Robert E. Lee building and wait till you see what they have in here. It's a treat. Nice Isuzu. That's right. You are in for a treat. Look at this lobby. Beautiful old lobby. But the real treasure is this antique Otis elevator. Look at this baby. That's right, manually controlled. You press this tab down here to close the door. Before we go anywhere, I'm going to get a good cab view. Beautiful old Otis elevator. Look at that flashlight. 2,500 pound capacity. Otis and Otis Elevator Company. And here's the crank. 
up, down, emergency operation, so it's going up. This one is not self-leveling. Let go of the crank, and see it stops. It's single speed, even if you just turn the crank a little, see, we go up to full speed. Now it's going to auto level with the sixth floor. Sometimes it's a little bit off, but we'll watch it here. Here it comes. Oh, it's a little bit high. Now we'll take it down to the basement. And this elevator is a beauty. I'll tell you one thing, it's hot in here. I love this crank. Now auto levels for the basement. It does pretty good down here. Now I'm going to give Fax play the camera and let him film me running the elevator. Again, to operate the crank, pull, pull it out, and select up. And up we go. Hold the camera steady. It's very quiet. And I'll watch it level at six, point at the leveling place. We're going to level at six now. I'm going to stop it. Up. Let's see if I can level it perfectly. Oh, it's already hit the final level switch. See? Look how, look, it's, it's below the floor. Let me see the camera. See, leveling is a little bit to be desired. All right, now we'll get one more cab view. Look at that white. I like that white. This elevator is truly a beauty. Now we'll go back down. Here we go. Take the camera, Nick. I'm gonna get the quark out of here. See, today we got the quark. I'm gonna let you watch me level this thing here in a second. Hold the camera steady. All right, now point down to our level. Now watch this. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Let's see if I can get it right. Perfect. Now watch this. Of course the gate. You open the gate. And pull off the door open. See it's got this little tab. That's what holds the door open. You pull down on this. And watch this. See the door locks up. And another thing, the call system. Let me see this. This is the call system. When someone registers a call, Nick, wait, not yet, push the button. See that pops up. See it says it's needed to go up. To answer the call, you press that. Now let me get out here. Well, this is the call button. Now this is the modernized elevator. See this one is exactly like that one, except it's modernized by none other than Dover. Let's take it for a ride. You press the button and it goes out. It stinks in here. It smells like a urinal. Here are six. Listen to those relays. Now watch this. Just like the other elevator, except this one is not manually controlled, and this one doesn't service the basement. No phone, just an alarm bell. But this thing's probably pretty reliable. Here at one, very smooth. And it will close up. There it goes, and 
that's it. All right, look at that, isn't that cool? It's an old bank vault door made by Diebold. Well, anyway, we are in the basement of the Cotton Gin, which is a fabric store here in Roanoke, Virginia. It used to be a Wachovia bank, and before that, it was a First National Bank. And they have something really cool back here. Wait till you see this. That's right, it's an elevator. Not just any elevator, though. It's a Salem elevator. And if you look in here, you can see it's a winding drum, bottom drive, traction elevator. See, there's the drum, and over there's the motor. And we're going to take a ride on this thing. You know what we're going to do right now? We're going to go ahead and bring it down. It's manually controlled. So here we go. You can see the motor winding the drum. Watch it level. And here it is. Open the gate. We'll look at this upstairs better where it's brighter. Alright, this elevator has a very interesting feature. We're going to close the gate. We'll be doing this one handed so it might be a little shaky. Anyway, here we go up. This elevator has a really interesting feature. Watch this. That's right. It's a sidewalk elevator. It's doing great. And here we are up at the first floor. Again, watch it level. Now we'll get a view of the cab since we're up here and it's brighter. Salem elevator. I can't wait to see. I'm afraid to bring that rocking chair. Capacity 1,000 pounds, four passengers. And Tom, I believe these are some of your fixtures. Let me know. These are, I believe these are some of your fixtures, Tom. All right, now we're going to go back down. Now watch this. Here we go. And watch out the top. Here we are down at the first floor. You can see the pulleys up there. The drum winds the cables around the drum and pulls on the pulley. So now we're going to get a view of one of these pulleys in action. Here we go. And there's the switches. Here we go. There's the door opens. There's the pulleys. There you got your switches right there. Here we are back of it on. And it stops automatically. Sorry for the shakes, I am doing this one-handed. Again, this is an amazing elevator. Now we're going to take it back down. I'll try using this hand, but it shakes a little bit. Nah, I'll have to use this hand. Here we go. And I did a little group of hand, which I already showed you, too. First floor again. Look at this gate. It's got a beautiful gate on it. What do you think about this gate? Here's the guide rails for the elevator, which are very well greased. This thing pushes the thing open. Now we'll take it back up. Here we go. Once we get a focus, and I'll let you watch through the roof again. It's 
amazing. Bounces just a little bit, but runs great. Now we'll take one more round trip on it, and then we'll get a view of it coming in and out of the side, uh, out of the ground. Here we go. Again, look up. You see the ceiling, but not for long. There it goes. And if you look over here, let me get the quark. You can probably see the motor. Yep, there's the motor down there and you can see it on the drum. Alright, now we're going to go back up. Here we go. I'll let you look out this way. There goes the first floor. There's the pulley. And here comes the upper level. Watch it level. Does a great job leveling. And up here is another control panel. I don't know if this is yours. Tom, is this CJ Anderson? Now we're going to take a view of the elevator going up and down. Here it goes. And now it's downstairs. Look at this. Standing here, and let's take a really close look at it. You never know, an elevator even existed here. Now we're going to bring it back up. Up and out. Is this a particularly rare kind of elevator? Very rare. And here it is. There you have it. This is the old Salem elevator and a big thank you to the Cotton Gin. If you're ever in Roanoke and you need some fabric or upholstery, make sure you stop by here. This is the Cotton Gin, Williamson Road between Advanced Auto Parts and GoMart. With that being said, there it goes and that's it. Chincoteague Island Vacation Cottages. Canal Side Cottage. There's the sign right there. Now let's take a look at this charming little cottage. It's got a nice little front yard. Here's Baby Road. Here's the sign for Canal Side. You can see the front porch, or the screen in porch off to the left. Now let's go inside and check out this cottage. Old school doorknob. As you open the door, you see the hallway. I try not to shake the cameras I'm going in. Alright, this is the front hallway right here. As you can see, it's got a bed in the hallway. This is the closet. It's kind of dark, so we use the cork. See, this is the closet here. Vacuum cleaner grips. Closes like this. So, you got a nice closed closet. Now, we'll walk down the hallway into the living room. Here's the living room. It's quite nice. Got a couch, no sofa sleeper. There's a chair. Here's the air conditioner, window unit. 
and you have a Sanyo flat screen TV with an Emerson DVD VCR combo with remote. Look in the mirror, who do you see? Hey now. This also has a ceiling fan. And in there you can see the kitchen, which we will go check out. Nice older kitchen. Now watch this. Rapid start. This is the kitchen. There's the kitchen table with the CX-110, which is now fully charged. This is looking out into the living room and hallway. And here's the refrigerator and freezer. And the microwave. Let's look at the microwave first. It's a GE. Here's the freezer. The refrigerator. Over here, vintage Enviro Temp Energy Saver hot water heater. Here's the cupboards. Stocked with dishes and glasses. Here's the Kenmore electric stove four burner. Complete with an oven. Look at this old style kitchen sink. The TX10 does a good job of getting the whole thing in the frame too. This is definitely old school. Look at the spigot though. Watch what happens when you turn it on. It kind of gives you a bath. It's got a sprayer. Drain's kind of slow. Got a few drawers here. And garbage can under the sink. Now we'll go take a look at the screen in porch and the bedrooms. Here's the screen in porch. It's a pretty nice size. It's got a picnic table. Here's my Coleman single mantle lantern. As you can see, we brought some bicycles with us. And you can see out into the front yard. So we'll take one nice look around the porch here. That door goes out into the backyard. And we'll take a look back there in a minute. Here's the bed in the hallway. Once we get a focus, it's got two end tables with lamps on either side. Shut the door to the porch. Here's the desk with my computer, complete with complimentary internet access. That's right, compliments of PDA Net. There's my YouTube page. In here is the front bedroom. Got a ceiling fan. It's a double bed. The rooms are quite small. Let's see if we can get some light going in here. Uh, I don't know how to turn on the lights, but this is a view of the bedroom, the front bedroom. Again, queen size bed. Old school dresser. What do you think about this, TJ? This is pretty nice, isn't it? Again, hey! 
There's gotta be a way to turn on this light. Let's see if this button does it. Ah, there. Now we have light. Take one more look at this bedroom. It's pretty nice as it has two windows. And why not get a quick view out the window? See, that's a view looking out toward the street. Now we'll go check out the other bedroom. Oh, what would a hotel tour be without? This is a bonus. Turning on my 32 watt preheat fluorescent light. Here we go. There we go. Took a little bit to come on. But there it is. Now we'll go look in this bedroom. This is, I guess I can call it the master bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. Queen sized bed. I mean, not queen sized double bed. Another very old school dresser. Here's the Game Boy. Wonder what camera that is. The Tenergy. Oh, this is the lock that Evan gave me. We're going to do an interesting demonstration with that later. This is looking at the other side of the room. And you know what we got to do, right? That's right. A 4 watt preheat fluorescent strip light with old Sylvania black light bulb. Here we go. That was awesome. Wonder what this is up on the shelf. That's right, we got some padlocks up there. And an elevator button. Wow. Hey now, got little mirrors all over this house. So we'll take a view of the room from this side. Knocked over some of my flashlights. There's the window. There's our grips. So, let's get a view out the window really quick. And you get a view of the house next door and the road. And the sun's in the picture. So, all right. I'll have to figure out how to fix that shade later. Overall, I'm very happy with this place. It's nice. Let's get one more last look at this living room. TJ, what do you think about this place? This is nice, isn't it? Oh, I know what we forgot to show. That's right. What is a tour without looking at the bathroom? For an older house, this bathroom is quite big. It's very big. You walk in, got a full-sized bathtub with shower. Let's take a look at the bathtub. Older bathtub. It's quite wide. Let's check out the it's a monitor. Mo uh, Delta monitor. Here's the spigot. Let's check out the shower head. Just standard shower head that you find in I guess most budget hotels. Hey, mirrors everywhere. Check this out. Old light. Look at that old light switch right there once we get a focus. Isn't that cool? But only the one side lights up. I wonder why that is. I'm going to have to turn off the light because it's affecting the exposure. This one won't light up. Old school medicine cabinet. Wonder what that's there for. Oh, it's soap dish built in the wall. Obviously, the sink has been replaced. It's a newer sink. Look under the sink. 
You got a commode plunger. Now for all you toilet fans, here's the best part. This right here is the commode. It's an older American standard. So for all you toilet fans, here's your favorite part. All right. Now I'd say this will conclude the tour of the interior of this cottage. I would say this is a very nice cottage. Now I want to show you a couple old school things about it. Look at these electrical plugs. That's right, that's pretty old school. By the way, that's my stepson's iPhone charging. This fan, I don't know if it works or not. Uh, judging by this, I'd say it probably doesn't. Got old school light switches. The click kind. Again, old school locks. This right here is the lock that we actually have the key to. See? It's an ill code. And this is the key right here. So you turn it and it unlocks. Now we'll take a look at the yard. The sun's kind of awkward, so this might be kind of iffy. This is a view of the porch from the back. And the reason this cottage is called Canal Side, if you walk over here, Look at all these geese, Canadian geese. That's right, this cottage is right along the canal. Isn't this neat? Right along a canal. Yes, this lighting condition is absolutely horrible. Now, we'll pan the camera, a complete 360 here. There's the sun directly overhead. There's the neighbor's house. And there it is, Canal Side Cottage. So I guess this is gonna conclude the tour of the Canal Side Cottage. All right, people, look what we're standing out in front of. That's right, this is the Metro Tower. And you are in for a treat. I'm sorry if there's wind in the microphone, but that'll stop once we get in the building. Heavy door. This is the lobby of the building. Very 1950s looking. The building was built in 1955. In 1970, this building took a direct hit from an F5 tornado. The elevator system is completely original. There goes my phone. Look at these elevators. This is amazing. Wow, two of them just opened up. The clock works, it's telling the correct time. Westinghouse Selectomatic. Looks like they originally wanted six elevators, but they only got four here. completely original. Now we're going to take a ride. Let's see how quick the Westie will respond. Uh, most of them are upstairs right now, so we might be waiting for a little bit. They're all going up. While we're waiting, look at this lobby again. This is a nice lobby. Here's the directory. Look at the mail, oh, the mailbox. We got an elevator coming now. I don't think this mailbox is Message original. Arrived. Oh wow, look at this. We got the original drop key, Westinghouse drop key. 
stick it back in there. And we should have an elevator any second. Oh, we got an elevator now. And it is this one. Now we're going to go up to 20. I didn't press that button. We got some dust on the lens. Go ahead and wipe the lens really quick. There we go, and we'll get a focus again. I'll go back down to one. And we'll get a cab view. Hey, beautiful old Westinghouse elevator. Look at these fixtures. You hear the relays. Press one so we can watch the button pop out. There's your key switches. And here we are at one. And this is the lobby. And we'll take this one on one more ride. What's that green light for? He's burned out. The button pops out. Hey, we'll get off here and get a view. Oh yeah, look at that. Westinghouse. I spoke with a lady in the lobby for management and she was saying sadly these elevators are not reliable. Anyway, now that we got the camcorder, look at this for a view. Here's your view from 20 stories up. Sorry my hand's shaking. I'm zoomed in quite a way. Anyway, this is what one of the floors looks like. Elevator, elevator Times has also filmed this elevator. Wow, and an elevator came without me even calling it. Talk about up, up, and when the Westie wants to leave, uh, Jacob, this camcorder sucks. When the Westie wants to leave, the Westie will leave. I wonder what this is. It's where the machine room is. What's back here, I wonder? Ooh, a bathroom. It's locked. Oh, there's, oh, here we go. Here we got an elevator now. That's the same one we rode on. I want to try to get a different one. Did I hear another one arrive? Yes, this one's here. Now we'll go down to one. Ooh, door close button works. I like that. Cap view. Hey. for independent service. Up, down. Here's your key switches. ADA compliant phone. My ears are popping. One works. This, ener this interlock is, is kind of interesting. We need some light energy, so we'll bring out the energy. Look in here. Let me brighten it up. There we go. You brighten up. Look at this. That right there is the interlock, I believe. Let me get. There we go. Because if you look up here, see, notice the interlock is not. Oh, this thing focuses terrible, Jacob. 
the interlock is not up there. The interlock is actually around where the clutch is. So anyway, this one right here has some door disease, so we'll help it out. Push on the door and watch it go. There it goes, and let's see if we can get the other elevator. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Listen to that bell. Oh. Again, when the Westie wants to close, the Westie will close. I'll go to 19, and I lost focus. Jacob, this camera's terrible. I'll show you something on 19. And the button will pop out when we get to 20. This elevator has a weird issue. It's going to go all the way up to 20 first. So we might lose it. So we'll go ahead and get a cab view of this one. Actually, yeah, watch. It's going to go to 20. See, we're going up to 20. And then 19 pops out, which will go back to 19. Oop, this car next just lit up. Again, look at this elevator. Hey, now. This one is beautiful, and I bet it's going to go all the way down. Yep, C19 stayed in. It's going to go all the way downstairs. But I want to show you something. Look at this, intermediate station. There's an intermediate call station. This is one of the office hallways. Oh, wow. That was fast. I don't know which way we're going, but I heard an elevator ding. Maybe not. So I'll zoom in out there and let you look. Here's a view outside. Look at this drinking fountain. You see the camcorder. Again, when the Westie wants to come, Westy will come. That other one, I know, went all the way down. So let's go ahead and get a look at these buttons. Original 1955, and that works. Okay, are you going to open? There you are. Let me see. I don't know where the other one is. All right, we'll go down to one now. I think this is the one we came up on. Oh, actually, we're going up to 20. I'd really like to go down on the other one. You can feel something vibrating. And that one just popped out. Nope, that's not the one I want. Oh, yes it is. This is the one I want. And it is gone. Oh well. Gotta love Westy. Let's look at the man-powered elevator. Okay. Where's the man Oh, here's the man-powered elevator. Wow. Obviously, this is a Westinghouse man-powered elevator. Now let's go back to the electric elevator. And maybe we'll have one. That's Adams right there. The lady says Schindler maintains these. I want to go down on that one, but we're going to be waiting for a while if we go down on that one. Let's look. As you can tell, it is flat here in Texas. And we got this one. You know what? We're probably just going to take this one down. Because that one's now on its way back up.
thought door closed worked. No, it doesn't. This one's having door disease. Oh, look at this. The shaft has a brick wall in between the two elevators. Let's see if it's going to have door disease again. I think she needs a little bit of help. There you go. And one light seven. I mean, pops out. Let's see if we can get that elevator right there. One more time. Let, let her go. And I want to get this one right here. And look what. Here it is. I think it's here. Maybe not. Maybe it's up on two, because they seem to like to stop on two for some reason. Oh, here she is. How do you like that Westinghouse bell? Oh, you ain't going nowhere. So, what do you think of this elevator, Jimster586? Do you like this elevator? DEA41396 returns. Dan, what do you think about these beautiful old Westies? Hanny's already ridden them. Gloose, Captain Elevator42189. Do you like these elevators? That's the interlock, which is kind of like, oh, I love that bell. I want to see something here, 19 one. Okay, 19's not gonna pop out till we get to one. I want to see if that light lights up again. But again, Dome ceiling. Hey. Now this is how you make an elevator ADA compliant. I think I already said that. Here's another panel. The only thing is, is there's no door closed or no emergency button. We're at four, three. There's your emergency button. And here we are one. I don't know. Do you guys want to take another ride? That's what I thought. That's weird, the buildings. That this car next lit up earlier on one of them. We're stopping at, I don't know what floor we're stopping on, but I'll let you know here when I see it on the door. Because the indicator is completely blank. We're stopping on 16. Listen to that bell.
Yep, it stopped on two again. These elevators are kind of glitched. But the door close button works, and we all like that. I think one's burned out. So, oh, no, it's not. Watch the button go out or pop out. And there it goes. And one more thing. This is something else you don't see very often. That's right, a payphone. All right. Um, I want to say a big thank you to the um, management of Metro Tower for allowing me to film your beautiful elevator system. And with that being said, that'll be it. All right, we are at an undisclosed location. And we have a beautiful old elevator to take a look at here. Let me get something here. It's kind of dark, so we need some light energy. So we'll bring out the Tenergy. Look at these fixtures right here. Now we're going to go in the elevator and take a ride. Very nice elevator. I believe this is a Tom, is this yours? I believe this is a CJ Anderson interlock. Well, anyway, here we go. We're going to take a ride. Lift up, close the door, and get the Tenergy going now. We're doing this one handed so we might have a little bit of shakes. Close the gate. Tom, look at this. Here you go, Tom. Get a good cab view before we go. Well, this is an elevator. I guess we'll start out by going down. Here we go. Here at the bottom. Ooh, look at that leveling. It levels very nicely. Got a wood door down here. Look at that interlock. Wow, this is the basement. Nice interlock. Now we'll go back up. And we'll go up all the way now. Here we go. Here are three. Again, beautiful leveling. We're gonna take a few rides on this thing. Look how low this door is. This is almost like an attic. Wow, it is. And now watch this interlock, watch it latch. So that's how it latches. And yes, this is definitely a CJ Anderson. Tom, you got some good stuff here. So now we're going to take it back down again. It's a manually control, see? Let go, you stop. Listen to the motor. Now we're going to take a silent round trip. Let's get another cab view. She is a beauty. Focus camera, there we go. Now we'll go up, silent ride, round trip. Nice leveling. Now, put the camera on the floor so you can see how well it runs. Here we go. Now this thing.
increasing levels better than some newer elevators. Now we'll go back down. Alright, now we'll take it up to one and end the tour. I'll, actually, I'll let you watch me level it, because I have to level it one, so here we go. How's that for level? That's great. Now we'll exit the elevator. Look at this, this elevator has a rear door. We'll take a look at it, but we're not gonna open the external door. Uh, actually not, it would. Yeah, it feels like it hadn't been open in a while, so we're gonna leave that alone. But still, this is definitely a beautiful elevator. Now we'll look up the shaft if we can see anything. Yep, there's the cables. All right, once we get focused, we'll exit the elevator. Lift up here. Now watch this. That's how the interlock works. And we'll turn the light off. But first, let's get one more look at this. I can do this without the energy. Tom, these are beautiful. Certificate of inspection. I love this elevator. This is a beauty. I have to give a big thank you to the management for allowing me on this. Let's cut the light off. I like that light switch, that's nice. And there it goes, and that's it. Seems like the early 2010s have been very good to me friend-wise. In 2012, I make yet another friend, and it's thanks to my YouTube channel. Jeff Davis, um, he was a Virginia Tech student, commented on one of my videos, that I should meet up with him. I did, and he showed me every elevator on Virginia Tech's campus. Today, I'm still good friends with Jeff. We also went to Kansas City with Jacob. I hope you're enjoying the video. Look at that. Let me try calling it. This is pretty much the later at the, uh, we know what's called Sam and it's a shit. Look at that door. I'm gonna bring out the cork. Ha, CR, I mean, it's CR2. Look behind you, the, the over plate. Yeah. Look at that. Look at these fixtures. Now we're gonna go on down to B. Mm -hmm. Guess where B's gonna open up? Oh, wow. Here's B right here. Look at this. Look at the store. Watch the store. Stay in back and watch this door. How's that for that door? Now close the door, send it to four, and we're gonna be quiet going up. Listen to the motor. Oh. 
two o'clock level. If I tell you what, um, let me close the door. We're gonna just, this elevator. Look at that. This elevator is a space elevator. I'm gonna show you why. Before we go, I want to get a better look at these fixtures. Look at this. Doesn't say the capacity. It's 5,000 if you look. All right, now watch this. Scoot over, please. L for launch. This is how this is a space elevator. Shall we go on a space walk? Mm, we can take a quick space peek. How's that sound? Sounds good. And guess what? Looks like it takes forever to level here. Yeah, down yeah, right there. Check this out. And there we are in outer space. Look at that. This is a space elevator. Look how slow that door is. Gotta help it out a little bit, looks like. Yeah. Now if you want, do you want to close it up? Or actually, I'll close it. Here we go. Watch, get on in. Yeah. How's another ride on the sound? Hmm? Let's go back up to two again. You ready? Yeah. Elevating pirate. <laughs> Who are you riding with? Diesel Ducey. Door. Aren't you glad I found this one? Watch the clock. Now what floor did we get on at? Alright, uh, do you want to close it and send it back down to one? I'm gonna let you close it because I want to see that logo. That logo is cool. I know, right? I'm gonna have to hold my camera for that. Well, you want to see the logo? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll take your camera. All right, let me see the handy cam. Let me see the handy cam and I'll tell you when to close it. Hold on. I'm still not focused, but hold on. All right, I think this will work. Go ahead and close it. Now that's a cool elevator door. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna All right. switch the outline batteries just to make sure I don't die. Look at the trusty Timex. While he's getting his camera ready, I'm gonna call this elevator. It's a Southern. Here it comes. Why? Because this is such a beauty? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It's got a gate! I'll let you get your camera ready first. Yeah. And here's Jeff getting his camera ready. Gotta he, switch to alkalines. If he doesn't hurry up, we might lose our chance at this. You care if I go ahead and open it, or you wanna... Actually, I'll let you get it. I'm almost ready. We have found a really cool elevator, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Go. All right, this is a southern elevator. Oh gosh, this is gonna be, look at this. Oh wow, look at that. Oh. Enter the elevator. Heavy door. cab view before we go anywhere. Look at this elevator. This is a hokey elevator. It's got the Virginia Tech colors, right? Yeah. Sorry. Right. Hokey Vader. This is a hokey Vader. Look at this. Bi-parting door on the outside and a standard gate door on the inside. I'm not sure which floor we're on. I we're gonna go on down to one. one. Look at that I'll tell you what, when we get down here, you can send her up to three. Alright. Look how huge this thing is, just for size comparison. <laughs> You're like a speck over there. Yeah. This is a Dover slash Southern. All 
All right, now wait. Interesting button. When I tell you to press the button, okay, press the button and be quiet. Okay. I'm going to hit the lights first. Turn it back on. All right. Ready? Yeah. This has an 8,000 pound capacity. Okay. Cool! A vending machine. You know what that means? We gotta take a look at it. Now, I want you to film me opening the door. Okay. We gotta look at the vending machine. Now, watch this. You got me? Like I said, this is. Normally, you have a, a, a vertical gate. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Watch. Watch what happens when I come over. Of course, this one. Let me take a look. Come up here. This is a security door. See? Now, watch what happens. When I, do you see it through both cameras? Watch what happens when I pull the latch. Here's your inner lock right there, see? Uh -huh. That's how the inner lock works. Now I'll open the door. And if you look up there, I'll take my camera. Okay. Check that out. You got a cool vending machine. Now who gets to close the door now? I guess that'll be me. Yep, Jeff gets to close the door. And I'm gonna set my, actually- I'll hold your camera since I put my cork away. Got both cameras. This is a better time with two hands. Now take the gate. Now here's your camera. And now I want to operate the elevator, okay? Okay. Look at these fixtures. There's your light, emergency stop. There's your emergency button. You have a there's no phone, just the alarm bell. And here we go. Get a cab view. I wonder if this thing needs another ride. I don't think we can pass that up. Yeah, this elevator's awesome. And you gotta love how the you got the hokey theme colors and all the elevators in this building. This is a very school spirited building. Yeah. I think we need an impact camera on the third floor. Yeah, but a small camera like this ain't really gonna pick it up. Yours might. Actually, that's, I'm going to put mine on the floor, too, just to capture the motor. All right, I'm going to put my camera on the floor here. Great. And you can put yours there, too. I want to get in line with the door, with the window. I want to see out. You yeah, ready? Yeah, that's good. Are you ready? One. Two. Two. Let's be quiet. and smooth again let's just take a second to appreciate this beautiful elevator absolutely you know something i'm curious about what kind of interlock is on the gate oh, and just your standard we'll find out what brand that is on the way out don't let me forget to check that look That's at this chain driven door yeah it's a counterweighted door look at this it's got a magnet that's what keeps the door shut look at this it's a pretty primitive door lock isn't it yeah. Dover. Let me take a video still. 8,000. Let me get a picture of the fixtures, please. And here we go back down to one. Where are we going to end the tour? Um, I guess on two, because that's where we started. We'll go up to three, then down to two. Okay. This thing is just epic. Yeah. I'm so glad we found this. I'm just amazed that you could walk right in here. I know it. You think they mark the floors on the door some someplace, but I don't see anything. Guess who gets to send it up to three in a minute? Me? If you want to. 
Watch it level. Has to re-level. All right, whenever you're ready, you can send her up. And here we... I got a twilight ride. Sure. Do you see much of anything? Not really. When you shine a light, like... You know what I'm thinking? How about a blue ride? Okay. Go for it. This elevator has a colorful floor indicator. Watch what happens. Oh, we're at two. And here we are at three. And three, the light comes back on by itself. <clears throat> the light comes back <laughs> on. <laughs> there we go. That was awesome. All right. What are your thoughts about this elevator? Incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Like I, I said, color scheme. you got your older GAL fixtures. Emergency button, which we're not going to press. And here we go down to two. Watch your camera. You see anything? Watch your hand there. Oh, yeah. It's close, but we're okay. If you want to open up, swing that door open, that gate. Swing the gate. Don't do too hard. But if you give it enough momentum, it'll open up all the way. Wah, wah, wah. Now go ahead and open the door. Alright. Push the latch. Yep, push the latch. Now I want to get a look at the interlock. Open it all the way. You can see if any of Tom's equipment's on this elevator. And it is a... Let me zoom in on it. I can't even read it. Guess what kind it is? It's a GAL electromechanical, but it's union made. So if you want to take my camera, I'll shut the door. Okay, Just film me closing the elevator. You got me? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's got a side door. Let me back up a little bit. Uploaded to YouTube. All right, now my camera's rolling. This is the first elevator I uploaded to YouTube and possibly hey, the first I elevator video outside. on YouTube. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it's coming. Let's see if it works. Is it coming? Yep, it's coming down. Guess what? We get to ride the elevator. I hate for the bad walk and I'm going up steps backwards. <laughs> Hopefully I won't fall doing this. And here it comes. Let's go ride it. Um. All right, is it here? Just got here. All right, now let me, before we go anywhere, I want to okay. look at it. We got our typical Westinghouse rude closing, which you'll see here in a second. Now I want to set it up to 12, and here we go. There are people outside talking about it was working. Here at 12. 
I love the sounds the salivator makes. What is the middle button? I'm just curious. It, uh, it's the second floor, but doesn't do anything. I'm going to look out the window. Ah, you stole my idea. Just watching it start going out that way. Watch it level. <coughs> you okay? Excuse me. We're gonna take out another ride now. There's your phone. <laughs> I choked it. This thing isn't too steady. I do like this elevator. And I'm glad it's running today. Watch it level. All right. While we're up here, get a focus. I'm going to hold the door open, and we'll get our cab view. It's a very nice, uh, just lost focus, elevator with a beautiful glass back cab. Look at the handrail. There's the elevator channel over there. Uh, can you step to the left? Got wood, simulated wood paneling. Now watch this. Typical Westy rude closing, watch. See, that's your Westy rude closing. Old Westinghouse interlock. And whenever you're ready- our exciting Adams button. Send it down to one. I'm going to get a handrail ride this time. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna set my okay, camera hold for you, on see. the handrail. Okay, we're ready to go? And down we go. Doors closing. What do you think about this elevator? This is very nice, actually. It's kind of nice now being able to step back and really take a look again. I'm glad it's running. I was here last summer. Remember that? Yeah. I've ridden this elevator many, many times since I was a kid. I mean, I really like this elevator. As we all know, it can be kind of... It has a personality of its own because it's a Westie. Yeah, they, they turn this off all the time for energy savings, supposedly. Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's just, the, the, I mean, it's an outdoor elevator. Something like this would never be put on a new building. Yeah. Watch it level. Here's the elevator, the elevator channel. Lobby. I like how it actually says scenic elevator in and there it goes, and all right, we are in the basement of the Intercontinental Hotel. Are you still waiting? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Yeah. We are in the basement of the Alameda, the Intercontinental Hotel. It used to be the Alameda Plaza. Do you know what this is? The Skylift. And guess what kind it is? Our favorite fixture. Otis Lex, and it'll be here any second. It's almost here. Here it comes. It takes about over a minute each way, so I wouldn't be so sure about that. But... I see it. It's darkening. It's almost here. It's upstairs a couple floors. Oh, see? Here it is. I'm going to show you why they call this the Skylift here in a second. Going up to the roof. Check this out. R, if you can't read it. I got a place to put my camera. Speed up 
speed of light. Here we go. I'm putting the camera right here. I'll do the same. And now we're away from the tinted glass. Here we go. I love this elevator. I rode this elevator back in 1984 when we stayed in this motel. It was called the Alameda Plaza back then. We got about three more floors toward the roof, and I remember the balcony. I like the balcony. I see it here as well, but I can't remember what it was called when I was here. This is one of those places that changes names constantly. And here we are at the roof. Now we'll go back down to the ballroom level, and we'll look out the window again going down. I'm going to go ahead and use this me. window over here. Here we go down. This is located in the Country Club Plaza, a beautiful part of Kansas City. And it is like an oven in this elevator. Yeah, it's hot. Feels like a sauna. But going back up, if you don't mind, I'm probably gonna use that window. Sure, no problem. I'm gonna take a couple trips on this thing. It's so funny, you can see each individual brick going by because you know, it's purposely made slow. I love these elevators are literally outdoor, you know, you're not looking through two panes of glass. This is actually a room on the outside of the yeah. building. It's just so neat when you think about it. It has climate control, which is working badly, but <laughs> climate control and everything. Now going up, we're going to have a silent trip so we can hear the mechanics of the elevator. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Enough of us blabbing. But go ahead. This is a good time to talk. I remember swimming in that pool, but of course this time of the year, I don't think it'd be nice to swim. I thought it was a fountain. Here we go. Down, down, down. Now we're underground, so we'll watch the number change to B. Are these original? Yes. Really? Now watch the button go out. And here we are back at the ball. Now we'll take are it back right up. up. Yeah. Which one are you going to? Top nine, I think. The roof? Yeah. This only goes to the roof, the ballroom. That's where I want to Okay, here we go. <laughs> There's Jacob. I guess I'll look out this side now. Put the camera right here. Levels very nicely. Now I'm going to look out that side going down. He pressed the button for B. Yep. Watch the doors close. Now I'm going to look at this side going down. I this to you for a window. The same way back here. We're going to go back up again. I'm going to get a viewpoint from back there. I'm under the heat vent over here. This sucks. I don't see how I can suck when it's a vent. Ah, it should blow. <laughs> oh man. I think I'll get the cab view when we get up to the top, where we have some ambient lighting. This was definitely worth the drive. I am very happy. And by the looks of things, there's plenty of other stuff to see right in the area. Oh yeah. Wish we had a longer day. Now we're getting ready to go under. Here we go underneath. Down, 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 down. Oh man, this is hot. Do the other elevators go up to the top? I don't know if they do or not. Because if they do, I was thinking I'd take those and see how much different the ride time is. Alright, going up. You can take the other elevator. I'll meet you up there. Go to R. Now we're going to stand back here. You get this viewpoint.
see the hotel on the edge of the frame. Here we are up at the top. I wonder if Cheka. I had to wait for a long time too. It was almost the perfect time. And he still beat me. <laughs> All right. I did not miss how hot it is here. Now going down. Take one more view. See the view. logo up there. I'll pan the camera as we go down. Am I in your way? And I'll show you how high up we are. There's a Marriott over there. It's a long way away though. We'll go up one more time. One more trip? Yeah, one more trip because I'm going to get cabs you at the top. Look at the bricks as they pass by. That is a neat view. This elevator has a better view than Westport, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. This is a beautiful part of town. Not to mention, this elevator is amazing. It's, it's, a, it's an Otis. Mm -hmm. So I think it's of a higher quality than the one at Westport. It's a very similar thing too on the outside of the building, travels very slowly. Swimming pool is closed. Now here we go back under. Again, we'll watch the number because it's the only place to really watch it. <laughs> Changes to B. Man, this is hot. And we got classic level. And we'll take it up one last time. There's your emergency button. Will you see the phone in this thing? Now watch. This number will change. The, the, the indicator is weird. This thing is relay controlled, by the way. Over there is the elevator channel. Hello, hello. This is more of an elevator epic than a video. Yeah, and we're stopping to pick up a passenger. I guess they decide to ride the other elevator. Can't blame them as slow as this is. <laughs> this elevator is not you meant take for it, speed. Well, what I mean is, if they work here, I can understand why they're not taking it. But for anybody else that wants to enjoy the view, this is absolutely the way to go. Slow and steady will win the race. This is the kind of elevator you really have to take time to appreciate. You can't do it in one ride. I like light here. I'll be getting a very good cab view up here at the top. Now watch how nice it levels so you can use the bricks as a reference point. If you, nice look at cab. if you don't mind, can you hold the door open so it doesn't go anywhere? Unless someone's waiting. All right. These are your fixtures. Beautiful Otis Lexan fixtures. Floor indicator. Now you can let go of the door open. Look at this beautiful glass back cab. I like the woodwork. Actually. I do too. And it's got your tray lighting all around the edge and a beautiful light fixture. Again, look at these Lexan fixtures. Open the phone box and you're in for a treat. Here's the phone box. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. And now we'll take it back down to the ballroom. And then we'll end the tour in the lobby. Going down. Take a minute to appreciate this beautiful view again. I don't know about you, Jacob, but I love this elevator, don't oh, you? Oh, it is awesome. The coolest part about it, we both stayed in this wonderful hotel at different points in our life. Yeah, but I guess for me it was the late 90s, and for you... 1984! <laughs> you remember the exact year. I'm going to back off and watch go underneath one I'm last go time. I'm going to mine down here just because I'm going over 11 minutes. Okay, I'm going to end in the lobby because... Actually, no, we can end down here. Going down, down, down. Here are the ballroom. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the lobby because I wanna watch the numbers up the lobby. We already saw the ballroom. Okay. So we'll end I'm in the lobby. Cut off here, so there's your beautiful ballroom. And that is it. Now watch the numbers going up. 
classic 70s digital Otis indicator. TJ, what do you think about this place? We have some classic leveling. And there it goes. And that's it. So for TJ, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a look at the lobby. This hotel. Yeah, we'll get those in a second. Look at this beautiful lobby. All right, look where we are. We are in the historic Starks building in Louisville, Kentucky. And wait till you see what they have here. That's right, we got some Otis elevators. Not just any Otis elevator. Touch sensitive. Here we go. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. These elevators were also filmed. I can't remember exactly what group did it. Some ensemble. It's going down, but we're going to get in it anyway. What goes down must go up. Let's go to 15. And door close button works. Now we're going down to 1. Now watch this. Look at these doors. This, this building is amazing. 15. And door close button didn't work. But we'll go here in a minute. Look at these fixtures. And we'll get us a cab view while we're waiting to go. These elevators are amazing. Old Otis elevator. There we go. No 13. And we don't have class level. Let's take a look out here. Oh my gosh, this building is amazing. And the elevator wants to close up awful quick. Now we'll go down to one. And here we go. Again, this is an amazing elevator. The Starks building in Louisville, Kentucky has beautiful elevators. Look at these fixtures. I love that indicator. Video still. Here we are at one. Let's watch the side button go out. And this is the lobby of the building. All right, in 2013, two news stories are done on Elevate Tours. One in Roanoke and one in Washington, D.C. Also, Chase, you know who you are, down in San Antonio, came into my life. I'm still good friends with him to this day. Enjoy these glimpses of back into 2013. Here we go. All right, I am in the lobby of the Princess Anne Hotel, and over there is Jeff. Hello. He's exploring himself a little bit. And I'm gonna take a quick ride on the elevator after we look at the trusty Tonics Iron Man. This elevator is amazing. It's an old monarch. I lost focus. Now let's get a view of this amazing but tiny little elevator. And it is kind of dark in here. I'll take one ride without it and then I'll take another ride with the cork. Here we go. Levels and levels down. If you get out up here, this place is considered a hotel. It's almost like a bed and breakfast. We are going to get to ride this old historic freight elevator in downtown Roanoke. And guess what? It's an Otis. 
before we go anywhere, we'll get a cab view of this thing. It's kind of dark in here, so let me see if I have my flashlight here. All right, now we are going to take a ride on this thing after I clean my lens. All right. Here we go. Alarm is set. No admittance. To make it go up, you press this button. Here we go. So now... This is dead man's control. This goes way up. And here we are at the top floor. Again, we'll get a cab view of this beautiful elevator. Big thank you to Suncom Electronics for letting me in here. There's the certificate. It goes 50 feet per minute. There's your fixtures. And now we'll take it back down. See, take your hand off, it stops. And thank you to Matt from McAdoo's for putting me in touch with these fine people. Here we are back down to the bottom floor. Look at that beautiful gate. This thing is beautiful. We are in downtown Bradford, Virginia. That's right, look at this. This is called the Bondren Center. And wait till you see what they have in here. It says push. This is actually, I think, property of Radford University. Look back here. Look at that old piece of furniture. And TXN has lost focus. Hey now, we'll focus again in a second. This place is beautiful. This is what I came in here to see, though. That's right. The elevator. Old Otis. Wait till you hear the motor on this thing. As you can tell, this probably used to be a department store. Let's ride. Here we go. Let's find out. Here in the basement. That is a beautiful motor. Look at this building. The door closes there. Let's see if there's some parts. No, it doesn't sit on peak up up here. We get a cab near this gorgeous elevator. There it is. If you want, we'll take on one more ride. Let's listen. Back 
might be. And door closer and push the button. Here's the emergency light. Got some classic leveling. Now we'll end the tour down at one. I'll demonstrate those bumpers. Actually, that might close the door. So you will just go up to two one more time. Let's see those bumpers. Probably no electric eyes, so. We're going to go along for the ride one more time. It's burned out. 2,500 pound capacity. Let's see what's up here. Wow, look at this. This is up on the top floor. I'm going to have to come up and get a picture of that. That's beautiful. This elevator is amazing. I'm glad I saw this windshroom. The only, the only thing that made me suspect this place had an elevator, I saw a windshroom. And since this sits on peak up, let's take a look out here. And this building is neat. And that goes down to the basement. And again, doesn't want to focus, but over there, that'll be it. Still picture time. Yes, we'll take it on a ride. All right, here we are. We are in the theater building. Look what we have here. Yeah, we'll let them use it. Here is the elevator. Wait till you see the inside of this thing. It's got the theater logo on it, and it's got C.J. Anderson fixtures. Here we go. Look at this door. Oh, wow. This is a tall one. Now we're going to go to G. Oop, you got to wait till the door locks. There. there, here we go. Here we go to G. Whoa, there's stuff in here. Stand back. Yeah, watch this now. Oh, look, this is an art elevator. If anyone's out here, they're going to be famous. I'll let you do the doors now. <laughs> I like the custom paint job. Oh yeah, we're going to take another ride on this lights. thing. Make sure you get a look at the lights. I will. I'm going to get a cab view. I'll let you close the door. It opens. All right, now you can shut the door. Yep, wait till it opens all the way. Now hold the door close button. Hold it. Now let's get a cab. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding, keep holding. There you go, now let me get a cab view. Look at this elevator, Radford University Theater. Wow. Now this elevator has some mood changes. Now who wants, to, guess what kind it is? It's a it's Dover. Denver. Tom, guess whose fixture those are? Those are CJ Anderson. 75 feet per minute. Now let me get in the back of the cab. Do you want to send it up? Sure, let me know when you're ready. Send it up to one. All right, here we go. Listen to motor. Careful not to trip it or something. If no one's using it, we'll take one more ride. There you go. This is yeah. Do you need the elevator or something? They can come down. Let them, let them, we'll take another ride with them. All right, here we go. Going down? No, I'm just going to close it. I'm taking the trash can down. I'm going to close it. What do you need? This is a very interesting elevator. Yeah. Elevator, so they can take it down. Yeah. What do you need the wallpaper? Um, there's a bigger roll of it on the, on the red table and just put that stuff next to it on, or on top of it. Or something. We got a crowd in here now. <laughs> you guys got a project going on? Oh, yeah. This elevator definitely has some personality.
<laughs> Those doors are cold. All right, guess, guess, I guess I'll do the door this time. Here we go. This is a nice elevator. You know what? What? I bet some people are thinking interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 2005 is the artwork. That's been interesting. All right, let's go up to one. Dover. Just still move your arm. That light's kind of random. Yep, that's actually F65. And now we'll exit the elevator because I think people want to use it. Yeah, 5,000 pounds. You can't beat that. Alright, let's actually no Now we'll, I'll let you close the door, Jeff. You get to close the door. Oh, look, the pin light's on. Yeah, go ahead and close the door so they can use it, Jeff. Hold the button down until I tell you stop. Keep holding it. Keep holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. Okay, it's shut. That's it. All right, let's look at the Timex. This is the date and time. We are here in the basement of the Roanoke Times. This used to be the press, correct? The press room. The press room. It's a very beautiful old building. Look at those windows. You can definitely tell the time period of this building based on those windows. And there's Ralph from the Roanoke Times. Hey, Andrew. One more thing, uh, oh, those lights were upstairs. They had some really vintage light fixtures. Well, there's, there's the Dover down there, but we're gonna ride the Otis. This is the vintage Otis freight elevator. And if one of you would be so kind to hold my camera while I operate these doors, has filmed me operating the doors. Hey, everybody. It's already here, so we don't have to call it. It's a beautiful call station. These are hand-operated doors. Heavier than the one upstairs. Now, I'm going to get a cab view before we go anywhere. Let me bring out my where's my cork flashlight? I got the high CR, I'm in a CR2 today, but I gotta find it. Here it is. Actually, I don't need it right now, but I'll need it here in a little bit. Look at these fixtures here. I like, what the, I like the way they've replaced these buttons. I mean, th these are your floor indicators. Didn't replace this one. Yeah, this is the emergency button. Rings the bell. I want to see if the inching feature works here. Let's see if the inch up, inch down works. No, your inching feature doesn't work. I'll go ahead and if, if one of y'all don't mind, fill the closing the doors. It's so nice filming. A man filming one of these by yourself is a pain because mm -hmm. you're rather you're doing the doors with one hand mm -hmm. and the camera with the other. <laughs> Watch out. Alrighty. Now wait till you hear this motor generator start up. Listen to this. Here we go. Second floor, welcome. And here we are up at the third floor. Let's see what this says here. The best in the south. It's pretty cool. And if you look up here, look at this. I wonder what's up there. Well, that's, the, that's how you get up to the machine room. Oh, wow. If I shine my flashlight up there, you can see the pulleys. Check this out. Look at that, you can yeah. look at how the pulleys are roped. The ropes are tied, they go down, over, and up. I wish this, let me see if you can turn off the light here. That would help out a lot. Oh yeah, that's much better. You can see the pulleys up there. 
You know, Andrew, is this the comp compact fluorescent light bulb? Is that original to the uh, elevator? I don't know if they had those in 1920s. Do you? <laughs> and you can see up there. This is neat. And if you watch that, you, you'll be able to see. Watch this. I'm going to set it down one floor. Can you see the bullies? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Let's. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see them a little bit. It's hard to see through the ceiling because the holes are so small. This is a neat elevator. This reminds me of that one up in Minnesota that uh, k Belt 92 found. Now that is not 1920s, those um, CFLs. I guess we'll go back down the basement. We'll take one more ride on this for the viewers and then that'll be it. I like the way they've uh, numbered the floors. IU is basement, which stands for inch up. Now here we go, watch this. I think only uh, one floor opens up here on the rear. A nice view of a brick wall. <laughs> Looks like some of the stuff in my workplace. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's the only floor that opens up on the uh, rear. Here are down the basement. We'll take it back up to three and let that motor generator wind down so we can hear it start up. I wish that ceiling went so high I could get my camera on top of the elevator. Down at Virginia Tech, uh, they have a freight elevator in the dining hall. It's got a really low ceiling. I was able to get my camera on top of the elevator and put a flashlight on top. Got a really neat view up the shaft. You can see the everything. <laughs> Second floor welcome. Got some colorful people here just like at the railroad. <laughs> yeah. You can say that. Now while that motor generator's winding down, I'll get a cab view. I do want to take a second to get a good look at these vintage fixtures. Uh, I don't want to put on bright, put on dim. The alarm bell looks like it's seen better days, but everything else... They've replaced the buttons with various buttons from Otis. But yeah, this is... everything else is original. There, the motor generator just started winding down. This elevator has a 10,000 pound capacity. Or you could squeeze 66 people in here, it says. I think it would be a tight squeeze for 66 people in this elevator. What do y'all think? It'd be a nice little loft party. Oh, yeah, we did that in my dorm one time in the elevator. We squeezed a bunch of people in the elevator, moved a couch in, and had a radio and everything. And like I said, this ceiling doesn't afford the best view, but you can see some of the ropes. That's probably the safety governor. These are the main pulleys on top of the elevator. Now I guess we'll, let, we'll listen to this motor generator start up again, and then we'll end the tour down the basement. Here we go. This elevator makes some beautiful sounds. Runs better than a lot of modern elevators I've ridden. For a level. I doubt you'd ever need this, but they did they did install this. An ADA compliant phone. Alright, now I guess we'll exit the elevator and let, do you want to go off on this floor or a different floor? Fine here. Yeah. All right, do one of y'all mind taking over the camera for a second? Cool beans. Thanks, bud.
straps can be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's just made way. out of leather and not iron. <laughs> And that is the old Otis freight elevator. Don't think I showed this on the way in. Look at the call station. That is beautiful. We are here in downtown Charlottesville. There's the date and time. Look at this building. I'm thinking it looks pretty old. So you know what? We're going to go in here and see what we can find. 416. Let's see what's in here. It looked like a wintry hole. Oh, it's open. Look at the steps, it's all dark in here. It's called the LaPlace building. Uh, 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 let's see if this works. Look at that button. Here we go. Let's see if it comes. Thought I heard something. Uh. Epic win. This is beautiful. Oh wow, look at this. Let's go to three. This was worth coming in. Let's go down to one. Door does not close when you push the button. You know what? We need another ride on this beauty. This is an elevator. That's the second floor. Look at that leveling. You can see this used to be a hand-operated door. This elevator was modernized at some point. That is a beautiful elevator. I don't know what this is. Oh, focus. Some type of office building. Oh, wow, look at that, motion-activated lights. Lights turned on when I walked out here. Wow, you can get a good view of the elevator. Now we're going to go back down. Oh, I pushed the elevator button, the light goes out. That's strange. Can you let the door close? Let's appreciate this historic elevator. This thing is amazing. Like I said, I bet, you know what, these are the original fixtures. They just put an automatic door operator on it. Oh, wow. Awesome. Turn off the light switch and the door opened. It's got a preheat light. So, see if the door closed up. I'm going to start the motor with the door closed already. Listen. This is what you call an amazing elevator. And here's the mailman. And we're going to take this on a silent round trip so you can hear the motor. Here 
Here we go, silent trip. Now that, my friends, is the definition of what you call an absolutely amazing elevator. And there it goes. And now it's still picture time. Okay. We are here in the museum in Washington, D.C. The museum is a very interesting museum, and one of the key features of this museum, they have a record-breaking hydraulic elevator. And we are about to ride it. It's an Otis. Wait till you see this thing. We're going to go up to six. We're going to take a couple rides here. We're going, to, we're going to look out here, and you can see the other elevator. Well, they're all down here, but we'll look out the window. These things are huge. Watch it level. I'm going to try to go back down before that other elevator so we can see the jack. <laughs> let's see if we, yeah, uh, let's see if we can get, get ahead of this elevator race with a potentially empty elevator. Here we go. Where do you see these jacks on these elevators? Here we go. Look at that piston. That thing is at least a foot and a half in diameter. Just so you can see, look how high up we are. This is the highest hydraulic elevator I've ever ridden. There's three of them. This one's coming down beside us. I'm gonna do a ride slowly looking out the doors. It looks like the best view is out the door. Oh good, we're gonna see another elevator go by. This is just so you can see the size, the sheer size of these. These are basically like freight elevators to carry passengers. We're going to watch the other one come down beside us now. But here we are at the sea level, and here comes the other one down beside us. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and get a view of the cab. Just so you can appreciate the size. These are all glass, so it's kind of hard to tell the sheer size, but look at the roof. This thing is huge. How many people can y'all fit in these? Can hold approximately 70 when it's completely full. 70 people. 18,000 pound capacity. Now we're going to get a view looking out the door. So, okay, he's got to scan his badge. And up we go. Now watch this.
so those are really neat. Here's your emergency phone. Otis Vandal resistant fixtures. I'm gonna watch out the window going down. Here's the pickup rollers. a very impressive facility. If you're ever in DC, this is a must visit. As we go down by the wall, we'll look at the piston on the other elevator. Now we're coming back down into the concourse level. Watch the button go out. Where are we? <laughs> this is Chase right here, and he loves being on camera. Yeah. Uh, What's your yeah. YouTube channel? I forgot what it is. I know it's Texas Lizard something, but I don't know the rest of it. And guess what we're about to have? I haven't been on in a long time. Chase is going to have a Dover experience. There you go. Can't wait. Take your Dover experience. The San Antonio Convention Center. Press the press the door close button, then press two, and listen to the motor. Dover experience. Or close. Press just press door close. No floor button yet. No floor. I want to get a cab. Here. It's a nice elevator, and we got Corian doors here. Let's take a look at our fixtures before we go anywhere. We got Dover traditional. The newer ones, because they they stick out, they're not recessed. There's the emergency phone. Let's take a look at the capacity plate. 10,000 pound. Now send her down to the river. Press river. Someone else called the elevator. They may get it first. I don't know if this is a single call. Yep, they're going to get it first. We'll take them wherever they want to go. Come on in. Right. Going up or down? Uh, down. Which way We're going down. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Wiggle these in. Press the close button. And then the R button. There we go. Is this the biggest elevator in the building? No, the one that goes up to Marmo C on on the other end of the building is it's like three times bigger than this. Uh, where where is that elevator? Um, on the docks of the east side. Can I get it from this floor, or do I need to go to another floor? Um, go back up to. 
the road we came from and just cut across the Glen Bridge and oh, okay. go, go toward the taxi. Okay, cool. That one, uh, you can load up uh, a utility truck full of equipment and take it up three four. Cool. All right, I'll hold on. I got the door open, button. So go up to two? Uh, this one goes up to two. So I want to go up to two to get to the other elevator, right? Um, I want to go up to the first floor. Okay. And then cut through the lobby. Through the exhibit hall, I'll take it right to it. Okay, cool, thank you. Thank you. All right. Door go! <laughs> There's Chase. Now, I'm bad with directions. Did you get any of that? Uh, I'm going to try to remember that. He said cut across through. Go the that line. way. Yeah. That way, whatever that way means. All right, and if we can find it, we make it to ride a big elevator. It's to go through the lobby of the exhibit hall. Oh, the glass bridge, there it is. All right, now we need to be polite here. And There it goes. We're in the World Trade Center. Look at this. I love these buttons. These are armor buttons. Awesome. Wow. Uh, you might have to... Seven doesn't push. This is beautiful. Been before? And the whole indicator is burned out. Five works. Six, right? Here, six. Now we will go down. Hold the door. Going down to one. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully. This guy real elevator. Yeah, we no, love old elevators. That's what we're looking at. Oh, you're what? Oh, we you love the elevators. We, we love old elevators. Oh, oh you love old. Well, this is. You come to the right place. What? This could be the oldest, you know, because this building, you know how old this building is. How old? 19, oh, 1913, 19, 11, 10. Oh, I mean, it's, it's one of the oldest buildings in San Antonio. Wow. It came from the, uh... It's Abbey Airs. It's right, it tells you right here how old it is. It does. Yeah, this is all original Carrara marble. Like, you can't even get marble like this anymore. Look, 1911, constructed 1911. This is the guy that designed the McNay and a bunch of other buildings. I yeah. love the music they play here. Well, that's the guy that, that Mr. Uh, uh, Here's the freight elevator. This is a Montgomery from the 1980s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at that old street letterbox box. Yeah. Well, we like them. They're beautiful. Look, seven, you have to, it doesn't work. We'll take another ride on this one, then we'll try to get the other one. But these are beautiful fixtures. These are armor fixtures. You know, I have a control panel like this, right? You do. I can see outside. Okay, I'll take a look at that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get off here at six and try to go up. And we have a telephone. If I get off and press the up button. Oh, we can't. Oh, this is the highest floor? Oh, it has a window in it, this one right here. Has a view. All right. You know what? It doesn't have a view, actually. Did you send that one? Look, that one, yes. I guess these don't go to seven. This is the top floor. Yeah. Here's the service elevator. All right, we're going to ride this elevator. We're going to ride all elevators. Oh, look at that classic leveling. Well, send it down to one. Now, watch this. <laughs> I know a lot of people call this a piece of junk, but this is an epic elevator. Not junk, Andrew. This, this is an epic classic. elevator. It comes out too. Oh, I know. I'm gonna get the classic leveling. Indicators burned out. There's your buttons. 
beautiful armor. Go watch six go out and now step back so I can get the class to level it. Sure. Pretty cool classic level. Service yeah, now we'll ride that one. Press the down button. And we lost it. This is the stairs. Let's look in here. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. This is the MPE. It is equally as epic as their electric elevator. There's a view of the building that we're in. And there's the service elevator. Still hadn't come, has it? And there it is. There's the service. Oh, wow. That one does not this one's just as nice as the other ones. But it's a Monty. Basement's keyed off. Go down to one. Montgomery. Oh, modernized. A little bit, though. That must be the uh, counterweight there, right? I don't know what it is. Here are one. Ah, oh, doesn't level. Phone. And this is the lobby. And that will be it. In 2014, two more news stories were done on Elevate Tours. One was done in Richmond, Virginia, and I flew to San Francisco to interview with a broadcast company that was based out of London. Also, we met Brendan in 2014. Hope you enjoy these clips. Here we go. All right. All right. This is a very old elevator in South Boston, Virginia. Let me see, is there any branding on this old elevator? Huh? You mean like writing? Well, the name, the brand of the manufacturer. He's going to turn on the light, and we're going to get to ride this here in just a second, so I'm going to pause my camera until we get the light on, and here we go. We're going to have light in a second, and then we're going to get a ride. She's going to... Way to your right. There we go. Ready? Oh, it's preheat light. That's cool. Now, here we go. Watch this. They're going to make me work. Oh, wait. We're... Oh, okay. Oh, it's manual? Yes, I'll tell you. Manual. Take my camera. I'll run the elevator. No, I'm used to doing this. I'll take it down. Oh, you're gonna do it. Oh, this is not even an electric elevator. This is a man-powered elevator. Gotcha. What year was this thing installed? Um, this building is in the So I'm gonna say, other than the new walls you see here, this is the original elevator. Um, Every time that gear goes over teeth, you feel it. And the camera. Man, mine's getting ready to die, but that's fine. Let's see if there's a name up here. We're going to get you out of here. I think Tom Alex would never let me probably do this. <laughs> um, the owner makes Italian ice cream, a gelato, and this is his lab that you're near. Cool. Here we are for so the top floor of this elevator. We have storage up here in the ice cream lab. And let's see if there's any name. Gosh, I don't see anything. I think someone said, I think they said it was a little less broken. Well, this is an amazing elevator, and I'm going to take a couple still pictures yeah, you here. you go ahead and do that. As I just discovered up there, this is an Otis elevator. And this is a classic. You, which one do you pull? No, you have to work your brake. So oh, you work your brake, let the brake off. We're heavy enough that it's going to take us down. So okay, do you, so are you yeah. ready to go down? Yeah, I'm ready to go down. So, okay, so because you, all three of us are heavy enough, we this, probably won't even have to work the rope. Okay, let the brake off. Right? Yeah, you got to let your brake off and watch your okay. hands. Okay, watch my hands. Are you... Well, maybe we're not heavy enough. And I guess I, think it I thought we were heavy enough. I guess the brakes off. Brakes on. Well, now you're on your side. There. Yeah, okay, I see. I got it. I well, got we it. We are light enough. We are heavy enough. It'll take us down. There we go. Let's so see. I'll let let you the brake you off. Off. There we go. The brake is off. Are you filming me? Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm running this old manual elevator. 
And I left the brake on. There you go. You got to be coordinated to run this thing now. If we do stop between floors, it's because the... It's because your elevator operator over here left the brake on. He'll knee over here, too. Down we go. These are the guide rails right here. This right here is a safety device. We have a bucket here that made us stop. <laughs> wait, and now we can come down. Wait, there's a lid. Are we getting the clean? Now you may. All right, there we go. Here we go. I'm about to break off. And I guess I'm going to have to pull a little bit to make us go down. Here we go. Oh, wait, here. Let me get my 140 pounds on there. See, look at this. Watch me. Watch what I'm doing here, Brendan. See, to operate the elevator, you pull it. But since we're heavy enough, we're going down naturally now. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to go all the way up. But to go up, watch this. Point at me. To go up, you have to let the brake off, see? And then you pull this way to go up. See, we're going up. Until you set the brake to stop the elevator. Let the brake off and go down. You pull this side. So this is how an old manual freight elevator works before electricity. You want to know the good thing about this elevator? Yeah. If the power goes out, it still works. So a big thank you to these fine people in South Boston for letting me ride this amazing elevator. Thanks, Wade. I appreciate it. I that is it. Uh, you're... Any cheese? No cheese. We are here in the Hilton Hotel. Yes, we are. I got the fine people from Real Nice here with That's me. It. That's and this it. wonderful security guard of the Hilton Hotel in San Francisco. And before I start, a big thank you to the Hilton here in San Francisco for allowing me to get up here and take this video. Because we are up in a closed off restaurant up here on the 46th floor and they were nice enough to allow me to put an elevator and independent service to do this. So with that being said, KG, yep. we're going to film an elevator together. I'm excited. Let's I go do it. it. So we're, that's, we're going to do that right now. And here's the elevator right here in on independent ass. service and we're going to go take a ride. Let's, Let's go. go. Woo! All right, here, here we, we go. go. Here While we we're go. going down, I'm going to get a view of this beautiful elevator. We're in it. Mirrors everything, everywhere. This is a beautiful elevator. Yes, it is. It's got Otis Series 1 fixtures right here. And there's your emergency phone. And over here is the key cabinet where the security put in independent service for me. This is a very fast elevator. My ears are popping right now. That indicator up there is original to the elevator. The buttons were modded, but that indicator is original. Wow. When we get down to the lobby, I'm going to shut the door as quick as I can because this is the joy of independent service. You have to hold the door closed button and you take your hand off it, it opens back up. So you have to hold the door closed button until doors are closed. Doors are closed now. Here we go up. Let's be quiet and listen. Got to press door closed to start it. button goes out. So KG, what did you think about that elevator ride? Listen, that was Hold great. On. There, okay. I lost focus. What did you think about that? That was crazy. I like the fact that you just knew how to, to work this lift. I didn't know you had to keep the door, the handle on. I didn't even know this was an old school. This is, this this is, is classic. This right here, this has been replaced. This is original. The old one probably had Nixie tubes in it. Okay. Wow. So that is a ride on one of the Hilton Hotels high-rise elevators so what'd you think about that it was fast i enjoyed it i have a new and i, I was listening to the sound so there's different sounds on it did you notice how the weight went by it halfway yeah that was crazy dude. um yep yeah, i think i enjoyed that i'll tell you something i can another thing i enjoy is this beautiful view of san francisco what do you think about this view up here and, and this is this what this whole elevator um enthusiast is about is about it's also about appreciating the building and the surroundings in it, so. All right, well, I guess this is it for this video. 
Anything to say before I stop the camera? I want to unvideo high five. Can you? Can we? That's right. We awesome. just did that. Yeah. I got KG here, and what are we going to participate in here? We're about to do something crazy. You called it elevator drag race. An official diesel DC elevator drag race. That's right. First person to lobby and back up wins. Go ahead and call your car. Okay. And when and you I'm going to win this. When you get in the car, the race is on. Lobby and back up here. Lobby and back up. I got independent service. I don't have independent service, but I'm still going to win because I believe I can win. I'll give you a five second head start. That's how nice I'll be. I don't I'll need be. any head starts. <laughs> I don't need any handouts. All right. right. Listen, my cart's coming. I know you're going to be quick. This is going to be game over. This is going to be a foregone conclusion. I'm about to be Usain Bolt right now in the lift version. Are All right. Ready? Yeah, as soon as you get a car, it's on its way. It's on its way. And don't let this be a sign ah, of... There you go. As soon go. as you're in there, game on. Make sure no one else is in there before you dart in. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> game on. Here we go. Uh oh, is that Ha! This is an elevator drag race with the awesome people at Real Nice. Here we are at the lobby. Now we're gonna shut the doors back up. Let's see if he made it down. And here we go up to 46. I hear the other elevator. Let's see what happened. Look at that. Watch. See, it'll kick off in a second. And. I think I won. All right, oh, but do you want to rub? Can you do you want to rub it in his face? I'm you can go up closer to the elevator. Do you want to go up closer to the? Oh, yeah. you, you, your camera is up. I think I heard him stop and pick up some passengers. I think this is the biggest win I've ever had in an elevator drag race. Did I win? Did I win? I've been up here. Oh, I've well. been up here for about a minute. Here's the date and time. We are in the Cornell Hotel de France. And what are we gonna do here? We're about to ride a vintage elevator. You said you were gonna show me something special. This is an antique elevator. I'm not quite sure the brand yet, but this is definitely something old. But we do have a CJ Anderson call station. Here we go. Here it comes. Okay, so it's here. You gotta put it. Yep, it's a hand operated gate with a power inside door. Look at this cab. It's a beautiful old bird cage. Too bad fire codes require the drywall now. You can really see out of this thing. Alright, don't there you go, you got the door? I'm in. 
All right, now we're going to take this thing up to six and let's let's try basement first. Oh, it's going to go down. Here we go. We're going down. Here we go. What's that bang sound? That's the motor. Cool. Toilets, telephones. Let's take it up to six and let's listen to this thing. Watch it level. It levels in several phases. I saw someone waiting for it, so I'm gonna hop off for a second so she can use it. And we'll get a look around up here while we're waiting. I'm gonna let that lady use the elevator. Oh, I have this call station. Tom sent one to me. Mine has a, a light up button on it though. Um look at that. Stop. Have you got a cool station on you now? Yes, I do. I actually have one in my bag, and I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Let me let this lady use the elevator first. All right, that maid has now used the elevator, so we're going to call the elevator back up. Here we go. Listen. Now let's watch it come up. I want to see if I can see any branding on top of it. I'll know when I get in the motor room what exactly brand this is. Star Elevator works on it. Oh, I wish I could have seen that plate while it was going by. I could have identified the brand of the elevator. But anyway, just let's take a second to appreciate how beautiful this thing is. This looks like something in a French boutique hotel. All right, there you go. You got the door spring loaded. Uh, so are you having fun yet? Definitely, I feel like I'm collecting I'm, I feel like a collector right now, so... Watch out for the door, it's going to close. Sorry. Yeah, I feel like I'm totally collecting lifts. Here we go. You, could you ask KG what? if this is something he's going to do in the UK? Is this something you think you'd like to do in the UK? I think I'm... Um, I don't know if I'm going to have an experience as good as this. Again, because you know what you're talking about. If I get in a lift, I'll be like, yeah, it goes up. You it push goes the button, down. goes up and down. It goes, go, it goes up and it goes down, innit, mate? But then, with I mean, you here, I feel like I know about it, like I'm a connoisseur. Yeah, this is a historic lift. There we so go. Let's exit the elevator and let this lady use it. Look how long it's taken to come. Oh, this is huge. The way it stops, though, it's not here yet. It's like the size of an apartment. Yeah, this is an elevator. Is All right, wait. I'm waiting. Press the door open. This is the freight elevator at the Western St. Francis. Enter the elevator. I meant to say the Hilton Hotel. We're going to go down to prop ops. Here we go. Oh, why are we not going? Let me press the button. Here we go. We're going now. I hope my battery doesn't die because this elevator, this elevator has one of the most amazing hydraulic motors you're ever going to hear. Wow, look. It's really nice. Have you ever been in an elevator this big before? No, never. It's my first time. It's really cool. It's a pretty big elevator, isn't it? Right. It's bigger than my garage. Yeah. <laughs> now when we go up, I want to be quiet so we can hear the motor. What floor did we get on? Hold on. Let me see here. We got in on... I think we got in on Imperial. Let's see here. Pop ops. I'll figure it out once we get down here. Let me go ahead and get a cab view while we're going down. 
One reason I'm having so much fun with this is because you're not even an elevator enthusiast, you're family. I know. This, uh, this is a high hydraulic tube. We're still going down? Wow. This is a high hydraulic elevator. You don't press any buttons yet. Because we were in Imperial and then we are going down to props, right? I think I'm I think trying it's to underground the thing. Yeah, we're underground. I'm trying to find the lowest floor. Hold on, don't press any buttons. Because I want to find the lowest floor. I think this one is Yeah, we're going to take the elevator back up here in a second. I hope no one's wanting to use it. Yep, this is it. Yeah, I think this one is the lowest. Right this there it is. The See? Highest. We're down to the lowest floor now. Ready to go up, Imperial? I think so. Wait till you hear the motor on this thing. Let's be quiet so we can hear the motor. I think this is as high as we can go. Yep, we're back where we started. Now we'll open the door. I will have to say, that is one of the best hydraulic elevators I've ever ridden. That thing is totally amazing. Let's close the door to be polite. Still picture time. Yeah. All right, this is going to be an exciting day. I am with National Elevator, hey, and man. he is going to show me something I've never seen before. What is it? Mitsubishi Elevators. A Mitsubishi Elevator. We're going to let this gentleman go first. Yeah, we got some Mitsubishi Elevators to ride. You can go on up. We'll take the next one. There's some other people coming. Hold the elevator for them. There you go, right there. Thank you. All right, here they come. All right, we'll take this one, this one. Oh, what's that shine? Wow. Mitsubishi, where are we going? Uh, B2. Door closed works. Here we go. This is 
some nice. Now 25. Here we go. I'm trying to get down a little bit. I want to hear the chime. Well, where's where's up? What's up? This one just goes to. I don't even know what's up here, but there is a scale model of the city up here. All right, we're gonna be waiting a little while for this. Are these pretty good? We might wait a little bit. So. All right, call the down, and we'll take. Yeah, if someone else is going down. We'll let them go down first. I like the buttons though. Yeah. What do you look, you got a view out here. Oh, but here's our up. Cool, we didn't have to wait long. So there's a scale model of the city up here? Yeah. And this one also goes down the Alright, 26. Mm -hmm. You're going up? Uh, down actually. Well, what goes up must go down. <laughs> Alright, here are 26. Alright, wow. Let him go. He can get off. Or actually, no, we'll be waiting forever, so I'll go ahead and get in and we'll go down. Where are we going? D3. He's going to ground? Yep. Here you go, I got ground for you. Thanks. That's innovative. Look at these fixtures. Here you are. Okay. I like those chimes. It's not much different in real life than on the camera. It's a beautiful elevator. There's National Elevator. All right, now we're in. Graham? Yep. Where do you want to go? All right. Innovation photo on R2. California button. Yep. We've seen a lot of those today. I want to see if I can ring a bell just to hear it. I want to hear the bell. Oh. Nice lobby. Cool. That's awesome. All right, and that's it. Sasha Bailey, hello. Sasha Bailey, and we had an amazing day today, and we are gonna finish up this day with a ride on the service elevator in this building. How you doing? I just wanna take a video of this elevator, okay? Cool. Oh, awesome, ABC. Yeah, I, I know how to do this. Yeah. Is that all right? Close the, yeah, it's fine. close the door for me, please, if you don't mind. I wanted to see an ABC elevator, and guess what? Here's an ABC elevator. So we're going to start off our tour by going down. Here we go. Is this one? No, the okay, I'm gonna go down all the way down and all the way up. And this one. Here is one. Oh, that was one. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to the basement. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, here's the basement. I'll stop at the basement. Stop it right. The yellow, or else it crashes. All right, and watch that. See, how's that for good leveling right there? You can tell That's I've done good. this before. Now we're gonna go all the way up. What's the top floor? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Here we go to twenty-six. Uh, if you pull it all the way back, it doesn't move. You okay. Pull like ninety nine percent. Here we go, ninety nine percent. I don't want to jerk us, so I'll keep it right there. There we go. I got it. Going up twenty six floors. I don't know why that happens. <laughs> it's a, it's annoying. You pull it back, it goes up like two feet, and stops. <laughs> yeah, it would be a pretty rough stop if I pushed it all the way right now. Count 
what floor you're on? It tells you right there. 15. 26, you said? Yeah. Alright, I'll start slowing down around 24. It'll automatically slow down 25. Okay, so it'll self-level 26? Uh, you still have to stop. You okay. can crash it in the ceiling, too. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Now I'm going to take it down and I want to hear, I want to be here, I want, can you film me running the elevator? And I want to hear the mechanics of this elevator. Alright, I'm going to get comfortable here because when you're an elevator operator you get to sit down, so we're going to take it all the way down to the lobby, here actually the basement, we're going down 26 floors. Here we go. See, how's that for level? Now, where are we going back up to now? Six. Six. All right, and going up, I'll let you get in the back of the cab and you can film from the back of me running and out the window. So we're going to stop on six. All right, here we go up to six. Going up. Yeah. All right, and that was a ride on the service elevator, and if you don't mind, I want to take a few still pictures of this cab before I let you go. So, all right, we'll open the gate. These are Peely Doors, Brooklyn, New York. These are nice and light. Now, how is that for some pretty good leveling? Look at how close I got to the floor. Big thank you for the ride, and that is the end of our tour with ThyssenKrupp. This gentleman is going to take us on a ride on this elevator over here. Let me get over here, Dan, okay? Okay. I want to get a look at the elevator. I have never seen something like this before. This is like an outdoor car elevator. They're making a picture here. And he's going to take us on a ride. I feel my picture here. Yeah, let's take, yeah. Yeah, take us on a ride first. We're doing a video. Now watch this. Uh -oh. Did you know what here? I've never seen anything like this before. That is awesome. And look, we're up here and you can see all of New York City from up here. Here's the bridges. This is absolutely beautiful up here. Look at this. Oh, wow. making a movie? Yeah. Well, look, yeah. look at these buttons over here. Here we go down. Oh, wow, look. Oh, this goes side to side. Do that again. Wow. You can go on there if you want. Huh? You can go on there if you want. Oh, cool. Look at this. Now we're going to side, you know? You want to put it down. We're going to take some still pictures here. Can you do me a big favor? Make the elevator move sideways. I want to watch it. Look at that. Now that is a neat elevator. That is wow. Awesome. Water maintenance. Now it's leveling. Don't stay back, Gabe. Stay back. Or right, now you can walk onto the platform. Let me look at these buttons here before we go down. Going sideways. Yeah, that is cool. 
he's farting and doing that. He's going like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it down there. Now, watch out. Right. We're going back down now. Here we go. Down we go. So it looks like you actually have to press the floor button and then just hold the button. Ready? I want to make a moon on. Wow. Oh, wow. We're going diagonal. <laughs> Look at that. This is the first time I'm like diagonal in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Actually, pretty cool. Now here we are back at the bottom and watch wow. this. Now we're going to go sideways. <laughs> Stay still until it stops. <laughs> now that was an awesome elevator ride. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Stay there. Hold on. It's like a roller coaster. This elevator is so much fun, it really is. Wow! <laughs> now that was awesome. Thank you so much. Take care. Alright, I got a treat for you guys. We are going to get to ride this elevator right here and look at this. It's one of those outdoor construction Climbing elevators. This is the first time I've ever been on one of these. So check this out right here. Let's take a look at this control panel. All right. I guess we have to close the door. I've never been on one of these before. He's closing the door. Now explain this thing to me. How does this thing work? Oh yeah, it would help to have a light. Uh, oh, it has to come on. It's your light switch. Yeah, there it is. You have to let it warm up for a second. Here's the operation key. Which one is? I turn it on. And does this make it go up and down? Yep. Up for up. Yep. Here we go. Watch this. Does it automatically stop at the top? Yeah. All right, cool. How's that feel? This is awesome. That's the door to the outside. automatically let, slows down to level and stops. This is the, what floor is this? 19th. 19th floor. See, it automatically stops at the top. Now let me get a look at this thing while we're up here. This is an interesting elevator. It's like a freight elevator on the outside of the building. There's the control panels. 
that makes it go up and down. It's yeah, it's dead man. You take your hand off it, it stops wherever. The brand of this is a Fraco. And like I said, it's a climbing elevator. I want to see if you can see out here. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a view going down. You don't mind driving it down, do you? Watch this. Here we go down. Awesome. A construction elevator. I'm gonna cut the light off. There we go. And that was a neat ride. It holds 2,700 kilograms or 34 persons. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And that'll be it. Thanks for the ride. And that is what we just rode up in. 19 floors. That'll be it. 2015 really didn't do a whole lot, but what we did was very exciting. We went up to see Steve at Minnesota Elevator, and he gave us a tour and showed us some really cool installations he did and elevators he maintains. Hi, everybody. This is Diesel Ducey. Today, we are going to be taking a ride on an old Otis elevator right here in the SunTrust parking garage in Augusta, Georgia. Let's go guys. Look at this elevator. We have an old Otis black button. Here we go. The cab is a little bit dirty, but this is still a very nice elevator. We're gonna take it up to P3. Here we go. This is a nice elevator. Come on out here and we can get a nice view of Augusta, Georgia here. Right here is the beautiful Lamar building. We were up there on those balconies earlier taking photographs. And of course, this is a SunTrust garage. It's attached to the SunTrust building. So yeah, we're going to go in here and we're going to take a look at an intermediate floor. See the rotodiles in here? But this one's broken. This has the old bake-like button. We're going to go down to, I believe, P1, I think, has it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is nice. This is a really nice elevator. It has seen better days, though, as you can clearly tell.
Oh yeah, we got a roto dial, but like I said, it, these are Lexan buttons. These have been replaced. These are not the original Bakelite buttons. But I'll show you something else we do have here. Watch this. Got old rubber bumpers. Let's take this thing back down one floor and watch the air go out. There it goes. You have an emergency phone in here, just a standard telephone. It takes a little while to level, but here we are. Are we having fun? Oh, yeah. We are on the top of a grain elevator, and they have a service elevator here. He's going to take it down one floor, and we're going to watch it go down. Let me get my flashlight real quick. One floor. Yeah, they are. Now he's going to bring it back up. Stand back a little bit. The railing there. Yep. MEI. There he is. And that is the freight elevator in the grain elevator. This is an elevator in a grain elevator. Does the door lift up? Lift up the door? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. This is like a small freight elevator. Well, that's all it's in there. I'm just going to take it up and back it down, okay? Oh, yeah. Do I need a key or not? No. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, go ahead. Don't get on top. Oh, I'm not. I'm just going up. I'm not even going to open the door upstairs. I'm just taking it up and down. Alright, going up to six. Here we go. Awesome, there's the indicator. Now we're going to take it back down to one. C.J. Anderson. There you go. Let's get a look at this thing. This is CJ Anderson equipment, emergency phone, yeah. NEMA fixtures. 
And you got a fire extinguisher in here. This is pretty cool. Awesome. In the grain elevator, you have square D controls. That's not an actual elevator fixture. They make other stuff too. And here is the car. on both sides. Here we go back down. We are here in the break room of Minnesota Elevator Company up here in Mankato, Minnesota. Here's the vending machines, but check this out. This is their little test tower here, and it's got the reflex leveling system on it. It's a single jack, holeless hydraulic. Here's the piston before we ride it. I'll send it up and down to let y'all watch it. Wait till you see how quick this thing levels. Watch this. Here it goes. That box up there is the reflex. Watch this. That only takes about a second and a half to level right there. Now we'll bring it back down and take a ride on it. Here it comes down. Two seconds to level. This reflex system is amazing and it will save a lot of energy and wear and tear on the motor. Watch this. That is less than two seconds. Here's a view of it from upstairs. That's the leveling system. Now we'll bring the car back up. There's Steve down there. 
Say hi to everyone, Steve. Hey, everybody. Big thank you to Steve for bringing me up here to see his amazing facility. Now, if you stay tuned, you'll get to see a lot more than just this elevator in an upcoming video. It's a nice elevator. Now we'll go back down to one. Watch. You can see the circuit board open in there. That level's very quick. And over here is the pump unit right here. It's a submersible. MEI. Here it goes. Listen to it. That is one fast hydro. Fastest hydro around. How fast is it? I don't know. Uh, 170 foot per minute? Yeah, I'd say at least. That's, so that's pretty good. In the up and about 140 in the down. That's pretty fast. All right, well, tune in in the upcoming couple months, and you will get to see a lot more than just this elevator. That'll be it. All right, we are getting to take a ride on an unfinished elevator now. Check this out. Just take me all the way up and all the way down. Coming up. Is this an MRL? I actually can't go all the way if you don't have handrails on, but uh, there'll be a fall hazard. So oh, okay, I see what you mean. Off to, of course, build the cab. So that's what those guys are in the process of doing right now. It's prepping to build this cab. So, as you can see here, it's, this one's under swung. This is still pretty cool. That's a short trip. That's good. That's, <laughs> pretty, that's still pretty yeah, cool. I don't want to expose anybody any, any potential fall hazards. Yeah, because I can I see what you mean. There's no railing, so yeah. Yeah, they had to take it off. Yeah, there's some That's still pretty cool. Yep, so this is the bottom floor. That was a ride on an unfinished elevator. All right, you guys remember a long time ago, back in 2009, or it was a while back, I took a video of an old freight elevator in Hillsville. Anyway, these people right here own it, and they have this beautiful, y'all are a clock, clock factory. Clock shop. Yeah. Clock shop. They do work on these beautiful clocks, so y'all repair clocks, right? Yes. So if y'all uh, ever need a clock repaired, come down here and get it fixed. Well, anyway, we're going to take a look at this elevator in action and maybe even get a ride on it. This is a, it's got wood rails. It's quiet. And when it's going down, it's actually got like an emergency brake on it. That's the clicking noise. is going to take an item off this elevator so we can get a better look at it. And it's got a sink. It's a, it's a completely wooden platform. Thousand pound capacity. Look how this is set up. It's an old, it's a, a chain hoist just attached to this platform. It's got wooden rails. Can you send it up and down? Now we're going to watch this. There's no buttons in here, so he has to send us. chain
Now we are down here where my wife is buying a sewing machine. Okay, bring me back up. <laughs> is she down there now? Yep, she is. That's the safety. It's like an emergency brake. Yep, if the, if the thing were to snap, that would catch in there and stop the car from falling. You can actually see it in action. That is pretty neat. So, you got to see the elevator a few years ago. Now you finally got to ride on it. Big thank you to these fine folks down here in Hillsville, Virginia. <laughs> Can you see my head in the camera? Yes. Okay, good. I'm just making sure. He's doing it for you. Okay. Am I gonna make it over there? You nuts? Yes. Looks like it. I may roll back a little bit further.
year, the Elmwood Park Garage elevator got modernized, and I got this camera that I've been shooting on for the past six years, the PJ760V. All right, people, I think you guys know where we are. That's right, we are at the Elmwood Park Garage. This is the first day the elevator's been turned on, October 1st, 2015. And I have received requests to do an elevator video on the Garmin Verb. So I can't think of a better elevator to bring the Garmin Verb to than this brand new ThyssenKrupp mod of the US. Go up to five. And here we go. Look how smooth that levels. While we're up here, we'll get a cab view in super wide angle. Over here are our brand new ThyssenKrupp fixtures. Now we'll go back down to one and enjoy the view one more time. Very smooth and levels very quick. Now we'll end the tour on two. Brand new certificate of inspection. Here we go. Levels in under two seconds. Oh, there's my scooter. And that will be it. Now here's the moment you've been waiting for. The new Elevate Tours by Diesel Ducey camera. And yes, he included this bag too. Here is the camera. The PJ760V. I'll slap a battery on it here. Now watch this. And there it is. You want to see something cool about this camera too? It features an optical viewfinder. That's pretty cool. This camera basically has all the features that my old TRV87 has. Manual control knob, it's got night shot, which I'll demonstrate in another video. And here we have the Elevate Tours video light. That's right, I won't have to carry a flashlight anymore, because check this out. Let me press the button. There we go. It's got a video light, and it's very bright. And it's also got the night shot. See the infrared right there? I'll do a demo of that in a separate video. But yeah, this is an amazing camera. I've messed around with it a little bit, and of course, it has the projector. Now, the only issue with this camera, it only shoots in AVC HD. It doesn't have an MPEG-4 mode. And see, I can use the projector. Yeah, you can see, wow, the projector's bright. But yeah, it just projects what's on the camera. The microphone on is pretty good. It's got a accessory shoe, so yeah, this is a pretty nice featured camera. Now let's... And the awesome thing, it's got balanced optical steady shot. Look at that. This steady shot is better than the one on my old 430. And it's also got a Vario sonar lens, which is a really high-end lens. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my new camera. All elevator videos from here on out will be shot on that, as this is being shot on the TX-30, which is my backup. So, 
with that being said, I had one more item I wanted to show you, but I can't find it. So, basically, the seller sent me a little mini tripod as part of the package, too. And if I can find it, I will show you. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, it's not really that useful, but this was also included in the auction. I mean, the camera's really kind of too heavy for it. That new camera weighs almost a pound and a half. But he sent me this little tripod, too. So you can set the camera up like that, and the legs extend just a little bit. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for a lot of videos on the new camera. That'll be it. We are here in beautiful Stanton, Virginia, and we are going to be doing an elevate tour of this amazing building. It's called the Wits Building. It's an office building, multi-tenant. And we will start off our tour here in the lobby. You have two ways to go up. You have the steps or the elevator, and we'll take the elevator. And here it is. It's an old Otis. It used to be manually controlled at one time. But as you can see, they automated it with Adam's buttons. There's where the crank used to be over there. It's a beautiful old birdcage elevator. I'll shut the doors. Here's your operating instructions right here. And now we're going to take the elevator up to three. Watch this. Wait till that door closes. Here we go. Up this one, it's finicky. I'm gonna have to tinker with the door. This elevator is very finicky, I must tell you. It'll go eventually, but it's finicky. We will start our elevator tour on the third floor and work our way down. Now this elevator you have to close the door or else no one else can use it. Here we are up on the third floor. Look at this beautiful architecture over here. Ornate wood handrails. Radiator heat. And over there is the elevator. This building is just beautiful. Here's the restroom. I bet this is a vintage bathroom. This building is beautiful. Huge windows. Now we will go down the steps to the second floor. The MPE. Beautiful wood handrails. I'm sorry, I have flip flops on. Wonder what that is. There's the elevator. We'll go down that to the bottom. As you see here on the second floor, you can see up into the it's like a little atrium or courtyard or something. As you see, there's some office spaces available here. Love the high ceilings. Off 
office space available. There's another office. I love the way these old buildings have all these hallways that go all over the place. I was in an antique shop and I was asking if there's any old elevators in town. Someone there told me about this place. I would have never thought to look in here, but this place is just gorgeous. So yeah, now we'll take a full ride on the elevator and then I have to end the tour. Car here. Oh wow, look at this. You can see at the shaft the elevator only has two ropes. Wow. Alright, now we'll take the elevator on a little ride. Alright, here we go down to one. Now a full round trip. Here we go, three. Bump. And going down, we'll look out the back here. You'll see the white go by. Here we go. And here we are on the first floor, and this will end our elevator tour of this amazing property. Close the door. And, oh, this, oh, look at this. This door swings both ways. Look, here's the stairs that go up in the building. Watch the door. That is awesome. And there's the elevator. Here it is. Turn on the light. Beautiful old Otis elevator, but they put a drop ceiling in it. Don't slam the door. Could go down sub basement. Doesn't work. Basement. Basement. Now we're gonna go up to four and take a silent round trip. Back down the basement. Obviously a bottom drive. Let's get out here and take a look so you can see what the building looks like. Look at the old fire alarm box. This is an old building. Alright. 
right, let's get a look at the elevator real quick. Ooh, don't shake the elevator. <laughs> I mean, stand still in it. Beautiful old Otis fixtures. Now here we go one more time. That busing sound is actually really. Now we'll end the tour on one. Here we go. It's even got Otis on the door hangers. This is a really neat old elevator. I don't want to bang the door, so let's close gently. And this is inside the building. They have a fire door. I wonder if they have another elevator in here. Let me see if they do. I thought I saw it in house. This is a really neat building. Wow, this is beautiful. I don't think they have another elevator here, though. Oh, they do have another elevator. Look at this. Let's see if this one works. Oh, wow, this one's neat, too. Basement. Roof is locked. Three. Three. And we'll end the tour at one. Beautiful old Lotus elevator. Now this is a beauty. Otis logo. And there it goes. And that'll be it. In 2016, we really didn't do a whole lot, but then again, we did. Um, did some stuff locally, and I went back down to Texas and I went up to Pittsburgh. That's right, it's 185 and 175 West Main. Wait till you see what's in here. Big thank you to my buddy John for bringing me here and telling me about this. Here's your steps. Oh, man powered elevator. Wait till you see the electric. This is gorgeous. That little call button. Oh, wow, CJ Anderson. This place used to be a hospital. Look at the shape of the elevator. It's a big rectangle. Now we're going to enter the elevator and watch the door. Shuts nice and quiet. Before we go anywhere, look at these fixtures. 
Tom, these are old C.J. Anderson. Pretty cool. Here's your certificate of inspection. 3,000 pounds and a vintage Salem elevator. Let's take a ride. Here we go to two. Speed motor, if you can off it, look at this. You can see out in the downtown with Phil, and it's snowing out there. Up here's the office suites. Look at that old exit sign. Sorry about the zooming. This is really cool. I love the vents up there. All right. So it's nice and quietly. Basement is locked. Now we'll take a silent round trip. That is an amazing elevator. I love it. Look at that. We'll open the door here. And you can see up there, cinder block shaft. There's the cables. It's an old pain interlock. So that is an old pain interlock. Maybe this call button is made by pain, I don't know. It's either CJ Anderson or pain. Look at this call button, Roanoke Elevator Service. That is very unique. That may be CJ Anderson. Watch what happens when you open the door. The in use light comes on. And this is actually a Salem elevator here. Before we go, let's get a look at this beautiful old antique elevator. You wouldn't know what year this is from, would you? Uh, it was installed in 1920. 1920s. 1920s. Wow. And we are going to get to take a ride. Ah, uh, they're fine. Are they okay? All right. I'm uh, letting the door go. go. Yep. Just let it go. All right. Now we're going to start off our tour going to the basement. You, that button won't work. That's you locked. Use the key. Use the key. Because mm -hmm, it's a. Oh wow. It's can be. Private, this is single so. speed. Cool. Look at this. That's the old door. Now we'll listen to this thing going up to three. Okay. Here we go. And it opens to your back. Very I'll nice. I'll show you three. Just step off there a second. Now I'm not expecting this, but All right, that's just fine. push the door. Push I'll the door? You. But this is my residence. Oh, wow. <laughs> you live up here. This opens up right into your apartment. It does. It opens right up. So oh, cool. You got elevator access up to your apartment. Yes. That's pretty cool. I know. I, like I said, I wasn't expecting us to do it. <laughs> oh, you still got your Christmas tree up. I still have my tree. But. There you get a very nice view of our beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. Mm -hmm. And down there is Main Street. Nice yes. flat screen TV. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, and you have, like I said, I, I, this elevator is really so neat. You, yes. The cool thing is you got a spring-loaded door, so uh -huh. if someone forgets to close the door... It shuts on its own. It shuts on its own. Cool. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, now I'm gonna t I'm gonna take a silent trip down to the basement so I can hear the motor if that's okay. Okay. Here we go. Here right out of the basement, and now we will end the tour up on the first floor. Wow, this is an amazing elevator. It is, isn't it? Yeah, you don't see stuff like this every day. No. Here we go, don't want to let the door slam. And I mean, here we are, it's a hundred years old. Hundred year old elevator. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, 1920s. It's a Westbrook. And we have C.J. Anderson fixtures. I guess you have to close the door to run it, right? Oh yeah. All right. Oh wow, you can see all the way up. And is yours up or down? We're going to start off our tour by going down. Let's listen to the motor going up. Caught up here, we'll be able to get back down. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't stop by itself. Yeah. Now, could you do me a favor? Could you please run the car up and down one time? Amazing old elevator. All right, take me down. That is an amazing elevator. And here we are back at one. Let me take a look at this thing real quick. This elevator has an open ceiling, as you can tell. Old wooden car. You have C.J. Anderson. Oh, I lost focus. There we go. C.J. Anderson fixtures. Big thank you to the owner for taking me on this ride of this amazing old Westbrook elevator. Look at that beautiful cab. And there they are, your Otis Black Buttons. Here we go. Here we are up at the top floor. Now, I don't know what the residents think about these elevators, but to an elevator fan like me, these things are a treat. Now, for the age of these elevators, they're in beautiful condition. I love these cabs.
And those buttons, they're beautiful. I'm sure the caps have been replaced, though. They would have originally been Bakelite. elevator. Take it up to four. down the lobby. Look at that front desk. This is a beautiful older hotel. Now watch the light go out. There it goes. Here we go. Look at that call button. The elevator will be here any second. Listen to those relays. Look at that in use light. We'll get a cab light before a cab view before we go anywhere because this elevator stays parked till somebody calls it. This is a beautiful old monarch elevator. Look at those tray lighting and art deco on the ceiling. There's your monarch label. I have the certificate covered up for the building owner's privacy. It goes 75 feet a minute. Beautiful older GAL fixtures. And down here we have an emergency phone. And this elevator is maintained by ThyssenKrupp. I'm not going to show any more because I want this building owner to have his privacy. With that being said, we're going to take a ride. Listen to this. is up on the second floor. Again, another view of this beautiful Monarch elevator. Has classic leveling, but I don't think we're going to be able to catch it on camera because the door doesn't open up wide enough before it starts, but let me show you this. Bumper. Amazing elevator. We'll take it for one more ride and I want to see something here. Thank you. 
now we're down on M. That's a trick with some of these older elevators. If you hold the button in, it will continue going. We will try to catch the classic leveling with the Elevate Tours video light. Here we go. Well, you got to see a little bit of it. So yeah, what do y'all think of this beautiful old Monarch elevator? John and Ryan, thank you so much for letting me ride this. Oh cool, there's even an electrical outlet down there. That being said, we'll take it down to one and end on M. Here we go. Now to M we go. Here we are up on the M level. And the only way to make this close up is to register a call, so we'll do that. There it goes. Now watch this in use light. I just arrived downstairs. We are going to get to see the control gear of this historic Monarch elevator. Look at this relay cabinet here. I had a viewer comment on one of my videos saying that only I could take a video of a light bulb and make it interesting. Well today, I hope I live up to that. Because guess what? This is a video about a light bulb. But not just any light bulb. An old GE F40 T12 Deep Blue. And for all those lighting enthusiasts that watch my video, here is the stamping on the lamp. If you can tell me what date this was made, I would really appreciate it. So pause the video if you want to look at this. Alright, now we're going to get to the moment you've been waiting for. We're going to get to watch this thing light up a few times. Now before I started the camera, it was a little bit blink happy, so... Knowing how it's going to behave now, it probably won't blink at all because I got the camera on it. Alright, the image stabilization is settling down, I got the screen turned, and you're going to get to see my face in the video here in a second. So I'm going to get down here. Hi guys. Or I can operate the switch I've hooked up to it. All right, ready for it? Here we go. Three, two. Got a little bit of blinkage. Awesome. We'll do it a couple more times. Oh yeah, got some blinkage out of that time. And one more time. 
Uh, that was that one exciting enough. Do you want to see it one more time? All right. That was a good blink fest. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of a light bulb today. Got the camera off the tripod. This light fixture right here received some minor damage during the fire. Actually, that's from the fire extinguisher because this was right underneath the fire. This light bulb just came in today. So, we'll light it up one more time up close. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. And that'll be it. Wow, look at this. Oh. Beautiful old elevator. Oh, yep, CJ Anderson, you're right. Look at these. Three, let's go to two. Two? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna stop and tell her at the office. All right, cool. Here are the two. I'll be right back. This is an amazing old elevator. Let's get a look at this car real quick. It's got a smoke detector in the elevator. Thousand pound capacity. Beautiful old elevator. And it's a residence up there, so. All right. This goes directly into residence. It's a hallway. A hallway, okay. Shut the door. Yes, it's got a magnetic latch. Oh, cool. This is how you get to the machine room. Oop. This is just like the thing that went up to our old attic. That's exactly what it is. Attic. I'll turn on the video light for this one. You want to go up the ladder into the attic. Oh, cool. We're up in the attic. This looks like a... This is like a... I know this is all wood up here. This is all wood frame. Yeah. Cool. Somebody take your key? Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's all I want. Yeah. Oh, wow. About 10 years ago, I guess, we added car top inspection to this thing because it didn't have any kind of inspection. So by code, it had to have car top inspection. That's why you see everything written on it. Oh wow, look at this. 29. I'll take a picture of that. Are you able to move this car? <laughs> yeah. Just by pressing the relay. Yep. Yeah. Single speed AC. Single speed AC, wow. And then to move, what do you just touch the relay? Yeah, just Oh wow. So it only takes one call at a time. Yes. It is not selective collective, it's not even collective. It's just one at a time. So just press that in? Yeah, just touch it right down. Cool. This is a very simple controller. Doesn't get much more simple than that. Nope. Let me take a picture of that really quick. 
That is awesome. This drive, the ship was run, worn out, and we had uh, had to have the ship remade. And if you look, you can see where it's been machined. Yep. We sent it to uh, uh, Titan Machine. We sent them the driver. They cut it all down and then rebuilt a steel driver that's on the old drive. And down there's the disconnect. This is a neat unit right here. This is pretty old. Been here a long time. Yeah, I'm friends with Tom Cyber. I'm gonna send these pictures to him. He will love this. There's your up and down relays, right? Mm -hmm. Was this stuff pretty easy to troubleshoot? Uh, it is when you got a print. Yeah, because I've got a lot of people asking for prints. I've had people email me asking me for prints. And there, these are the newer relays right there. Yes, where we added inspection service to it because it didn't have car top inspection at all. But it has car top now. It does now, yes. Like I said, you want to send it the first floor, watch this. <laughs> These are beautiful relays. And that one here, yeah, it's got the brake. Cool, you, got, down and up and you, got, you got everything written on it. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way we can keep track of it all. <laughs> that's pretty darn cool. Well, let me see if we have a view over here. Oh yeah, you got a view out here. This is a beautiful city. I'm just so happy I got in here. I've been wanting to come in here for a long time. <laughs> a big thank you to Mike from Automatic Elevator. Anytime. Now we'll go take a ride on the elevator. Okay, we're gonna go down this backwards because it's a ladder. Um, I would turn around and go face it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah, it's gonna go down backwards. Yeah. Here we are back down. We're going to bring the elevator up now because we moved it. Uh oh, it's not coming. It's not coming. <laughs> no, no, we just moved the re we just moved it. That's all. Hang on, let me see. You want me to wait up here? Yeah, Now it's coming. Maybe the call button up here doesn't work right. Did it light up at all? It, light, it lit up when you moved the car. Okay, if you'll step inside. Uh, I'd rather you not film me doing this. Okay, I will not film. Okay. All right, but before we go down, we're gonna get an interesting view here. Again, this is an elevator shaft. Use extreme care when you're around this. That's the governor, right, that yes, rope? Sir. That's the governor. It's actually a, a hemp rope governor still. Yep, I've seen a couple of those. I'll take a picture of the car top station. That car top station looks like it's new. It is new, that's where we added. And up there is where we are. And here is your wooden rails. That's right, this elevator has wood rails. You got CJ Anderson switches up here. Picture. Get a picture down there. It actually still has the wire cab, they just closed it in. Yep, old birdcage cab. Yeah. This is pretty nifty. What year is this from? 29. Oh, 1929. And then when the door shuts, you'll go back in regular operation, right? Hmm? 
is neat. Cool. Now the elevator will come back up. It ain't coming back up. Yep, it did. So what kind of elevator is this again? Say one more time, what, what kind of elevator is this, or is this one of those unknowns? This is CJ Anderson. I don't know what originally it was. So yeah, it's got all CJ Anderson equipment on it. Your ladder's back up now. Here we go back down, and I'm going to get a quick video of just a quick run. And we'll go back down to one, and that will end our tour of this. And here we are down at one. I'll go and call the elevator. This elevator is humongous. You could fit about three standard size automobiles in it. You have two car stations, one down here for passengers and one up there for like a tow motor operator. You could bring a tow motor in here and operate the elevator. Again, it says Dover on this, but it was installed in 2001. Got class C1. So now we're gonna send it up to three and shut the door and listen to the motor. Not only is this one of the biggest hydraulic elevators I've ever ridden, it's also one of the smoothest. You can barely even feel it move, it's so smooth. They did a great job installing this one. And we'll send it down on the forklift car station.
nice ride on a very nice elevator. Now, if you don't mind, Andy, could you hit the door close button, please, so I can watch the doors close from back here. Thank you very much. are still old Westinghouse. Wow, this is nice. We'll be right back. Let me push the button, please. Okay. Look at that. Another six. What's this do? That's ground. Look how low the ceiling is. You can touch it. This is a nice elevator. Can you ever get a look at the buttons, please? There's no phone in here, just an alarm bell. Watch this go out. Oh, it doesn't go out. Stays lit up. Wait, wait, we're not down yet. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we are. She's out there. Wait, look, 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 there's another floor to go. All right, see. That's why we're not down there yet. This is as low as we get to go. Hmm. Where's the door button? So we're done. Yep, we're done. These are nice old elevators. There it goes. This is the rotary. Yep. Look at this beautiful old lobby. But what we're here to see is these old Otis Autotronic elevators. And we have two cars to choose from. One can go down. See, we'll go up in this car right here. This car up. Yeah, we'll take this one. Somebody's coming with us. Which, Which one are you going to? 21. Perfect. Oh, oh the down. thing doesn't light up. Oh, well. Yeah, it works. Autotronics are known for stopping randomly. That's nothing even on this floor, it looks like. Yep, this is just your typical Otis Autotronic controller. It's better than Selectomatic. Yeah. Button pops out. Have a nice day. All right. Now we'll go down to one. That one doesn't light up either. Look at this. You got your thing open. Get a look at the elevator car itself. These cabs have obviously been updated. But over here, look at these fixtures. The walls are boring. We're going to take a ride on another car. I don't like this one. Listen. Got a bad wheel. It's got a flat spot. Watch the button come out. Send that one up to three. Not three, so. We'll take a ride on the, this other car down here. First down. Down doesn't work. All right, let's take a ride in this car. There we go. Sensors are See how many times you randomly stop. Oh, there's a little bit 
looks shaky if you lean on the wall. It's slow too. I do like that pop-up button. The other one classic button. Now we'll take it back down to one. I do love these buttons though. What do you think about these buttons, Patrick? They're pretty good. It's a pretty cool startup. These things are rare. In there, that's the access pan cabinet. We're not going to touch anything in there though. It's got a big indicator. We're randomly stopping on the 13. Oh, coming down, hold the door open. Buttons are awesome. Alright, now I want to show you all the lobby panel. Letterbox. Look at this old mailbox here. It's pretty cool. Now let me get over here. Do me a favor, send that car up to like floor three or something. We're gonna watch the annunciator. Alright, see so now watch this. See that this? car is going up. What is this? See so watch this. Two. It's got a down call number two. Yep. You said it's two or three? I don't know, but it's got a down call. Oh, okay. Two. Yeah, it's got a down call there. This is your Otis Autotronic panel. What is this? That's for the music in the elevator back when they had it. Can we turn it on? Uh, I wouldn't mess with anything here. And there's the program right there. Again, look at this lobby. This is an amazing building with really neat elevators. I like the ceiling. So what did you think about that, Patrick? Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I love this building. Go up, you shut the gate. Yep. Shut the gate, and over here, let me see the buttons. You hold the button down to make it go, right? Mm -hmm. You take your hand off, it stops. This thing is cool. See, it goes down three steps. It's a great access for handicapped people. Yeah, I mean, it's cool access and a cool elevator. Well, I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah, this is neat. I'll bring it all the way up for you. Thank you, sir. Listen to it. It's very slow. And these are the fixtures. This is hey, the you do. I'm doing great. <laughs> That's on a platform. So it's just a small DC motor that drives it up and down. Oh, okay. Underneath it, yeah. Is it hydraulic or is it? No. It's a screw, a screw drive. drive. Yeah. The rod's only this big. I mean, this is neat. I've I've seen a lot of wheelchair elevators, but never something like this. Yeah, this just fit as part. You know, we could just do it. I mean, is this like a homemade one or yeah. commercial? Oh, wow! That's that's why it's so unique. But you can buy those motors. It's not and here we are up at the top. So yeah, this is an elevator that's built right into the steps. I don't think I got it up all the way. Let me move it up a little bit more. See, there it is. And this may, you can move it from out here. See, down, up. So yeah, big thank you guys for letting me check out your really awesome elevator. That'll be it. 2017, in my opinion, is one of the most significant years of Elevate Tours, at least in activities I did. First of all, the best friend I've ever had in my entire life, 
Jason came into my life in 2017. Also, Kone Elevator brought me to Europe to tour their facilities. And in December, we went out to St. Louis to meet Jason. So here's a little glimpse of 2017. Also, for the rest of this video, you're in for a treat. Most of the material you're going to see from here on out is unreleased. This is the Richland Mall, right? Yep, Richland Fashion Mall. And it has gotten even deader since the last time I came here, right? Mm -hmm. What wing is this? This is the Northwest Wing. This is the Northwest Wing in the Mall, and we're going to go in here and take a look around. Wow. Look at that lone payphone over there. Doesn't even feel like they have the climate control on in here. What used to be in here, the food court? Mm -hmm. Used to be a food court over here. There used to be a China Max, uh, you know, Chinese uh, fast food thing in here. Now it's completely gone. There's nothing anymore. Look at this. The escalators are all turned off. This is a true dead mall, right? Yeah. And you said there's not one store in this wing. No, 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 no store. Right, we're going to take a look around here. This is totally dead. Let's walk around. It's been about a year or so, or so since these escalators worked. We've been out, out of order for a while. Abandoned escalator. Now is this the end down here? Yeah, this used to be for regions. So we'll take a look in there and then that service corridor goes all the way to the other end and lets out, right? Yeah, it goes all the way into um uh I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, oh, it goes all the way into Belk. It goes into Belk? No, it goes to Belk. Okay, well, we're gonna go through both service corridors. Yeah, that used to be an anchor store. It used to be Parisians. Wow. That, uh, that elevator used to be a really nice one. Let's go in the service corridor. Wow. That goes outside and then it goes into another one, right? Mm -hmm. What does this say? Is the elevator... This elevator is out of order. Look at this. So you use the escalators. Use the escalators. Yep, this elevator's broken. You know what? If we go out here, see if that door's open before we go. Check the door. Okay. If it's open, we'll continue. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to go back into the mall. I would say we could go up this, but it's turned off. This mall is in sad shape. Where's the other service corridor go? Um, I think it goes into a uh, little area. Then it ends in the end room where the freight elevators. Well, let's go check it. Oh, I saw one person on the elevator over there. So this is all it is? Pretty much. I think this elevator is working. Let's see if this one works when we go upstairs. Really? Already turned off. See if you can open the door. Pull up on it. Is it heavy? Oh, look at this. I hate to say. Look at this. This one's wow. this one's busted too. Look. Wow. Look at this. It's like this used to work. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see. This elevator's broken too. Look. See. Wow. Wow. Another broken elevator. 
So yeah, this place has definitely gone downhill since the last time I've been here. How old? Yeah, they all used to work. This place is the, wow. So none of their service elevators back there work. So this ends down at Belk, right? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll go upstairs and look at the second floor. So we know those freight elevators don't work. So this is the, this is the only method of vertical transportation here. Yeah, in just a second, I want to walk down here. Okay. I want to finish exploring the first floor here. Right. This may be the last time we ever get to come in here. Maybe. Because, I don't know, it's not looking good. I mean, especially this wing right here. I don't even see why they're keeping this wing open. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. There's, there's like nothing here. There is nothing here. There is one escalator working in the whole mall. That escalator works right there. So yeah, there's Belk. And this is the whole first floor, so now we're gonna go to the elevator and go up. And I will get an elevator video and then I'll pick the video back up. We are in this dead mall in Columbia, South Carolina. And in this wing, there is not one store open. Not one store. There's the closed food court right there. What wing is this? The Northwest Wing. The Northwest Wing of Richland's Mall. Uh, we went back in the service corridor and two freight elevators to turn off. Let's see if this thing even works. Well, it lit up. So this is an elevator ride in a totally dead mall. Machine, machine rooms right over there. I think it's here. Wow, this thing works. I wonder if it's safe. Well, let's go up to three and see what happens. Here we go. There it goes, and that's it. Has anyone ever... Now we're gonna check out another service corridor here. As you can see, Belk is closed. Like I said, we are in a totally dead mall. There's not one soul or open store in here. We're gonna go back in the service corridor. So far we found two freight elevators here that are just broken. So we're going to see what's back here. Is this the three story? I think so. I think that's it. Let's see if it works. Moment of truth. Wow, it works. So 
so we had the door closed about to work, right? Throw a mash down on it. Before we go anywhere, turn the elevator's video light and get a view of the cab. Richland Mall, 5,000 pounds. Emergency light. Innovation. Now, don't do it yet, but when I tell you to send it up. All right, send it up to three. And we'll list the motor. And it just opens up into a room up here. This must be something with a the movie theater, see? Real 3D. All right, now, when you're ready, close the door and send it down to the first floor. Okay. You got really mashed down on the bottom. You got really mashed down on it. Now send it down to the first floor when you get ready. You can somewhat see the shaft. Personality. Go ahead and close it up. That's it. Oh, we are going in this building. We're going to see what's in here.
this thing. And this one has the plates, so you can't really see the mechanical workings of this one. Still, this is a nice paternoster. You can see this one's pretty flush here. See, there's not much of a gap there. And these floor plates are hinged. So yeah, I think the fourth floor is the top floor. I'm going to step off real quick, just show stepping on and stepping off. See, watch this, you just step off. Look at that, oh wow, you can see them going over, look. Pretty nifty. Hop on car seven. Here it comes. And we're on. These are pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this building. This is interesting. Now we'll hop off down here at the basement level. This is hopping off and down right here. Let's walk right down. And that is pretty cool. All right, y'all. Y'all ready for a treat. Guess what? We finally found the Schlieren elevator. And look at this. Very American looking. It's got the doors. Go down to K. K's locked. before go back down to the lobby One more ride. Love those buttons. There's that bug again.
Pretty epic. There goes Alex. Bye, Alex. Bye. This is some of the footage I shot live with Kone. Please excuse the way it is just stitched together as there were parts of the tour where they didn't want cameras. It was well, it's not so far. Alright guys, where are we going? They're going to Kona headquarters in Espoo, and to, Tut and to Tuturi, the test center in Lohja. In Lohja. Awesome. Are we going to have a good time? Yes, we're going to have, yes. gonna have an interesting day. This is going to be one. great. So yes. this is the start of this adventure, y'all. I'll be awake soon. All right, we are here in a test Don't tower worry. at Kone. Time to see everything so yes. We're going to ride yeah. an elevator. I watch this, it's going to come back down. They run up and down constantly. Here it comes. Look at this, look at these doors. Wow. Gonna go down to. Yeah, can you come? Where's the open? Open. Could you wait here for them? All of the jumping guys. So we go only down, but this is like uh, 12 meters down. Would you like to jump in? Uh, yes, sure. I'm jumping. Yeah, we'll go as well. We'll have plenty of time to get videos of these. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have a lot of time. Jumping. Oh, sorry. No problem. Hey, my man, you want to come back? Okay. Yes. Okay. No. Let's close the door. So we'll have plenty of time to ride this. Yes. So what are we doing now? We're just riding we the just elevator. Hop. One down and then I will take. Okay, there was a call. Was a, I will. So, uh, don't yeah. worry. I will film this one uh, after a while. So may I, maybe I'll get like it with you. I'd like to get it by myself. Okay. I mean, or you know. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Look at this man. Take it later as well because we will oh have time my to do it anyway. I propose if somebody would pick the, the level 30, 30. So let's go there. Three zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 27, 30, 33, 45. Uh, I don't get this. Is that the <laughs> I will let you know how the numbers come here. Oh. There's a good reason why they are they are. Hey, it seems like yes. this counterweight has a, 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 some kind of electric system. Control? No, sure. no, no, no. There's actually... The Are we getting off here? Yeah, we jump off. Yeah. All right. We will get back to here, so don't worry. All right. We will have time. Uh, so let's look at this place. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Welcome to Kone's High Rise Laboratory. Yes. Because I'm rolling the camera. Yeah. He's going. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is okay. Oh, nice design. Yeah, very nice. Nice. This is Mono 700. Do we, do we fit yeah, everybody fits in. Everyone can squeeze yes. in. I hope we don't get stuck. What 700 you meant? Mono 700. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mono 7. Oh, the latest yes. gold. EN81 waiting. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's pretty oh, the cameras can we okay. fit. <laughs> Everyone's got a camera. <laughs> everybody. I don't have. So. You feel like that? Uh, wait, wait. Someone give him a camera. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a bit kind of awkward. <laughs> And let's jump out. My camera has a light on it too. Okay. Oh, so let's follow. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait for me. I'm going to take a video. Yes. Yeah, we're waiting for you. It's okay. Huh? Who's going? Oh, okay. Hello, oh, guys. Wow. This one's bigger. Yeah, but this is only this is our service elevator, so this is only for us. How far down does this go? No, no, this is not. This is a low rise. It was like a 1980s uh, type of design. If you look to the lights, I know, but it. I insisted this kind of design. So. And especially the floor, I would say that. I, I like the diamond plate. Yeah, exactly. That that's my my kind of stuff. This traction? Yeah. No, it is normal normal rock elevator. Okay. This, that's what we do at Kone. So no hydraulics. Yeah. Now when we are in here, now I have to 
No, no bouncing away, they're all filming. Put the camera away. Wait, yeah. No, I'm not ready yet. I'll give you two, three seconds. <laughs> yeah, come down there. It's almost done. There it is. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's go. I'm, I'm holding it open. I'm holding it right here. Okay, we got full hand screen here. Come on, more. Okay, one, two, three, off we go. 12 meters down. No yeah. more than that. Yeah, 12 meters. That's nothing. <laughs> and there are the escalators. Right. And then we exit, exit. Then I have to cross check a couple of things before you come to your camera. <laughs> Staying back here. It's cool down here. It feels good in here. Now you can see the cave. That is cool. Oh, wow, that is cool. There's a nice escalator. Are you poor? No, just kidding. All right. We're good? Yes. Starts down. Awesome. This is the double decker. Look at this. Please do not touch the buttons. I would like to also do the double decker's other cabs. I mean, the two cabs. Would like to see the both. We will use. We will see the both. Yes. Both kind of cars. Cool, like a corner one. Hey, it's. Do her fixtures. Call button. Yeah. There we go. Oh my God. So if you kindly jump in. Doesn't fit. Priority right. service built in 2013. Let's see which one. Okay. One out of them there. That's 110 good. meters down. Yes. How fast does it go? Uh, this is 10. 10. Okay. 10. So they are running it most likely from the from the machine room. But how many floors down is that? Divide by four. Yeah, depending how. We, but we don't have floors in in. In the mine, no, that doesn't make sense. It's like a It's uh, altitude that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But um, the doors should be closed now. Tää kutsu nyt tätä. Saat se sieltä ylhäältä ajettu. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh. So this will run then. But this is so short trip, so we don't. Maybe it wasn't the maximum speed. No, 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 no. But if we jump out, we have a. If it will finally come out, mm -hmm. we will come back to this elevator. Don't worry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 door open, door open. I need to oh. take it from here. I oh, the was. Yeah. Wow, wow. wow it, is. it feels good in here. Guys, here's a glass window to the shaft. So they will run down the element. There's a couple of passbys oh, right. in here. What are those? Are those inverters? No, 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 no. We, you know that. If you notice, if you take your mobile phones, they are working for you. Okay. Uh, this is a mine. So don't worry, it will take two times at least the ride. Oh right. my god. So we'll get another ride. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave. This is in a way a safety glass, so, so don't worry. Yeah, okay. Is it not 
so it's coming. The closer you are, the better we Holy cow, that's fast. Cow. My god, that was like a bullet. Oh, damn. These are fast elevators. High speed. It would be nice to see the, the other cab on the double decker. Now it's going to come back. Let's see. We're going to watch an elevator pass by really fast. Really, really fast. It's getting ready to come up here. Here it comes. How many meters per second? Not yet, because it's still accelerating. Is impressive. Steel ropes and then the art rope. So this is the and the load bearing capacity is the same. It's so light as a feather. That's the difference. So this tells us. We don't have this passive armor, did we? have to do it. Yes, we do. It's exactly like this. What? It's heavy. exactly like it. It's in here. Oh, so this is. Uh, it, it's exactly like this is a real specimen. It's a real one. So what we do, so what we do is that uh, when we, it's easier to show because there's light. So when we do, it's exactly the same phenomenon as I'm using here. So with the steel ropes, if we bend it too tight, yeah, it actually breaks. Yes. This does, of course, if I break it over a certain point. And now the, the theory is that to know what is the diameter, that you can have it in here. What is the radius? So for the, for the uh, MX32, we have 550 millimeters is the diameter. And actually, what is, that's not actually the key thing, what is the diameter. The key thing is that how does it fit actually to our hosting system? So is it in a way compatible with the, let's call it steel row configurations? And this is, and that's of course the key. So they are kind of interchangeable. So an elevator uh, that has had steel ropes, and it's of, let's say, mid, mid or high rise, we can change quite that easy. quite easily because the hoisting, in a way, uh, 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 geometry doesn't change. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty. That's, so that's I important. can bend that 108 degrees in 55 centimeters. Yes, that's it's the pretty way. That's Yes, yes. But it feels so stiff. I know, it feels, it, it feels like that. It's not possible. But the more you use it, the more it's flexible and sweet. Maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our secrets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, I think we will be We could do a repeat card also, making sure that uh, we don't miss the lunch. And we will have more of the repeat if I now take you to the level of 350, how about then we need this element? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Should I call it? No, no, it's okay. Because they are running it from the 
Actually, four of us. Um, we'll like the so we call it like that. He's literally calling the elevator. The latest technology, that's the latest technology right there. Yeah. <laughs> US technology, Motorola. So. Yes. This is the latest of the, this this is their high tech digital, elevator call digital, system. Digital, of course. This is their high tech elevator call system right here. Yeah. See? It's a mobile call station. Exactly. He calls it and here in just a second the door will open. Yeah, it's very personalized, you know. And it, it, it's Kone's new effort at personalized elevator service. Yeah. <laughs> Has it talked back to you yet? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh, Paul. Oh, my God. Sounds like it didn't respond to your call. <laughs> well, I was a bit too late. It was already kind of running. <laughs> yeah, but now, but now I think it's now coming back. Yeah. And remember, we have more than five people working in here, so they need to elevate time to time. Yep. What's that other elevator in there? It's coming. Here it arrives. Watch it level. We took the lower cab. Was that the upper cab we took? Uh, this, oh, this one's a different cab. Oh, yeah. Yes. Beautiful material. This is beautiful. This one's this nicer. Lower cab. Yep, this is the lower cab. Look at this. 2013. Wow, beautiful design. I like the lighting. Persons. Quite sophisticated. You have everybody on board. I don't want to lose anybody. Everybody. Seems like uh, you are used to this high speed elevator. Yeah. So going all the way I mean, down. Yeah. Me. Yeah. 350 meters underground. <laughs> well, it, it feels in my belly. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's be quiet so we can hear it. Let's be quiet. Enjoy the ride. All right, here we go. Got to take the course. Sorry, no, I'm a bit slow with this one. Are you feeling? Great. Here we go. Let's listen. Let's listen. That's a fast elevator. All right. Uh, Good to have you. Yeah. Whew. That was dizzy in there. That was insane. We heard that. Too bad it's not glass. <laughs> it's a bad glass. All right. So now this is the level 350. And of course we have a pit here and it's 12 meters. It's the, the kind of like depth of the pit. And uh, the buffers, we have a, they are like uh, 90 meters of height, so that's almost like a building. All oh, the buffers get yeah. so plus eight, so <laughs> that's the reason why yeah. I have to create that. But everybody's wearing it. We stay, now really the radius of five meters, don't go next to that. So. We're like 90 stories underground. Something like that. Yes. So, that's like crazy. That, yeah. Yeah. The marina place that's a problem. Is that it? No. Is, is that it? An eight view? Yeah. We are 90 stories underground. What's happening? We are in a limestone mine and we are 90 stories.
stories underground. Yep. 300, I think he said 350 meters. Yep. So it, it feels good in here. Feeling cold? Yeah, it's cold in here. All right, now we are out of the mine. This is a beautiful place where to where to show. You see, totally dry rock in here. This is normal. Totally wet. This is normal, normal as well. And, and you can see the bottom line is in here. So what they call that they are so-called veins in the rock. And, and, and they can be really, really small the veins. And it's actually taking the water out. This is ground water, what you see here. This is normal. This is, you know, we don't have a leakage in here, don't worry. This is the normal condition in a mine. And like I said, here they don't have you now the base in here. So this is totally fine. And, and that actually, of course, makes our, 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 our shafts look a bit ugly from outside, but from inside they are dry. Mm -hmm. So we actually pumping air there in order to keep them dry. So that, that's how it goes. Yeah. Let's go back to the level 110, if that is okay for you. All right. And yes. Continue over here. May I have you? Yes. On board. Yes. Uh, Already here. Oh, yeah. huh? if I got the real level in system. Yeah. Remember that this is a test elevation. This is not the normal normal elevation. Okay. Is everybody on board? Everybody are, yes. I think so. So back to 110. That tells you. Oh, yeah. So we go to the same floor where we actually stepped in, where was the window. And I could show you quickly, quickly the mine museum, just that you get the glimpse of that one as well, before we, we then con continue by having a lunch and then continue with all the other, other wow. things. Wow. So fast even pops your ears going up. Yeah, you yeah. have to swallow too. <laughs> this is a great elevator. Yep. So we're very smooth too. So we're 110 I meters the design uh, as well. uh, under the... Yeah, the floor 110. The ride quality okay. of this elevator is amazing. Yep. But, uh, and even for, I mean, even being a test elevator, I mean, it's as quiet as can be. All right, Ken, hey, uh, would you like to have a look at my Sure. Okay. And they're, they're actually, it's, it's a public museum. So there might be other groups as well. So again, let's try to stay like a, within a radius of, I don't know, five meters that we don't get mixed. So uh, it's, it's a mine museum that is in a way kept up. Now we are in the mine museum. This is still pretty neat. You see? This is still pretty neat here. Yeah, this is nice, exactly. So yeah. always when, when they take uh, visitors in here, it's hosted uh, by a guide. Stick to the elevator. Got a door and a door. Yeah. And again, mind your steps. Mind, mind, mind. Watch out. What do you think about this, Alex? It's really impressive. It's really inspiring. I feel enriched by this experience. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying it. 
then we can talk what we would want to see. And what's the next thing? Okay. So, we want to fill the rest of the hour. Yeah, we want to. So we got the upper car. I think so. Let's see. The upper one is the steel one. We have the upper car. Yeah, no. But it's again. So, Andrew, what are you filming? Yeah. When you film, and the elevator, what, what, what do you film? Well, I try to document the whole elevator experience. I mean, when you're in a crowd, it's, it's open. It's open. Not even good. It's hard to do when you're in a crowd. Please, the sensors does not work. This is like a service elevator. This is a service elevator, definitely. The other oh, one. the service car. The other one's yeah. pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's, let's go up. Uh, oh, I'll sit for the guitar, please. What does it say? It just shows how much... Meters behind the ground. This is actually floors, just to mix you up, guys, in here. <laughs> we haven't changed the numbering in here, because oh, we are not God. testing the signalization. So, oh, yeah. every time when we make kind of modification, we change also the signalization. Yeah. So, uh, uh -huh. all right, here we are. Here we are. Right, go on. Yeah. All right, here we are. All right. Yes. I just released it. All I was talking just a couple of months ago we, we uh, opened our, our extension and in total we have here seven IFIX shafts. So earlier I heard you talking about uh, uh, testing of the LED elevators. Talk a little bit more about that. Okay, so it's a, it's a long story but I, I try to make it short. Okay, testing, we, we actually verify various uh, uh, aspects and behaviors of an elevator. And maybe the most important is the right comfort and how actually the, the passengers feel in the elevator. That's the key thing. But of course, we are also uh, testing and verifying speed, reliability. In this location, we are also, also verifying installation methods for high rise applications and the maintenance. Okay. Uh, what, what, what do people uh, that come to visit this place, what, what, what do they usually think? Ah, it would be easier to say what they are not interested in, but of course, riding the elevators, that's the key, and, and get a chance to do a ride in here. But uh, let's be honest as well, because we are in the mine, this is an active mine, also to have an opportunity to see what is in the mine, and if it would be take a quick kind of a, a sneak to the, to the mine as well. So what, what, uh, what do you think is the most interesting aspect about uh, elevators? Of course, like like say, it's the kind of a people, how people, how the passengers feel, comfortable, safe, and they in a way feel that the, that the, it makes the, the good kind of a feeling when they are making a, a, a when they move about in the big building from one place to another. That's definitely the key. But okay, I'm an engineer. Yes, I like like also also the, the kind of mechanics and electronics and software that is behind that behavior. And. Uh... Do you, do you have any, uh, anything, uh, I'm wondering, do, do you have any questions that you think I should ask you? Uh, oh, we got you on this side of the door. Here's an escalator. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. We did some tests last week and they are not in a way operational at the moment. This one comes? Okay, I'll suppose. All right, there you go. Hey, hold on. Uh, host, we have 30. Okay, okay. 30. Yep. What are they doing? No, no, with the, with the other elevator. We're taking the other one? No, it doesn't make any difference, oh, okay. you know. All the elevators go to the same oh, place. Oh, they go to the same place. So, and again, let's 
talk upstairs that what would you like to see next? Time. Yeah, that would be fine. While we are having the lunch. Is the only difference between those two are the design? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is neat. Off we go. I like the screen. We go actually a bit from My there. hotel has Kone elevators. Okay. It's a good hotel there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they had a good choice in elevator. All right, so now we are up here at the top, and here comes the rest of the crowd. And I think we're going to eat lunch. All right, now, so what kind of elevator is this that's, one? This is Mono 700 elevator. Mono 700. Exactly. And 45 is the floor. 45. That's now. the lowest. Now the here's the most. Here. here we go now. Watch this. We'll go back one, to one. 27 and 27 because, yeah, because we were actually in a moment ago the, the, the meeting room is in the oh, okay. cool. so This is very there. small. This is like a yeah. It's not really a floor, it's more like a stop. We'll switch it then yeah. that stop. Wow. Yeah. The other one has a better view. Like you see, it's like a, here we go. Very smooth. This one, and then we Oh good. We, and by the way, here you can see the open slope. So that's the original oh, wow. part of the line. So when they did that. That's neat. Now when we get down to the bottom, can we get off and watch of the elevator yes. go up? Of course. Because these these now what model is this one right here? This is big mono. Big mono big space? Mono. Yes. And there is the eco disc. That's an amazing product right there. I like these doors. We mainly use this nowadays, 45 again. So we mainly use this for, like I go back behind your back, so. All right. So again, we use this mainly for, let's say, service type of bar. Uh, so this is not really a kind of, a, how should I say, exhibition or, but uh, of course this is available. It's still like, nice. Yeah, it's still, yes. I love the doors. I push the button then to the, back to the, can we, if you wish. Can we watch it go up? Yes, I just want to watch it from back it here. So we can watch yeah, it yeah, here. Yeah. Watch these. Oh, cool. It's got two to one roping. So you run these up and down constantly, right? These are on a, yeah, th these run 24-7 all the time. So, yes, we got the call. So, otherwise, they are just running, and if, if you, in a way, push the button at the wrong time, it makes it kind of a pre-scheduled ride, and then it serves us. So it can be 27. 27. So okay. going back to the, going back to the, very top motion. Aesthetics of this cab as well. Yeah. I like these doors. And this is a really neat elevator. Now we'll watch it depart. Let's see where it goes. I don't know, does it go up or down? Depending on that. It's a 50 50 chance. Yeah, more or less. Or then it stays. <laughs> it goes down. There it goes.
We are here in the lobby of Kone. And what are we going to do here at Kone? We're going to ride some elevators. I wonder what kind of elevator it is. Ooh, let's find out. It's a Kone. Surprise, surprise. We're in the first floor. Kone's office building. We have destination dispatch elevators. But these elevators, unfortunately, are very busy. I'm just showing you how the destination dispatch works. See, you would get on that car and you would go to 16. But guess what we have? We have an elevator and independent service here. And to make it go, you simply press the button, hold it down till the doors close. And here we go. Here we're up in 16 where you can see they have a beautiful rooftop up here. They can come up here and have picnics and parties and breaks at work. Now we're going to take it back down to the first floor and look out the window again. Can you do me a favor and press 16, hold it down until the doors close, and then we'll go up. Now we're going to be looking up. While we're up here, I'm going to take a look at the elevator itself. Do you know what year these were done? These were just recently modernized, right? That's correct. These are from 2000 and... Let me look at the buttons, please. These are from 2000 and what? I think 11, if I'm not mistaken. Right now we'll take this down and let someone else have it. Here we are back down at one, and since it's in priority service, it's time for the next rider. We are here in Kirkwood, Missouri. I just got shocked by your car. Wow, you got shocked by my car. Very shocking. And we are, after he just got shocked by my car, <laughs> this may be shocking too. We are outside of 325 North Kirkwood. No trip to St. Louis is not complete without checking up on this beautiful old Dover rotary elevator. So let's go in here and take a look. It's right down here at the end of the hall. We all know what's down here. Is it been modded? Is it still original? Have they done anything to it? Here is the moment of truth. Because there it is. Right there waiting for us. That's right, the old Dover elevator, rotary elevator, 325 North Kirkwood. They put this on here. This is required so someone can't get caught between the car and get crushed by it moving. I do like the mirror. Let's get a look here, a thousand pounds. Still got our armor buttons here. It smells good in here. It so does. Jason, down press the ground floor.
Open the door. Now are you ready to hear this amazing motor? Let's hear it. This is one of the best hydraulic motors I've ever heard. It's a piston pump. So let's listen to this going up to the top floor. Here we go. elevator is amazing. Now we'll go back down to ground and when we get back down here we'll do a silent trip. So what do you think about this elevator Jason? This has to be one of my favorite elevators in St. Louis. It's a must see if you come here. Yeah it's a nice it's a small elevator but it's pretty nice. And we have a little bit of classic leveling here which we'll show when we go up. Just a little bit. Now we'll take a silent round trip. And I'll let you have this side if you want. And here we go. Let's listen. So before we go back up to one, pretty epic. Now watch going up in the mirror. All right, here we go. As we go up to the top of one, here we go. And here we are, where they have an old freight elevator, but wait till you see what's inside. It's an old Otis elevator. I told you. Yeah, I think this was from the 20s. Yeah, we'll ride the passenger one. Still appears to be on the original controller, but not a fan of this, are you? No. Let's get a look at the elevator. Definitely a freight elevator. Yeah. I think, according to the records, this was from 1920. Let's listen to it. Slow enough.
the door. All right, now let's go see. All right, that shut the door. There we go. That was pretty cool. Let's go look at the passenger elevator here. The service elevator was cool. Now we'll see what this one is. What do we have here? Otis, I don't know what's inside. We'll find out. This may be a treat. Too bad that roto dial doesn't work, but listen to those chains. Let's see what this is. Wonderful. Oh, yuck. This is wonderful. Oh, it's a crappy fan. Original controller? Yep. Be. Yeah. No phone. Wow. Just a alarm. The fan kind of sucks. This elevator's a lot faster than the other elevator. Yeah, that freight is pretty slow. Well, that was kind of a disappointment. Oh well. Do you know where any more old elevators are around here? That button though. Uh, 2018 was a very busy and amazing year both for Elevate Tours and my personal life. Uh, it started off with spent New Year's in St. Louis with Jason. Upon return from St. Louis, I went to Atlanta to go to locomotive engineer training with Norfolk Southern, which is what I'm doing now, locomotive engineer. And while I was there, got quite a few videos. Upon my return, my friend Alex from Copenhagen came to hang out with me. We explored Roanoke and the surrounding areas and also went down to North Carolina. Then in the summer, me and Jason took two trips. One, we went out to the middle of nowhere, Kansas, to see this amazing residential elevator. And then we went up to Minnesota to see some friends up there and Minnesota Elevator. 2018 was a good year. And also, the Elevate Tours Elevator Museum really started taking off that year, too. Four degrees Fahrenheit outside, and we're going to do a cold start of the 1988 Cadillac Brome. Carbureted Oldsmobile 307 engine. Let's see what the actual temperature gauge says here. We'll turn it on and see what it says. Put it outside temperature. Negative one. Wow, it's negative one degrees. Let's see how this thing starts below zero. A little prime for a good time. Here we go. And that is a start at zero. It was negative one at first, now it's zero. It started right up. I don't believe it. Wow. Now as a bonus, we're gonna cold start the 2009 Honda Civic. I think this is 2009. We'll see how this car starts up and let it run. Let's see what the temperature is on this car. Fuel injected, no priming needed. Oop. It says it's three degrees, but still cold. Let's see how this starts. It starts right up too. 
All right, y'all, this is the service elevator in the basement of the Hyde Hotel in Atlanta, and hopefully it'll come. Oh, here it is. Look at this. It's an Otis with Peely doors, and it's quite busy, so we may have some company along for the ride. Before we go, it's pretty nice for a freight elevator. It's got hand-operated doors. Even though you got door closed, they're not powered. There's Eric over there. So here we go, and there's Patrick. We're going to take a really quick ride on this thing because it's probably pretty busy. Someone may call it when we shut the door. Here we go. It's pretty fast. And look at this. The loading dock is right there. And someone is coming on. We got a rider on. Come on in. What you bringing me? Nothing. Nothing. No goodies? No, no goodies. Just dumped all the trash. All right. Getting ready to try to make it home. Which one are you trying to go to? Uh, L2. I'll take you down there first. Yeah. Oh, you can press the L2. I'll go along for the ride. Okay. Somebody getting on? No, no one's getting on. I send it down to L2. Here we go. It'll go. Just takes about a couple seconds to time out. Oh. Here we go. Good. Try and get up out of him. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good day. What y'all uh, bring in? Well, I do YouTube elevator videos. His dad, uh, he's friends with the hotel manager. Oh, really? Yeah. And well, he, welcome to the Hyatt, Atlanta GA. But it's a great hotel with great people that work here. Yeah. And this you is very one of them. Much. Yeah, have a good day. All right, have a good one. I got you. Awesome. You Automatic do door. Your, let you do your family. We'll holler at you. Have a good one. You too, sir. All right. Now we'll go back up to LD1. Here we go. Here we are back up at LL1. Where I don't have a door operator. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> nice okay. And there it goes. And that will be it. A big thanks to this guy right here for putting me in touch with the right people. I'll be right back, guys. Let's see here. Oh, this one, classic levels. All right, we're gonna take a quick trip up. Here we go. Hopefully you bypass the lobby. That is a ride up in the fog, y'all. I'll go back down to the bottom. Hopefully we won't get stopped. Your classic leveling and there it goes and that will be it 
here it is. We are going to ride the elevator up to Polaris. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are up at the player sled. Come on in. Oh, come on in. No, we're, we're just taking a ride. Come oh, on. you're just riding? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm going down to 24. Go to the secret floor? It's, it's a secret floor, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Get an it's, a, it's not even really a floor, it's actually just a stairwell. Oh, yeah, cool. Let's, get, look at this. Just, just right at, literally. We're stopped where we can get a view. So you get. So this is like behind the scenes. <laughs> behind the scenes, yeah, exactly. Cool. Have a go, sir. Look at this. I've never seen this point of view before. I've done it before. What do you think? And now we are back in the hotel. This is a John Portman building. We are back in the lobby. It's got an indicator up there, indicator there. These are the buttons. And there it goes. All right, we are in the King building now. It used to be really nice hot in elevators, but they got this. This group serves floor 20 through 32. Please press again when you hear your destination. 32. Car M. Where's the M? Uh, right. All right. Well, we're about to see. This is in handicap mode. Oh, wow. Look at that interior decoration. All right. Here we go. Again, these used to be vintage hauntings. Let's see how this does. Get out here and hit the lobby. It's on this panel. Same car. Going down the same car. We're just checking out the lobby. Yeah. We're going back down. <laughs> Have a good weekend. People are friendly here. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the security guard on the way out. Again, look, we've got a beer, and there's the security camera. Hey. All you got is those buttons right there. Very, very interesting. That is fast. Wow. That is fast. I'm going to ask them about these. Watch out. And, right. oops, I'm going to get off. There it goes, and that'll be it. All right, y'all, we are here in the lobby of the 707 building. This right here is going to be probably the final ride on this elevator because look what's happening to them. That's right, they're being modernized. So with that being said, we'll take us a final ride on this elevator. Look at that lantern. All right, here we go. Coming up to five. Five, the button already went out.
Wonder what's gonna happen to these buttons. Listen to that cowbell. Well, if you're gonna haul that out. And there goes that elevator. And as you can tell, Otis is working on this elevator right here. This will be the new elevator.
original machine. Here's the old machine. This one has a rope gripper. So yeah, this is the machine room in the 707 building. Oh, and down the ladder over here are the controllers. Disincrupt did this at one point. Look at this right here. I don't know if he's going to ride the elevator again, but... There's the selector. So yeah, this is... Pretty nifty here. Old Otis equipment. Or I mean old Dominion equipment. So hope you enjoyed it. Alright, we are in a private residence here in Kansas, and we have Scott here. How are we doing? We're doing great, and his wonderful dad. What are we here to see? We're gonna look at a uh, 1939 Shepard elevator, and uh, then we'll have a special treat after that with a uh, 1920 car elevator. This is gonna be awesome. Before we ride the elevator, let's take a look around. This right here is a, this is your residence, right? That's correct. This is his kitchen, and the cool thing about this residence, look at this high ceiling and the beautiful work on the ceiling. Now we're going to pan over here. He's got the old Esso sign. Wonderful Lazy Boy couch. And a nice projection TV. But what's over here next to the TV? I got Jason. What's over there next to the TV? Elevator. Let's take a look at it before we move it down. It's not just any elevator. It's an old Shepherd home lift. There's the logo. All right, bring it down.
This is the controller, right? Yes. Yeah, all of Awesome. Now, Scott here is going to show us some of the safeties he's put on this thing. Yeah, so so really, uh, most of the safety on this elevator is actually integral to the original design. Uh, so we've got a we've got a few things we can look in the front here and uh, talk a little bit about safety. And and uh, we talk about safety. We've got a uh, we've got a door interface lockout. This this actually uh, keeps power from going to the elevator when the door is open. The elevator is disabled. This will prevent this will prevent somebody from from uh, running the elevator down and leaving the door open, so somebody can't walk into the. This is the original running cam right here too. Right, and and so uh, the the uh, not only is that a power disable to keep someone from running the elevator down. Secondary, that becomes a door lock interface. So once the elevator's down, you can't open this door. From a from a safety aspect, I'm going to just stop it here. That's actually with his final limit switch. So that that yeah. So we've got two means of stopping as the elevator comes up. There's a first and primary stop, which is intended to be the stop height of the elevator. This is just an override. In the event the first step fails, the second the second switch would would be activated. But the first switch is on the back side of that, and you'll see a little cam kind of come up there. Yeah, I guess the wood blocked it. But but anyway, so you've got you've got two means of stopping. The uh, other thing that I want to show you will be inside. I'm going to run this thing down a little bit, and uh, we'll get it down to a certain level. And I'm just going to override stop it here, since nobody's in there to stop it for us. So we can look in the top of the car. You got two relays, one up, one down. So as we come in here and we look in the top of the car, we're gonna see several things. Number one, you see switches, you see a switch on this side. Same thing over here. These switches are actually what ties to that uh, stop down below, which you seen earlier. And, and so those are actual uh, stop switches for the, for the down. Secondary safety, which is actually really cool, there's a second set of switches in here. And what these switches go to, they go to this torque shaft. So if either one of these chains, and they're independent, if either one of these chains were to get slack, say the cart bound up or anything like that happens, 
this will rock. As soon as that rocks, it will hit the switch and disable power to the elevator, which basically renders it useless because something's malfunctioning on it. If in the event one of these chains came loose, say a key, something dropped for whatever reason, this thing will snap down, this torque shaft comes across, and down inside of here, there's another safety device that actually wedges itself and it will really, the harder you push down on the elevator, the tighter that will get. So it would prevent a free fall situation. I could literally come in here and torch these two chains and this, this elevator, it'll, it'll move just a few inches, jam up and stop. That's in the based track. on Otis Elevator's original safety device. Uh, okay. So yeah, this, this is a pretty epic elevator you have here. Let me Thanks. get a close up of that plate in there. Watch slide in there with the uh, information on it. Let's see, I'll have to use the zoom lens to see if I can read that. So yeah, this is a pretty epic elevator here. Here it comes up. A big thanks to Scott and his wonderful dad for showing us this elevator. One other thing I'm going to show you, uh, I don't, uh, I don't presently uh, have the the uh, nut on the front that this handle would interface to. But in the event of a uh, of a total power failure or a elevator failure, what they did back in the day, this cover panel, this cover panel would have been on the on the front up here, which we've got all this exposed for the video, but. You can hand down. crank it down. You would you would have had a a uh, hole in there where you'd put this thing through, and I'm told about 600 turns will take it down, but uh, it would be exhausting. But that's that's what this was for. Yeah, so you can hand crank and wind it by hand. So yeah, this is what the door up here looks like, all put together. Beautiful ornate wood. The door's original from 1936, right? That's correct. Yeah. All right. All right, this is uh, NEI's MRL elevator. We saw this a while back, but we're going to get another good look at this thing. And today we have Steve's brother. Yeah, taking Ron. Us. Ron is taking us today. He looks a lot like Steve. Do you see the resemblance? <laughs> and this is Doug, a longtime friend and follower. And then we got this weirdo right here. Don't pay attention to him. There's a camera on top of the elevator. <laughs> This right here, that is the unit up there, MRL unit. What kind of unit is that? What's that? What kind of unit is That's that? That's a Hollister Whitney. Hollister Whitney. And this camera, well, Steve told me what this camera was for before. But, uh, it's basically to, don't quote me on it, but to, yeah, you're going to quote me on it. <laughs> So that you can monitor the position of the elevator from the machine room if you were ever to lower it. Oh, okay. To evacuate people, you can monitor the position of where the elevator's at. Cool. Arm bell. Those are the car top controls. Still EC controller. Twenty fourteen. Make sure that. This is a nice unit. What do you think of this? Pretty awesome. <laughs> Did you want to get on top quicker? Sure. If they start banging on the door, we might have to probably just hold 
All right. Here we go up. Going up. Stay clear. In the clear. We're going to get a look at this unit. Over here is the governor. Hollister, well, this is all Hollister witness stuff. Correct. With the EC controller. I think it's a pixel controller. Can you take a second a picture for me of that machine? Of the machine, man? There's Doug. There's the machine. And you can send me the picture, Jason. All right. This is two to one underslung, right? Correct. Two to one underslung. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Have you ever been on an MRL elevator before? I've been on an MRL, not I mean, on top of one. <laughs> no, you've never been on top of an elevator. No. Is this your first time on top of an elevator? Yeah. What do you think? It's cool. Can you hold this real quick? Absolutely. Just filming. I'm just gonna get my camera out. I'm going to snap a couple pictures with my son. Pretty cool. There you go, sir. Of course, there's the refuge space, and we are all safe here, so. You want to go down? Whenever you're ready, you can move the car. Are you ready, Jason? Yep. In the clear. Here we go. All right, now we will exit the elevator. Be careful, Jason. Right. The obstacle, of course. Do you all want to go up in the machine room? Sure. Nice. Now he's going to put this thing back on regular service, right? Gotcha. He's going to bring it up using the access switch. I've been on top of a Tissan Crop Isis before. Survived. Yeah, because uh, the same place I got that old freight station for, I knew the guy that owned the building. He said, he actually said, he said, um, he said, don't break. He said, never mind, I don't care if you break it, just don't get hurt. He, he, I was the only one in the building at the time, too. Everybody's waiting for the elevator downstairs. What's that? Everybody's waiting for the elevator. Yeah, we're just tuning her up for you. Oh, there, she's in ship shape. We'll Alright, let's go greet the mob. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the machine room. Let those guys go to the floor first. Let's go to the machine room upstairs. Let's wait. Alright. Oh, okay. There, they can have the elevator back. And they can have it back. He can go make up the story. Alright. <laughs> that was cool. Mm -hmm. This is. I can't get in here very easily. Wasn't this a hydraulic? This is a kind of a unique elevator. So this once upon a time was a traction elevator. And then we remodeled it years ago and turned it into a hydraulic, right? Mm -hmm. So, but when we did the remodel and turned it into a hydraulic, we retained the counterweight rails and some of the counterweights in the cables. So we actually have a counterweighted hydro, which was able to it decreased the diameter of the piston for the column strength and decreased the horsepower of the motor because it was counterbalanced with the existing counterweights. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. counterweighted hydro. GL but sadly, you said that this elevator doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that's been de it's not totally decommissioned. Well, it's been pretty much decommissioned because 
there was a lot of code upgrades need to be done. So right now it's kind of sitting in limbo. But not usable to the public. So. I like these tiles. This is cool. We repurpose the machine. Oh, excuse me. Who are you? Ron. What? Who are you? Ron with Minnesota Elevator? Oh. Where well, there was an elevator, guys. Sorry. Yeah, we checked in at the basement. There's a line about 10 feet long, and I'm like, okay, I think we figured enough. But yeah, somebody I else? I didn't know. I just didn't know who you were, and I didn't okay. know what was going on. Well, sorry about that. <sighs> you want some oxygen here? No, that's fine. You feel better now? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> sorry about that. He popped over some kids just messing around yeah. with the elevator. <laughs> never been up here before. So this is a repurposed kind of machine. This is the machine room for the original rope hydraulic we just talked about, kind of the, the corner we did hydraulic. Wow, the hydraulics are up on the top. Yeah, because this, remember, that one we looked at that's been shut down? Yeah. That used to be a traction machine that sat up here. You can kind of still see some. You can see where it was bolted. Yeah. So we took the traction out and we put the hydro in. So that's the controller for the other elevator, right? For the one we wrote on the MRL. This is for the, the old one. This is the old Relay Logic controller, Virginia Relay Logic controller. Virginia? Yeah. Yep, Virginia elevators. Richmond, that's my stopping ground. Mm -hmm. 1982. You see the back with all the wiring here? I gotta take a picture of this. Yeah. Go ahead, there comes up. Hand up and square, go ahead and push. They're getting modded. These elevators are being modded, y'all. Are they? Yeah, look. Oh, they are. We caught these just in time. Oh. Here, let me see the buttons. Oh. What? This is not right. All right. We'll have to try the other car. It's being modded. Mm-hmm. Look how many floor numbers are on there. Down to a lower. Oh, wait, that we'll try to down a lower level. I think these are being modded as we speak. Yeah. They run really nice. Bottom drive. Yeah. The other car made your own. Send them out the four. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, look. Oh, this is mine. Look at that. See, call, or press. Oh, they're both being out. They are both, okay, press the call. Hennepin Square is being modded. This is all you get to see is the call button. I'm going to see if I can find the Otis Techs. I don't even know if they're here today. I'm going to leave contact info here. Yeah, look, here's the new button. Yep. Let me see if there's any. Nah, it's just weights and stuff in there. This elevator is being modernized. I want to see if I can find Otis, but anyway. All right, well, I guess I'll end my video down here. All right. Otis first. This used to be identical to that one, and they ripped that one out. That's a vintage Otis. This Nico disc? Yes. Cool. Now we're going to see when we get upstairs what this replaced. We're going to ride that here in just here a second. It's a nice elevator, but someone broke the alarm bell. All right, now that we're up on four, we're going to call this elevator up. Watch this. Do you have a flashlight? Sucks 
Alright, open the door. Yep, Jason gets to mess with doors. Alright, before we go anywhere, we're going to get a look at the elevator. This is a pretty cool elevator, y'all. Oh, this capacity 8,000 pounds. And today we have Matt with Hello. us. And there's Matt Jason. Close the door. All right. <laughs> Let me look at the buttons. Epic elevator buttons. And my battery's going dead. Okay, ready? So go, let me get the back. Here we go. Let's listen to it. Ready? Yep. Two speed. This is a train. <laughs> Let me look at this real quick. Elevator capacity, 8,000 pounds. So they have that bell to warn people that are sticking their heads in to watch out. All right, now so get their... let me get the back and send it back up to four. All right, ready? Here we go. Got the leveler. I want to take it down here. here. Do you have a flashlight? I'm going to use one in just a Look second. Straight up, we can see down the shaft. Now we're going to look up the shaft with a video light. But my battery is going dead, so I don't know what we're going to see. Oh, wow. All right, press the button for four, please. Two to one rope, and look at that. Is the counterweight behind the elevator on or on the side? side? Or... What side? That side? Other side. All right, this side? Um, yeah, right. All right, now send it down to the basement. <laughs> This is an epic elevator here, and go ahead and open the door. Or do you want to end up at one? I would go back up to four probably. All right, let's go to four and end. Easiest to get the windows. This elevator has a power door, and there's the door there's operator. The door operator. Here we go. All 
right now we're gonna watch the elevator close up. All right. Uh, Automatic close. Don't even have to press. The, oh, look at this. Open that door one more time. I want to see something. Look at this. It goes on top of the car. Yes, like folding. That is epic. Now, will this car run with the door open? I will not. All right, and there it goes. And look at this. It has another door here. Look, I don't That's know. That's the fire door. Yeah, this door right here. Watch this. You can close this door too. All right, now. Go ahead and can you demonstrate that door, please? That is cool. All right, that'll be it. Look at this. Want to call it out? Call yeah. it up. This elevator's epic. He's gonna call us up. Yeah. As soon as the door closes, I'll hit the button. Look at this. Look, there's the car key. This is a cool elevator. Come on, guys. All, All right, right, here we go. We'll be back. Downstairs, we're gonna go down one floor. So we're gonna down one floor. Look at this Westing Hill. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, we said I said it down. Oh, I thought you said it down before. Westing House in lock. This motor on this thing's epic too. Yeah. Well, it's old. Look at the guy with this stuff. Here it comes. Go ahead. Yeah, Jacob's gonna take her ride now. Here comes the car.
listen to it. Like a bump. One? Yep, you're at one. Thank you. Look at this. Look how old this is. Alright. I turned it on. Going down? Uh-huh. Come on in. We're just taking a picture of the elevator. This thing's old. Yeah. Look, you used to have a window in the door. We're not going to get you on the camera, don't worry. Oh, I ain't worried about it. I'm just trying to figure out what y'all doing it for. Oh, we take, we're elevator enthusiasts. We like old elevators. Oh, okay. This is from the 1940s. Oh, is it? Uh, yep. Wait, am I real? Yep, this elevator's from the 1940s. Oh, so, uh, He need to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice day. You have a nice day. Take one more ride, and then we'll take some pictures. Except door operator. What do you think about this thing? Do you know that fan was in? Look at that. Oh, cool. Alright, no one's waiting. What's that? Alright, let's see down the wall. That's that's right there. Alright, this place was worth coming in. Yeah. This is how you mount an elevator right here. You can hear the motor. That fan sucks. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, so. This yeah. elevator is really epic. logic. Alright, this is an amazing elevator. Yep. Too bad the rotor valve doesn't work. Yeah, someone broke it is what happened. 2019 was another great year for Elevate Tours. Me and Jason went to Texas and Oklahoma. Had a great trip there. Um, I bought my new house. Peely Door Company took me to their factory up in Canada. That was an awesome experience and you'll see some footage of that in these clips. Also, Evan arranged some awesome tours with VDOT of a tunnel and a bridge. You will get to see the elevator from the bridge in these next clips as well. So, get ready for some more unreleased material. We have found another elevator. It's Press down. Press up. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. You want to go too? Listen, I'm staying in the back. You know, that's one of the oh, smoothest you, elevators. One more? That's one of the smoothest oh, elevators I've ever heard. Look at this, Adams. I'm going to show you. Look at this interesting. So let's listen to going down. Listen to the motor Look start at up. how busy it is. Alright, listen, this is epic. Oh, this is a nice over. Shut up, What? 12,000 pound capacity. 
<laughs> it has eyeballs on it. Oh. That's quite the busy panel. Though. It's an elevator four. Yeah, there's multiple elevators here. All right, there it goes. Yes. This is an epic Dover elevator at the Art Museum in St. Louis. A huge, huge elevator. Go up to three? All right, send it to three. And it has an epic, epic motor. Listen to this motor. We got Dover traditional fixtures here. Hi. <laughs> go down to one. Ooh. Nice bell. Let's listen to going down. We'll end up on three. Yeah. Amazing. Press the close button. You know what? This is a replacement button right there. Yep, here we go. What's the capacity on this elevator? Uh, 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds, where does it say? We'll get off up here. Look at this, three is actually an Adams replacement. 8,000 pounds. This elevator is amazing. Let's watch it close up. It's huge. All right. That'll be it. Now, where's the Otis? We have a rare elevator here. Watch it parked up on two, look, it parked. Watch this. This is the Isis One. It's the bottom drive version. Right. They're all bottom drive. Nope, Isis Two is overhead. Oh really? This is also the only Isis One I found in Austin. Look at this elevator. This is epic. We're gonna hear that motor. Okay, here we go to three. Actually, we'll close the door. Let's go up. Here we go. Ready? Epic motor. Send it down to one. If you look up at the ceiling, hey, you can see all of us. I just lost my sunglasses. No. Here we go down and listen to this. Here we go, the first floor, and there's my sunglasses, which I'll pick up. <laughs> this, these are really, really nice elevators, y'all. And I mean, they're rare. They're rare, they're unique. This is the same panel I have. Wow. Door open lights up when you yeah. press it. So yeah, that's a nice one. Yes. And also here's another thing. It also has an ECI interlock. Yeah, that is a that's neat, the, neat uh, elevator, y'all. That is awesome. Let's see if we can run out this elevator. Or right, press the button. Oh, they're all on the same controller. Let's ride one of these. Oh, it's a big one. This is a big one. Oh, 57. Look, yeah. this isn't in Braille's. All right, let's watch this.
this has all the floors. Yep. Nice level and go down to one. And watch the numbers going down. This is the big elevator. This one's really cool. I'm surprised these are still original. See out the window. Alright. Yeah, I gotta let him out. Go back up. We're going up again? Yep. We'll end up the top. Look at this. This is a hospital sized elevator. There's a view out the window. Look at that view. We are 57 stories up. And now we'll go back down on this elevator. a fast elevator. Ding! And it's gonna sit here on peak up, I think. Alright, that'll be it. That'll be it. Let me get it coming. Otis Lex. We're here at Mid Continental Tower, I think, something like that here in Tulsa. That's we have lessons. One's coming. Hear it? Yes. Look at this. I bet you it's serious. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. 35. 31. Watch this.
Otis Autotronic. Yep. Look at that, old oh. Otis Autotronics. That's epic. That is epic elevator. Coolness. There it goes. All right, guys, good morning. It is August 28th. We are up here in room 622 of the Hampton Inn up by the airport. It's about 8 in the morning and just got up. Last night had a good time, met Mike and Steve from Peely. Hung out um, in the lobby and now we're about to go back down there and start this awesome day. As you can tell I'm kind of tired but don't worry, I'm excited. Let's go. here these bare metal panels turn into finished painted doors for sure yeah so right now this is just a metal panel it's a completed panel but over here is where the magic will happen so back here we have completed products ready to go out to the customers right Completed and ready to go out the back door. All right, guys, so that's a brief look at how they make their awesome freight elevator doors. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and a big thank you to the fine folks here at Peely. Big thank you to the fine folks here at Peely. Here in the corner.
go up or you want to? I'm good here. Okay. the start of a new decade. We did a lot. It was a great year. Me and Jason went to D.C. and Richmond in the beginning of the year where, unfortunately, in Washington, D.C., I got sick and I was on Ben's couch for two days. Me and Evan took a day trip up to Charleston, West Virginia, where we found some amazing old Otis elevators in this building. Then, toward the end of the summer, me and Jason took a trip up to Pittsburgh where we met up with Jared and he showed us some amazing elevators. Then in the fall, something amazing came into my life. This man right here. Hello. That's the Zaki. We are at the Forest Glen Metro Station. This is the Epic Motor Elevator. All right, one, two, three, go. Let's listen. motor again. This motor is epic. Listen to this We're motor. Fun the elevator. Listen. Yeah, 
This one doesn't talk. No. Do any of the other ones talk? Yes. Let's go down with the talks. Uh, that one does over there, but it's downstairs. So if you hit this button, you'll get this. You'll guarantee this button. Okay. There's both of those. Yeah, that's just one. The real key is in there. Look at that elevator just broke. It's having trouble closing the doors. Wow, that elevator's having issues. There's a train. Wow. What's this thing doing? Watch. Is this the one with the cool wheel or motor? That's the cool one, yeah. That's the one we were just riding. Hey. Yeah. It closed. Those look a lot like Dover. This is a red on the train. There goes the train. Do you want to ride anymore, Andrew? I think we're good. Here goes the train. tunnel here. We're gonna see a truck stop that's oh. really ghetto. Oh my gosh, there's the elevator. The Let's TA go. A in Jessup, Maryland. Oh we have God. to go down and look at the basement first. Alright, they've been hot. Okay, the restaurant's actually really good here. We got an automatic door, but I we can't be thrown if it's okay. Yeah. Okay, look at that. There's a crappy wheelchair. That is the store. There's the video arcade. Bring the elevator down. Yeah, two different buttons on one fixture. Oh boy. Oh, they've replaced the buttons. Again? Yeah, they used to be like the plastic Aurora, I think. We have probably just to get broken every day. All right, here we go down. Let's go down to the trucker's lounge. It smells like baby powder and uh, <laughs> other stuff in here. Look at the array of buttons. I'll have to take a closer look at that. All right, we'll let him go up. Oh my gosh, is this the shower? This, this is, is where the this is where the showers are. Is this is this the famous shower that you told yep, me about? Yep, this is where oh. I came down. I, and that's supposed to be wheelchair accessible. Yep. That is really steep. All right, let him go. Yep, this is where we'll take this elevator up. Look at the array of buttons. I love how two. Oh, that's shower. Let's motor. in the motor. Get off here. Get off here. This is what the hotel looks like up here. Look at this hotel. Gosh, they actually have regular keys. Look at this. This is what I, this is what the TA motel looks like. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they look at this. They actually have proper keys. This is actually called the TA motel. Alright, now we're gonna call.
all this stuff. I we, need, like we need to hear the other one coming up. We didn't hear the motor on yeah. the other one. But look at the view you get. The truck stop. <laughs> and just foaming over the truck stop. It stinks in here. Yes, yeah, it does. This whole property smells really bad. Probably mold and other uh, bodily is. functions. It's the TA Motel. We sent right. to the lower level, and then we'll go up to five, and then one. All right, here we go down. Voted best shower. Let's listen to the motor. Go to B. I want to see if the payphones are still down there. Okay. They used to have about 20 payphones down here. You're so funny, Andrew. Well, I, I have so many memories at this truck stop. You got to realize. I've met was, you here before, too. When I was on the George Pacific dedicated account, I spent probably about two nights a week here. You actually stayed here? All the time. Like in the hotel? No, in the truck. I slept in my truck. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to stay in this hotel. No. I don't think I... You can smell it. You can smell how bad it is in here. Is anyone just sitting on viscosity? Sounds like it. it. It really sounds like it is. I want to see if the pay phones are still down here. There used to be pay phones down here. Look at this. No, the, the pay phone... Okay, let's see here. This used to be... There used to be pay phones. No, they were back. Look at this. Oh, wow. This is new. This is new. They have a game room for the truckers. It, it stays down here, though. Yep, the payphones used to be right out here. There used to be a wall of payphones here. No, it's, it's not here. And up here is where the showers it, are. Just Look at the showers. These are the showers. Oh, Remember when I did my video of the that shower so stall funny. here? All right, well, I just can't believe how hard you can do this. This is a really weird place. Oop. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. In this weird, smelly place. I know. <laughs> the TA. Let's go look at the convenience store. The convenience store isn't that bad, to be honest. It could be worse. These are very amusing elevators. Yeah, this is a very amusing place. All right. And in here, this is the convenience store right there. We look at the mannequin, see? And the driver's lounge. Look at this, uh, handicapped elevator. <laughs> the game room. Oh, they got Pac-Man in the game room. Check this out. They have a Pac-Man game here. Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. You can, cool! You can literally buy Amazon. You can get your Amazon stuff here. Amazon? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I know, to, I know how to break out of these games. Hang on. This is cool. Hang on. I might be able to break out of this. Like, you can actually play these if you do it right. I remember how to do it. Cool. All right. Well, what did you think of your tour of the TA, Jason? You and I have been here before. What did you think about your tour? Place, okay, this, okay, this place is weird, stinky, and dirty. Yeah, it's, it definitely has even bigger stench than when I first met
Very bumpy. Up to one. Why am I holding an old Dover call button instead of diesel DC? Because we're at this parking garage where it came from. So the two elevators on the other side are getting modded, but this one's original still, and it's Dover. Press the button. It parks down here. All right, send it up to five, please, and let's look out the window. Let's listen to the motor. That was an amazing view. Send it to one. Ew, look at all that. Bumper, check the phone box, please. Squeak.
lower down here. Let's look at this cab. It's very green. Look at these. Look at the door disease. Watch it. There it goes. <laughs> Let's look at this panel, and then we'll go up to two. Guess what's doing? Viscosity control. Ready? That was pretty cool. That was. And it's nice and cool out here now. It was hot. And there it goes. That will be it. We are in the security building in Charleston, West Virginia. Beautiful lobby. But we got here. Push button for executive gym. That one's not got this. We're gonna be waiting a while. These are probably, oh, these are still on the original controller. It's got the old pie selector, look at that. There's the camera on this. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> look at the radiators over here. Radiators. Three. These are slow as can Two. I've never seen that before. Wow, look at this. I'm gonna step back here. Oh, these are Lexan. Oh, cool. This is, that's, don't let that call button fool you. Yep, this is an Otis controller. Hold the door closed. Let's listen to this thing. We're gonna ride both cars if we can. Here we go. Get off, this is cool. Look at this. This is amazing. How about the motor view over there? Okay. The motor view is open. Look at this. Oh, cool. Step back, you can look. Whoa. I think it's out here. Yeah, let me see. We need to get out of here in a minute because it is closed a bit. Look at that. Look at that. This building is awesome. After this video, I'll come up and take pictures. This is cool. That was awesome. Let me get a look over here real quick. I mean, look at this building. Isn't it, what's not to appreciate about this building? Look at that. That's Charleston. That, this place is awesome. Yes, it is. I'm glad we came in here. Don't let that call button fool you. No, please. You can press it. Let me turn my light on. All right, let's see. Let's get a look at this cab. Did the lobby not light up? I want to see something here. We're going down one floor.
remember the other elevator is on 10. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't want to lose this. I guess the other one's not working. Um, I think it is. Where is it? I can't see. You got your flashlight? No, I don't. Let's just go down. What do you think about this? Let's let's start out. This was an epic find, Evan. Yes, it is. Vintage Otis elevators. It's this fun again. To top it off this awesome building. These are so slow. Yes, they are. And hot. Yes, they are. This building's not air conditioned. Look at these fixtures. And let me see if it all lights up. I don't think it does. No. Whoa. Ooh. Wonderful Otis Autotronic. One of the best traction controllers ever. All right, that was amazing. Yep, it's stuck on 10. Now, guess what time it is? Still picture time. Here it goes. Look at that door. All right, we are going to get to ride this old elevator. I won't even show you on the camera. All right, you still work here. Was this is one of the ones where you pull the killer rope to make it move. It's an old Otis. Virginia, St. Louis, and then he's down in the Rock. I actually live right down the street now. Three across on 27th. All right, we're ready when you are. Otis, <laughs> I'm squeezing the bag. I'm getting out of your feet. You'll have to excuse some of our writing on the walls as well. <laughs> Oh, cool. Pretty tight, huh? Old yeah. school. This is awesome. Beautiful old building. Yeah. You found out the years, right? Eight. And this one's 1902, and the other one's 1898, pretty sure. Is the other one still running, or? Yeah, yeah. We're we'll get to see on that. Alrighty. All right, let's go back down whenever y'all are ready. I'll show you the uh, basement, too. Awesome. I can get underneath it. We can't get underneath it. Wow, wood rails and everything. That is pretty amazing. It's, I mean, every month it gets maintenance. Guys come in. Here, let me get a good surprise. I just don't remember. <laughs> I haven't been in here in a couple of years. I still tell people about it. <laughs> awesome. That is an amazing old elevator. All right, so we finally made it to 2021, which is the year that, if you're watching this in the future, that this video was produced. If you've made it this far, you must really be loyal, and I thank you for watching. Anyway, 2021 was <laughs> 
pretty interesting as well. Started off with a trip to New York where we met Cody. He showed us some really cool elevators. And me and Zach went to Charlottesville. And then over the summer, me and Jason took a West Coast trip to California. We also we made a stopover in Denver and Salt Lake City to get some content as well. We met Justin out in California. So Justin, if you're watching this, hey there. Then just recently, me and Jason went up to Pittsburgh to get some elevator stuff, and we met up with none other than Jared again. So, here we are in 2021. I hope you enjoyed these last few clips. All right, I have Zach here, and we are at the old Otis in Charlottesville. We haven't seen this thing for a while, so let's take a ride. Weighs 10 million pounds. As you know, this thing has an electric gate on it. And guess what kind it is? It's an Otis. That sign hasn't changed since the first time I've seen it. And let's see if we still have trash in the front. Yep, we still have trash. <laughs> All right, press the two button and step back, please. Looks like they put a new door operator on it. All right, send it back down to the basement, please, and step back. Here we are. Let's let our let our automatic door operator open the outside door. Here we go. <laughs> so Zach, what did you think about that old Otis elevator? It was fun. I've never seen an elevator with an electric gate before. So it's pretty cool. Time for that. And this is Zachy, the most amazing person in the world, <laughs> and thank you for riding with us today. Of course, anytime. This yeah, one's. This one's smaller. Oh, look at this one.
are in a small town in New York where we're going to check out this amazing old elevator. This is a private building. Look at this panel here. enough and you can see out the window up there there's the drive system up there this is awesome let's listen to this going down Take us all the way up. All the way up. All right, I got all right, Cody. Pete, I want you away from there. Yep. Step back. Yeah. As you know, elevators work easier going up than going down. Watch your feet. This is an awesome old elevator, y'all. Wood rails. You don't know what year this is from, do you? Old Otis Birdcage Elevator. One of the oldest in the state. I'm gonna take this thing on a ride. All right, shut the door. Okay, good, you're just going here? Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Machine. Send it up to six. Oh wow, it's winding jump. All right, here we go. Beautiful old Otis elevator. Wow, look at that sign. That is beautiful. All right, press B again, yep. and then we'll go to one. Tell me when you're ready, I'll let you get the motor. This will be the last ride. Go. All right, here we go.
thing is a beauty. Now I'll take some pictures. That was a beautiful elevator. Push the button. Old Otis Ashtray Fort. Close but works. So that full. That door. I'm recording. Okay, this is going to be another elevator. Here at Gilco West Village. This is the, th the Third Street elevator, right? Yeah. And look at the window in this one. Six 
Nice view of a tree. Here's security. All right, let's go to the two level. Two. Press the close. Oh. And here we are at two. There's Diesel, do you see? There's Tyler. And now we will... There it is. This is a Montgomery Freight Elevator. Open the door. Oh, it's big. This elevator is pretty epic, Justin. Yeah. I will say this, the motor on the passenger is better. Yeah. Is this a phone? Yeah. It ruins the motor and will break the elevator. That's your seven. All right, let's close her up.
We're at 650 Washington. Otis touches. Wow.
This one has the original indicator. Yeah, they added a floor on the other part. Alright people, we are in the basement of a private building where the owner is kind enough to let us enjoy this. I'm sure you're wondering what this is and I'm sure you probably know what it is. So with that being said, let's take a ride. This is an old vintage elevator. Not just any elevator. It's an old service elevator. And it's a Shepard. Here's your controls. It's got constant pressure. Stop switch, cuts it off. Let's get a look around this thing. This is an open ceiling elevator. As you can see, this building here is three floors. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna get a really cool view of this elevator. It is a, let's take a look at that plate real quick. It is a Shepard 5,000 pound capacity. With that being said, let's take her up. This is a really, really, really neat old building. So now we're going to get a viewpoint from this side. Let's go back down to the bottom. Here we are back at the ground floor. I'm just going to show you this controller. This is really cool. I have a car switch made by the same company in the museum. We are going to go ahead and take this up to the first floor. Here we go. What a ride. Now, if you don't mind, open the door, please. Now, 
This is an amazing historic elevator in a really neat building. You don't see something like this every day. Yep. Bring it up. That's a lot of old hydros too. You gonna do the bumper? Do the bumper. Oh. That's an awesome little bumper. Like the cloth on it. Hello. This is the glass elevator at the Carousel Hotel and it's not modded and there is music blasting here. Vintage Otis. That is some loud music. We'll end up on the top, I think. Classic leveling.
Taxi runs fantastic. Okay, we will close up. But I'm on a time crunch. These next two elevators are some local elevators that I've wanted to see for years. Thanks to a former co-worker of mine who's involved with the building, now we get to see them. First time ever. where the window
Yeah, just take take it all the way down, then bring it all the way up. Do it like twice, please.
<laughs> wow, that was a long video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, huh, you're really loyal and I really appreciate you. Again, in closing, I have to say thank you again. Thank you for all your support. I hope there'll be another 15 years of Elevate Tours. This has been a fun ride. I've made the best friends I've ever had. I've enjoyed life. And I hope at the end of the day, I've made a positive difference in at least one of my viewers' lives. So, with that being said, a huge thank you to all of my patrons for your support of Elevate Tours. The video's over. But it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more. And you know what to do. Click the buttons. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.